Where did that time go? I don't know. Oh. I'm so happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you. Oh. Very happy to see you. It's beautiful, happy Claire Sunday. McDonald. Oh. And do you know what? You know how much I adore our Claire. You know how oh, much. Oh, thanks. I really do, and I always have done. But thanks. look what she made me. <gasps> look. Oh. oh, I absolutely love oh, it. I'm glad I've never did. taken it off. Oh. I'm glad. That right next to my wedding, my oh. wedding band and my engagement ring. Look at this. Oh. oh. I love you and I'm so Thank grateful. you. Well, I love you and I, I want you to know how much I love you. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Claire. Oh, it's going to be an absolutely super Sunday, lovely jewellery maker. I, know, maybe, I can't it really wait. Is. I can't wait. Oh, where do we start? Where do we start? Well, let's start with your kids because, firstly, <clears throat> I can't remember the last time we did wire writing. Or so, you did, rather. Yeah, absolutely. I can't, do it. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't do it. You, rather. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, we've got some wire writing um, in the 12. We've got really, really lovely um, like slider. Um, uh, yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah, they're beautiful with the pearls. So we've got some um, precious metal wire for there. So we'll do some wire writing. Um, so that's in the 12. Yes. And then in the, in the 9, oh my gosh, these... Mm -hmm. These gemstones are incredible. So we're going to do a little bit of wire work in that as well. How to set some stones. Oh, classic yeah. Claire McDonald. Yeah. So hopefully I can remember how to, how to do it. I'm sure you Should can. be all right. Yesterday we had Mark with his paracord. It's an old school jewellery maker, isn't yes. it, then? Yeah. And today we've got Claire with her wire work. Yes, yeah. Which is very... Oh, my goodness me, you're right. These gemstones Look are at, I know, they're unbelievable. Amazing. Aren't they gorgeous? So these are at nine o'clock. Yes, those are the nine o'clock, yes. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Well, yeah. speaking of wire work, wire work would be absolutely incredible with our other guest that's joining us today at 10 o'clock. We have, uh, is this news to you? Have I only not I don't, mentioned? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I should have mentioned this to Claire. Yeah, we've got lovely Dave stepping into the oh, studio. Oh, nice. And have you seen <gasps> this? Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my gosh. How do we, where, where do you begin talking about something like this? It's clearly mother of pearl. Oh my word. Hand carved. I mean, seriously, how incredible is that? Oh, that's next level, isn't it? Look it, at that. It is on another level, I totally <gasps> agree. This is one of two, because you also have this. Oh my gosh. I know. They're unbelievable, aren't they? Absolutely unbelievable. Dave is Ooh, so excited I bet about he is. these. I bet he is. Uh, yeah, me too. When I saw them, you know, when you're almost rendered speechless. I know it's a rarity, <laughs> but I didn't know what. I, 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 I had no words. I'd never seen anything like it. It's mother of pearl, yeah. which is effectively shell. I can't comprehend how you even go about carving that. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Amazing. So those are happening at 10 o'clock today if you onwards 10 p.m onwards um if you have any plans then if you can cancel um mm. if you can't at the very least take us with you because that is going to be an absolutely unbelievable unbelievable deal of the day so uh make sure you're not busy doing the hoovering and getting distracted oh You've no don't do that no <sighs> Um, not on a Sunday, no. Sit yourself down, so make sure you join us for that. It's going to be at, that's at 10 o'clock onwards, like I said, 10 p.m. onwards. We've also got some absolutely amazing, because you think master carvings, you automatically think of jade, mm. don't you? This is what we've become more accustomed to. Now, these are brand new, never been seen before. Absolutely unbelievable. The level of detail. So we've got it in the two different colours, obviously. Um, in the black, look at that. How amazing. And then we have it in your beautiful oh natural God. type A white. So these are happening at 10. <coughs> your mother of pearl will probably be around about 11. Is that right? I'm going to say, yeah, uh, or there or thereabouts. Uh, Dave, you know, just make sure you watch from 10 o'clock because he might get a little bit overexcited and want to bring those uh, mother of pearls or okay. I don't know, whichever. Um, it's up to him. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. Um, we've also got, and you saw yesterday, um, the wonderful Alhambra strand that we launched for the first time. Oh, um, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Incredible, incredible. And just so you know, I did ask the question for, I actually said, how 
how about 50 centimetre lengths? Because then you could just literally have a nice long line necklace. So do, can you vouch for me there, Roscoe? I did drop the message into the group chat, didn't I? Um, and yeah, I was meant to text him other gemstones. Text, actually, you can help me out here. What other gemstones do you want uh, uh, Wayno to actually uh, purchase? I, would, I said, <coughs> can't Turquoise, I would like turquoise. More turquoise? Yeah. Um, I was going to say Rose de France because yes. we haven't seen Rose de France in a long time. Oh, nice. And your praiser light and things yes. like that. We haven't yeah. seen that in a while. More carnelian yeah. also gets my yeah. vote. Yeah. Yeah. So text in. What gemstones would you like Wayne to buy? So um, because he asked the question to the team the other day. <coughs> Fabulous. And then, of course, your eight o'clock hour, lovely jewellery makers. You know, it's all um, amazing last in stock opportunities. You can shop ahead on these. But let me show you really bird. This two. is amazing. It, well, Sorry. you mentioned turquoise. Yeah. This is Sleeping this. Beauty turquoise. It's a bit of you, Claire. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. How amazing. Could that be incorporated into a ring? Absolutely, yeah. It would be a nice ring, wouldn't it? Oh, certainly earrings. Yeah, definitely earrings. Oh, look. Look at the detail. That's I know. beautiful. Quite Celtic, I feel. Yeah. Got quite, yeah. quite Celtic vibes in that. So that you can shop. Can we shop ahead on mm. this, Ross? Uh, number one on the website right now. So that is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, no less. Um, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you can shop ahead on those. Also, very excited to show you this parcel because, again, you mentioned turquoise. Mm. Have you seen the parcel that we've got? Oh, look at those. Have you ever seen those cuts? Look at those shapes. Yeah. Um, they are brand new. And just so you know, we have 100 of these, which is reflecting in the price. I can tell you that for certain. Look That's at the stunning. beauty of this, sleeping, uh, this turquoise. The hexagon. Yeah, hexagon's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. And the triangle and the market. Oh, I don't know. I can't choose a favourite. But these are launching for the first time at nine o'clock today as well. The wonder that is turquoise. Oh, stunning. Um, yeah, so it is a truly, truly breathtakingly beautiful show. Lots of sterling silver components as well. We've got Claire McDonald. We're going to have sterling silver, haven't we? Um, your kits are going to go well, absolutely crazy. Those sliders with the pearls, uh, we've never oh, done I know. anything yes. like those yeah. These are yeah. amazing. So these are at 12 o'clock, aren't they? Did yes. uh, Ross, did you just say the kits are mental? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that. He was actually referencing how cold his yoghurt was, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but the kits are mental, aren't they, Ross? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Lots of sterling silver <laughs> components. Um, we've got slider bracelets getting in, um, to bring you as well with your gemstones. Lots of lovely pearls. If you take a little look at this I wonderful know. display look here. Look at that. Oh, Dan, look at that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So lots of goodies on the website that you can shop ahead for. Look how beautiful this one is. Um, now, shall we say hello to our lovely crew? Yes. 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 We're excited. It's Sunday. It's always Saturdays and Sundays are always our favourite days to work. Well, it is mine anyway. I'm mine. Yeah, I like it because it's just us. Yeah. It's just us. You haven't got any going. Hey. There are no responsible adults, are there? No, that's true. Not one. That's very true. <laughs> no. Are you responsible, Dan? No, no, he says definitely, no. definitely not. It's Cowboy Dan, everybody. Yay. Also gorgeous Dan. Also gorgeous Dan. There we go. Um, in the gallery, let me just ask the question. Adam, are you responsible? Yes, yes, you're not. <laughs> no. It's gorgeous, Adam. Yay. Yay. And the man with the deals. Look at him. He's looking all important. <laughs> Making sure, <laughs> he says, not looking, I am important, thank you, Elle. With your banana, I think I feel like the banana is uh, is kind of, you know, and you've just been talking <laughs> about brain freeze from your yoghurt, so not so much. Um, it's the lovely, lovely Roscoe! Yay! Um, what time are you having your banana, Ross? <laughs> Outside of the gallery about 10 o'clock. Oh, why not in specific, the gallery? Oh, you don't eat in the gallery, right? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no eating in the gallery. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
wish you could. Can you hear the squeaky? I don't know. <laughs> Are you not meant to eat in the gallery I then? I so. assume not. Oops. Oops. Really? Why? What what harm does a banana do Let's in the gallery? Eaters. I mean, they're not like six months old. They're not going to start throwing it around the place. Um, apparently, uh, once upon a time... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe got taken off once. He was, and he, he'd been told off. He'd been told off for eating his banana. <laughs> and then the producer and hobby maker, they swapped seats and they're eating a subway. <laughs> a foot long subway. <laughs> a meatball marinara. This is too funny. Just a bit of tomato sauce just dribbling over there. Ah, yeah, lovely. Now, I get that. Oh. I do kind of get. I get the subway. A banana's but very contained, though, isn't it? I mean, I don't know, unless he's like, like a, well, we don't know why he a does baby it. that, that yes. launches it around the place, and, oh. <laughs> which I very and much. squishes it and yeah, yeah modges wow. it in the fingers. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dear me. Shall we get cracking, jewelry makers? Because it's going to be an absolutely well. It's going to be one of those Sundays, isn't Sounds it? Sounds like it. Doesn't oh, it? I love it. I love it. Sorry, Ross. Well, that's your comeback now. Just say, look, I'm not being funny. I watched someone eat a foot-long marinara sub subway. <laughs> I'm only eating. I'm eating a piece of fruit. Where's the Where's the harm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh dear. I know. Let's get cracking then, shall we? Have a little look at the website. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, here we go. Um, if in the top right hand side of the screen you click watch live, um, you'll see all the madness that happens here in the studio. I know. <laughs> it is a giggle. We do have a giggle, don't we? I mean, it stitches me up every time. What is that? Pick every <laughs> single time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, foot long subway. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Meeple marinara. <hey. laughs> oh yeah. What's your what's your subway choice? Um, scroll down. These are some of the deals. Some will be going lower, of course, um, but they will all be quite limited in their oh, quantity. Oh, look at all of these. I know. There's some beautiful goodies in there. Lots of sterling silver oh. as well. Um, number one is your early bird. Um, so do make sure you shop ahead if you've got your heart set on owning that very Celtic inspired, quite Macintosh, I think. Um, lovely connector. You've got some. Oh, that Kyanite in 25 is epic, by the way. Absolutely epic. Um, see that magnetic multi-row triple oh, yes. cross? That's yes. genius. Because yes. instead of it actually clicking in, you know the ones that kind of slide in? Oh, nice. It's one. It's actually like a magnet. Oh. So kind of just no, no slidey, slidey, just put together. Um, yeah. So keep an eye on the website. Items will sell mm. out. Look, vivid green angelite, five ninety nine sterling silver chains and aquamarines. What a lineup! And we, uh, what I can guarantee, I can't guarantee that it will be professional from start to finish. No. But it will be fun. We'll have a lot yeah. of fun. We'll have a lovely morning. A giggle. A giggle, a giggle. And Claire brought chocolates in, so what more do we want? I know this is the thing. You know this time of year when it's not really Christmas? I, 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 I resist buying the Christmas chocolates. That's one thing I don't buy until mm. later on. Because otherwise they don't mm. last, do they? They get eaten. No, so I bought three, three tubs on Friday. Yeah. I've had to make Lola hide the one so that I don't know where it is. Okay. One's come here, so I'll be diving into that. And I did give one to Sewing Street. Ah. So that's, well, to say thank because they looked after Lola, didn't they, for work experience. But yeah, so that's, so I need to buy another another three now. So lovely John Scott is tucking into your chockies as well. Is it John Scott? Yeah, yeah. John Scott's in there, yeah. Yeah. Aww. Your neighbour. Wolf. Yeah. Your neighbour. Ah, yeah. oh, that's good. No, I'm resisting the Christmas chocolates at the moment <sighs> because otherwise they just get eaten. Yeah. Um, okay. Shall we get cracking now? Because I feel like we've waffled yes. for 15 minutes. Yes, please do, says Dan, for goodness sake. Stop. But what's your choice of Subway? Have you ever had a Subway? They're, they are elite. For a sandwich, for a sandwich, they are very good. What's your choice of sandwich? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. What's your choice of sandwich? Do you know what I like? It's really simple. I like uh, Marmite and ready-salted crisps. 
In a sandwich? Yeah. Or if I'm going to go crazy with it, I might have some cucumber in it or some lettuce, iceberg lettuce I, in it. I feel like I need to try this because I do like Marmite. Oh, I love it. That's a very strange... I was not... You said very simple. I've, <laughs> I've never... I love it. Marmite before. and crisp sandwich. Oh, yeah. I do like Marmite. That's good. See, mm. I'm... What about um, you? Oh, I do like... I like, although people around me might not like it afterwards, I do like a good old cheese and onion. Yeah, it's, I, I'm with you on that one, but it gives me gives me a bit of heart there. Yeah, cheese and onion, or I'm going to say something like prawn cocktail. Oh, do you like a prawn cocktail yeah, sandwich? Nice. What about you, gorgeous Dan? What's your sandwich choice? Sausage. Sandwich. Sausage. Oh, sausage. Nice. Lovely. With uh, which sauce, Dan? What? Brown or red? Uh, I'd say brown for that. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Do you go with a proper sausage, or do you go with one of the really bready sausages? Proper sausage, yeah, meaty sausage, nice. <laughs> In the gallery, what's your choice of sandwich? Oh, is it a tough one? Club sandwich, oh. yeah, like a bit posh, bit posh, yeah, lovely. Oh, see, can I just say, you, you guys, you sound very, uh, <laughs> very working class. <laughs> I feel like I went in quite low with my marmite. I need to. Um... I know. They're like, well, so Ross is saying, I like chicken and chorizo. <laughs> marmite? Yes. A bit of pesto, something like that. And, and yeah, club sandwich for, yeah, there we go. I feel like I was. <laughs> Just cheese and, cheese and onion. Right then, we will get cracking now, shall we? Let's do it, because we've waffled enough now. Um, OK, what would you like me to bring to air? Let's start with the final three. Sa really? The final three sand and scans that we have of your six millimetres. It's not just, you know, a 20 centimetre strand. It's not even a 38 centimetre strand. Oh, you know, yeah. All you'd need to do is restrand that, wouldn't you? Lovely, it's it? beautiful. I adore yeah. San and Scarn. Oh, my goodness me. Um, yeah, here is um, it's a variety of jade, effectively uh, a relatively new discovery. Um, and what's wonderful about San and Scarn is it has that, you know, the colour um, of Imperial, Burmese Imperial Green without the Imperial Green uh, price mm. tag currently as it stands. We are looking at it in its infancy. Here is <clears throat> uh, um, a gemstone that absolutely Cartier are working with. They've done Cartier, uh, San and Scarn bangles. I don't know if they've been launched yet, but we know a little bit of inside information that is on in on the horizon. Um, and that's totally natural, which is absolutely crazy when we're talking about jade You know, we w we've always said, look, we will never bring you imperial green because, they, look, they're millions of pounds, hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds to actually purchase imperial green jade. But what we can bring you is that same natural beauty from this location. It is still an amazing jade. Do you want me to scooch those just a little bit? Sorry. Um, now, there's only three. You have to be quick. It's a full. What length is this strand? I can measure it if need be. Let's give it a little measure, shall we? Uh, you're talking twi to about 25 inches. About 25 inches, so about 65 centimetres in total. So, goodness me, you just literally need mm. to restrand that and away you go. Um, if you wanted to be a little bit more frivolous with your sand and scarn, because here is an incredibly rare, um, sought after gemstone, most definitely in the limelight right now. Um, then you could also add some of your spaces. We've had a lot of spaces recently um, to stretch out that beautiful carrot weight. I'm obsessed with sand and scarn, Claire. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous green, isn't it? Beautiful. Lovely stone. Absolutely beautiful. And it's natural. There are only three available, though. Graphics are live. Good luck, everybody. And a very good morning. Happy Sunday and all that. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about food already. I know. Sorry about that. Uh, making you all hungry. Tell us what you're up to. It's going to be such an amazing, amazing show. In fact, how about one of those Mother of Pearl carvings? Just Do you know what I was just thinking? This? Yes. Yeah. Is that, that would be thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? The, the, I love the first, that first one. Okay. That would be perfect, yeah, wouldn't it? That. Just leading, San and Scarn leading down too. Beautiful. That is, that's incredible, isn't it? It's unbelievable. 
it blows my mind how how, how detailed that is. Um, £699, but you have also got your split payments, jewellery makers. Don't be shy. Drop us a message. Tell us what you're up to. Let's squeeze this under £500, which, look, I know it's a considered amount. However, not for what we are sourcing. Um, not remotely, in actual fact. Hello, Margo. And Margo well, says, good morning, 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 lovely people at Joy Maker Towers. Looking forward to the show and Claire's wonderful demos. Absolutely. Ah, thanks, Margo. Thank Absolutely. You. Uh, I like the fact as well on your Facebook, you keep putting Teddy and the doggies on there. Uh, um, speaking of Ted, hello, uh, Ted. Morning, good morning, Ted. Jewelry Maker. Adam, Roscoe, Dan, and my beautiful duo of blonde bombshell. Oh, love thanks, it. Thanks, Ted. Thank you. Love that. Mm. Love that. Thank yeah. you very much. Good morning. Bombshells, I don't know. I call that for a while. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I know. Thank you. Thanks, Ted. You're good for our PMA. Yeah. You are lovely. <laughs> morning, morning. I hope you're all well. Um, let's squeeze that price down. Goodness me. The final three, though, so you will need to be quite quick checking out your baskets. So that's making your split payments um, under fifty pounds, isn't it? That's amazing. Here comes Michael Wolf. I've it had was... one. Of... Can I have another one, please? What? Are you... yeah. What? What oh. delicious treats? Look are you at these. In? It's chocolate crunch. Remember at school? Chocolate They're crunch. amazing. Look at that. Did you make these, Michael? Mm -hmm. Can I have one? Yes. Thanks. Well, they look amazing. They are amazing. I've had one already. Oh, I'll have that Thank with my coffee. Much. Thanks, Michael. And my elevensies. Thank you. Bye. Bless him. Michael Wolf, everybody, delivering to us. <laughs> there he is. Um, amazing. Um, we had three. How are we doing in terms of stock levels? Because uh, are our... Ah, oh, I can't see our call screen again. Right, okay. I feel like we've waffled too much and maybe distracted everybody, Claire. Do you think? We need to wake everybody up into um, into our Sunday morning. All that's right, okay. It it's all the talk about sandwiches. I think that's what it is. Um, okay, 60 seconds. We're going to do something extra special. If you have long to own San and Scarn, and here is a gemstone. Remember, we showed the Swiss Gem Labs were actually saying this is San and Scarn will find itself alongside your Burmese jades, um, your Guatemalan jades. You know, it's a, a source of jade effectively, um, but in its infancy. So we effectively we are purchasing a variety of jade, like if we were there when the Burmese jade mine was first opening. It's that kind of, it's that kind of, uh, well, it's, it's that story effectively that we have before us. We are going even lo lower purely because we've got three and we're very aware that it's hot, almost half past the hour and I've done nothing but waffle. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, it's because I'm excited, you see. I'm very excited because I've got Claire here and, you know, you guys at home and it's just going to be a lovely day. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, five seconds, we're taking it to an amazing deal. Look at that richness of colour. Not dyed, not bleached, not polymer impregnated. You've got till nine o'clock to make the most of these deals. Lots of you have shopped ahead as well across the website already. Fantastic. One, four, nine. That's incredible. And the only reason, you know, we've got to remember, we source our San and Scarm from the exact same supplier that sources Cartier. Mm. You know, and it's got a high designer look, hasn't it? Just that like lovely gemmy green color. It is ge oh, gemmy's the, the, yeah. the the perfect word. It's yeah. got that in translucency. Yes. You know, I've shown you up close and personal sand and scarm pieces it within Cartier jewelry, mm. um, and it's very opaque. It's you know, it's not as good as what I'm seeing on our screens right now. Um, do you want to see that photograph? Here we go. See how it's very opaque. Yes. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a lovely piece of jewellery. It's only 70 points of diamonds, mine. So yeah. that tells you how uh, um, how small each of those stones are. Yours, jewellery makers, are six millimetres in their size and they have a wonderful translucency. The difference is we haven't got the Cartier overheads, basically. We're still sourcing from that exact same supplier. Um, good luck, everybody. Um, Hello, Suzanne. Nice to see you. Bacon butty with brown sauce. Yes. yes. I, that's got to be mentioned, hasn't it? Yeah. I, I almost, do like brown sauce with bacon. And me. And me. I mm. almost feel like a bacon butty, you know, you have to put that separate because everybody loves that. Mm. Uh, you know, you have to, a bacon mm. butty, it's, I don't want, because that would win over cheese and onion as well, I've got to say. Yeah. Hello, Karen. Morning, ladies and JM team. I like peanut butter and Marmite oh, sandwiches. Oh, Karen, yes. That sounds good too. Well, I might have to try mm. all these, you know. What are we having for tea tonight? We're having Marmite sandwiches with peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Marmite and crisps. Yeah. 
I mean, basically, Marmite with anything. I love yeah, Marmite. I, like Marmite. I do like Bovril, though, as well. I like Bovril mm. on bread and toast. Yeah. That's yeah. delicious, too. Um, anyway, we're talking about a very valuable gemstone here, aren't we? And here's me talking about Marmite and Bovril. Amazing. Well done. Um, uh, bead stoppers or boingy boingers. See, these are just, uh, I think as well, th these are just a really lovely fancy link, aren't they? Oh, you'd use them in your jewellery. Oh, well, I just think they're so nice and bright and shiny. They are shiny. Now, yeah. these are already set at that price point, so we're going to put a 60-second clock. These are as rare as hen's teeth in terms of when they're on the show. You've got a minute to secure these, Four ninety nine. So what does a bead stopper do, Claire? It's like it's a, well, it, so you'd use it for um, yeah, stop stops stop your beads. So you <laughs> put them on your, your beading thread or your elastic. Um, but these ones are silver plated. I think that's why they're so lovely and shiny. So I mean, you know, they're a really I think great link. Yeah, I agree. You could use these in your jewellery. So you put your thread in the spring, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, so rather than a stopper bead, if you like. Yes. You yeah. Put your, it, yeah. yeah, and then thread away, or with your elastic, away yeah, you go. Absolutely. Job done. Boingy boingers, but Claire's saying they're silver plated. I'd use those in jewellery. I don't. Why not? A lot of um, I don't know. Just very really reflective, aren't they? The um, I can just see quite you know quite chunky gents make yeah, cool. those. You had a nice like a nice. Nice bead in between. Nice. Turn them into little connectors and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, Lynn, if you want those eight, you're going to have to be quick because they are um, flying out and we rarely ever see them. Um, the no, I can't think the last time stoppers. I did see They are. They're really shiny, aren't they? Yeah. We've had different versions. We had ones which had like rubber tips yes, on them. Yes, yes. And you wouldn't include those in your jewellery, would you? No, no. So whereas these are, yeah, pretty. Very pretty. Mm. Um, how about some organza bags? Love it, love it, love it. Now, a minute on screen. Cars, crisis, uh, uh, price is crazy, says Roscoe. Get a pack of 20 of them. I used to buy these when I had my jewellery, um, when I had my jewellery business. And I tell you what, the money I used to pay on organza bags. Yeah. Um, and that was at wholesale too, but it definitely was more than 2 99 Goodness me, that's amazing. So you're getting all of these lovely colours. So you've got yellow, purple, pink, blue and green. Um, and you're having four of each of those, which is amazing. Um, but it does make a difference, Claire, doesn't it, when you're gifting, how you present it, like you did this morning with my lovely bracelet. You know, yes. you presented it in a nice box. Yes. You know, yes, and I the do. same with, you know, all of your creations. If it's a simple, stretchy bracelet, pop it in a nice chiffon bag. Beautiful. I, I just love that these are bright. Nice bright colours, aren't they? Yeah. They're really pretty. They're fun. Um, yesterday we had some lovely acrylic beads. These would be perfect to gift those. Yeah, nice. You know, the bright, yes. like, uh, um, almost like ice cream-like colours. Yeah, great. Two ninety-nine. lots of you there. It is an added to your order kind of price tag, isn't it? It's one of those no-brainers. You know you're going to use it. You know you're going to be, you know, for those just because mm. presents. And, and you can put like your sen scented, couldn't you? You know, like little scented things in. Oh, in, 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 in your drawers as well, couldn't you? In your, in your drawers? In your drawers. Do, do you it, have scented drawers? I, I do, ha yeah, I do, yeah. Do you? Yeah. What do you put in yours? Uh, bits of lavender or some, like, pearl things. Pearl things? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, so like the got, washing got, things? No. Oh, that's a good idea. Huh? Well, why not? Why not? There you go. Oh, yeah. You can tell she's from Wood and Woman, can't you? She's got lavender, drawers. lavender in her drawers. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Wood and Woman. Doesn't everybody put lavender in their drawers? Uh, clearly, I need to. I'll get some of these. Yeah. Sorry, Ross. What was that? Clovers. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here oh, we go. Look at these. Have you not <gasps> seen them before? Well, we had, a, um, I think, an entire sellout of the strand that we launched yesterday with the Al Alhambra inspiration. And um, I did I mention, we've done little components before, but they are, if not sold out, very, very limited. Um, and we chose, of course, some of the um, rarest gemstones. I have to tell you that, let me show you this one. I'm going to be a bit unconventional, but see this one here. Initially, I didn't realise that that was something that Van Cleef and Arpels did, where they've got a little stone set into the precious metal. But um, in my uh, preparation for yesterday's launch, they do these. Mm. They do these. Obviously, they're in gold, but they actually have like a little diamond set into um, one of their four-leaf clovers. Now, you don't just get the one. You get two of what I'm holding, and you get your beautiful bursa jade. These are 925 sterling silver. Beautiful connectors. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, there's 12 of them left. Sorry, Adam. We're going to do it in one price crash, and then we'll hold it on air for 60 seconds. Sorry. For 60 seconds. 
Um, they aren't going to hang around. There's a lot of sterling silver invested. You could just, I don't know, rosary link, jump, jump ring them together. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice with the 12 o'clock um, Definitely. sliders as well. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. How about £10 per clover? That's Bursa Jade, which is mined out. That's been set beautifully, hasn't it? Stunning. And to make something like this, I know it's maybe mm. possible, but tricky. <gasps> it, well, it, it's not £10 each, though, is it? No, there's three purple and two silver. You've messed oh, up. You've messed up, Ross, Rosco. already. Have you still got that brain freeze from your yoghurt? Is that what it is? He's eating in the gallery. <laughs> Look, come on. He says, there's nothing I can do about it now. You've got till uh, nine o'clock today to make the most of these opportunities. These have absolutely flown out. You have the rarity of your Bursa Jade framed beautifully in a Van Cleef and Arpels inspired four leaf clover motif. Even the reverse clip. I was going to say, because yes, that is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at the quality on the reverse as well. All that 925 in this lovely kind of lattice detail. That's oh, £8 that per clover. Okay, Ross is saying £10 each, but you get one for free. <laughs> is that what you meant? Is that what you meant? Do we, do we believe him? I don't believe you. He says, I don't make mistakes. Hmm. I mean, you do. There's a mistake <laughs> right there in, an or in, a, in, in a yellow form. <laughs> Ross, the mistake is you've got a massive banana <laughs> in front of you. There's the mistake. <laughs> I know. Do you know when you like keep the sentence going? <laughs> Continue. Anyway. <laughs> Keep that sentence. Make sure you say it from start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay. How about... I'm crying again. <laughs> um, how about the final opportunities, last 16, that's all we've got, out of the 100 that we launched, um, oh, a selection of your base metal jump rings. Oh, these are a must, aren't they, surely? Oh, I haven't seen these. These are brilliant. Look at the difference in the sizes. And you're going to need these different varieties, Claire, aren't you? The different sizes of them, because, Absolutely. I don't know, aesthetics. Yes. Aesthetics and, and balance, isn't it? And yeah. Fine. And I would, I would imagine for different um, chainmail designs as well. You know, to have those sizes there. But you know, thinking about if you've got a particularly large piece of jewellery, you might mm -hmm. want to use the the large ones, or you're looking for a bale. Um, yep. But I would be grouping, you know, maybe putting maybe I don't know five onto mm. five of the small ones onto one of the larger ones. Have a nice pair of earrings like that. That yeah, nice. even if you don't work with any gemstones. And when do we see this selection in well, one in one show, for example? I love those little teeny weeny ones. What are they? Teeny, three weeny. teeny weeny. They are tiny. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah, three millimeter, four millimeter, five, six, and seven. There you go. Um, so you've got a selection of those. The final sixteen opportunities. Uh, these are silver plated. Did you say? Silver plated. There you go, all your selections of sizes. In total, what quantity is there in this box? Hey? Lots. Let's just say lots. It does look like lots. You can see there's a lot. In lots. There. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots. Yeah. Um, yeah, amazing. So you're getting all your uh, your choice of sizes there. Um, straight away, oh, 1,200 pieces. Oh, brilliant. So I'm going to say, I think some have been used out of these, out of our studio sample. I feel, I feel like if you look at the difference between the photograph and what I've got here. Yeah, I feel like these have the studio samples been dipped into. Um, amazing. Already too low at 49.99. Would we all agree? For, for 1,200 pieces. That's amazing. Jackie, Karen, Nancy, Jane. Good morning, everybody. Keep your messages coming through. We've had yeah. some... Um, very strange conversations already this morning, haven't we? Um, plus, you get the storage box. Yeah, that's always useful, isn't it? Little flippy, flippy box, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those a ones. One, yeah. Nineteen ninety-nine for one thousand oh, two hundred yeah. essentials. They are yeah, the they best, are, aren't yeah. they? 
You know, they're as important as your head pins. They're as important as your class and things oh, like yeah, that. Would you yeah. agree? Probably, uh, probably your most used finding, really, aren't they? Do you think? Yeah, spacers as well. You can use those, you know, use them as spacers. Yeah. You can do um, any sort of beaded work or stretches. They're really good for that. And nice to have, um, bless you, nice to have, um, you know, different sizes like that because it will look different depending on, you know, what, what if you've got maybe, um, I don't know, uh, um, uh, a six mil, yeah, round. You might want to try it with different different sizes in, in between. It's going to look different. Isn't Amazing. It? We'll grab them whilst you can because we only had sixteen and there's a load of names there. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. Did you have a little lie in this morning? It's proper wintry today. Oh my gosh, I had to um, scrape, scrape my car. Yeah. Bruce said the same to me this morning. He's like, I wasn't I scrape prepared my for that. I know. I really, really wasn't prepared. Last week when it was like abnormally warm for October and, my, mm -hmm. and our pumpkins. Um, gave up because it was, oh, it no. was it, yeah they're just going to <laughs> um, because it was too warm um and now it's properly cold i put Whilst the heating was, on yesterday yeah. oh i've had the heating on yeah i like it nice it's nice um well done make sure you check it out everybody there's loads and loads of you there and keep those messages coming through look at that this is that's a nice sound yeah. isn't it and it's just lovely to know that you've got all those jump rings to have. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. You don't see the three mils very often, do you? Oh, I do like those. You know, some, if you're looking for that really discreet jump ring, yeah. then a three mil is going to be perfect for that. Perfect, perfect for that. Um, Roscoe, I actually thought of you last night. Um, he's not listening. Uh, Roscoe, oh, are you? There you go. Um, thought of you last night because I was, uh, you know, just looking on the uh, wibbly wobbly web. And <laughs> I saw this little hand carved wooden trinket box, like a music box. And it played, let it be, let it be. Aww. And it was ever so sweet. Aww. Little Twinkie, like the Beatles on a music Aww. box, like one of those little wind up ones. It was ever so sweet. Aww. I was like, oh, Ross would like that. It was ever mm. so cute. Um, anyway, sorry, I digress. Right then, um, well done everybody. I think they've pretty much sold out. There's only three of those left. Um, now, can I just also mention once again the San and Scarn opportunity? Um, there, I can't believe we're saying this, but there is still three. I, I mean, San and Scarn is, for us here at Jewelry Maker, is one of the most exciting launches that we've been able to bring you um, over, certainly this, and it was only this year. Um, it's a very, very, very new discovery in Pakistan, and it's natural jade. And these aren't our words. We've shared, you know, publications from the Swiss Gem Lab, which is one of the most reputable uh, and respected gem labs in the world, internationally. And, and it was actually them that actually said, San and Scarn will position itself alongside your Burmese, alongside your Guatemalan, alongside your Khotan jade. It is certified as a genuine jade. This is natural colour. And the reality is, country of origin should never really determine our decision to purchase. Um, it's always down to the beauty. Because if, but, but on that same conversation, if this were Burmese, there was absolutely no way on earth it would be on our show. It would be in Sotheby's, it would be in Christie's, it would be in Bonham's, it would be in... Um, um, Cartier, all those places, you know, for, for the hundreds of thousands, if not more. Um, because ultimately what we're looking at is that imperial green colour. This is not type B or type C. It's totally and utterly natural. The, the wonderful thing is, this is like us getting an opportunity to purchase Burmese jadeite when it was first discovered all those hundreds of years ago. This is like, or uh, oh, thousands of years ago, this is like us getting the opportunity to purchase I don't know, Brazilian Pareva tourmaline, in, you know, when that was first mm. discovered, mm. you know, um, long before it made the tens of thousands of pounds price per carat. It's, it's such an opportunity. I'll leave it with you. I wanted to recap on that one. Um, okay. I have got the chrysoprase. I Gosh, love I've been looking strands. at this. We had this yesterday, actually, but not in chrysoprase. We had it in the bursa, and, and we were all like, oh, my goodness me, that's amazing. Just, I mean, just restrand that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, the design's done for you, yeah. isn't it? yeah. Look at that, and this is all natural. That's beautiful. Totally oh, and utterly natural. Oh, wow. Chrysoprase, often referred to as Australia's jade, um, has one of the most, I don't know, otherworldly saturations, I think, mm. of all gemstones. I find it fascinating that here is a gemstone that actually forms on our planet. And this is totally natural, by the way. 
Cri uh, lesser quality chrysoprase, still beautiful, but um, we'll have some of the host rock alongside. Looks like chocolate limes. Um, so you've got some of the dark yes. chocolate, and then you've got often like a almost like a river um, that runs through it with these wonderful, vibrant, zesty, uh, zesty greens. The finest quality is completely translucent, just like so. Now, how that many is, isn't it? That yeah. is amazing. How many do we have, Ross? Eleven available. Let's bring the graphics live. Good luck, everybody. There's only 11. Amazing translucency. Plus, mm. it's double drilled. I know, which is incredible, isn't it? I, I love how that the, the design of that. I would. I'd just either uh, re-strand with beading thread or, or, or stretchy yeah. elastic. I might put I might put some gold spaces in there, but I'm, I'm with you on I, that. I love how that looks. I'm with you on that. And like I say, as it, as it sits alongside mm. my lovely bracelet that Claire made, um, you really see how it works with the precious metals. It looks beautiful that with looks both nice, the silver and the yeah. gold. <gasps> Amazing, yeah. Um, double drills. Yeah, I agree with what you said there, Claire. It you could just literally restrand it. The design is actually created yeah, for you. Yeah. Amazing translucency. We're at ninety nine ninety nine, but going even lower. And, you know, if I had the time, if it was outside at eight o'clock hour, I would obviously do the whole presentation on your chrysoprase. It's certainly a gemstone that the jewellery editor have written about. Dior heavily used this gemstone. We are under £50, but we're going to do another big price crash. I mean, how big? It can't be that big because we're already under 50. It's pretty big. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Thirty-four ninety nine for two beautiful shapes. And this is the thing, you would have to buy two separate strands ordinarily yeah, to, yeah. to actually create something like yeah, this. Yeah, and, and you've got that, haven't you? That nice slight graduation as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. It tapers down yeah. very beautifully, doesn't it? I yeah. love chrysoprase. For me, I green is my favourite colour. Mm. And, and and I love, you know, your Zavarites, I love your jades, I love your uh, demantoids. But for me, chrysoprase is and you're of Malachite, obviously, but um chrysoprase is right out there. It's got this wonderful it's presence. An energy, and glow. isn't it? Yes, yeah. that's exactly it. I love it. Exactly it. Um, we only had a handful of them available. Good morning to you all. Apologies I'm not shouting your names out. Our call screen's still on a go slow. Um, but you are all there. Um, Hertfordshire, Meath, Glasgow, Oxfordshire, Cumbria. Good morning, everybody. Get the quality whilst you can. And again, if I had the time, I'd absolutely go into the long story behind your chrysoprase. Well, it's not such a long story, to be truthful, but a gemstone that is found um, in a few different places around the world, Australian being regarded as the finest, and you can see why, which mm. is where this is mm. from. Um, absolutely beautiful. Good luck, everyone. Make sure you do check out your baskets and keep those messages coming through. Don't forget your early bird that's coming up as well. Um, so you can shop ahead on this amazing early bird, which is Sleeping Beauty Turkey turquoise in this very celtic macintosh like design mm. um amazing 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 and um, why are you just shouting out uh, um counties ross oh all of a sudden ross just went sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> 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 did I just get told off? I think you did. I think I did, yeah. <laughs> you got told off too. What did Claire do? I didn't do anything. She did. Adam's selling Claire off. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, Claire. Okay, thanks. Um, what would you like me to bring to Eros? The Sunset Botswana. Um, will that be this incredible strand? Oh, goodness me this was launched recently i thought that was carnelian um <laughs> oh you launched this in my absence it's a bit rude isn't it a bit rude. oh that's nice i thought i genuinely thought that was carnelian that's natural sunset botswana did you say Oh, that's a perfect, perfect name. It is, it? isn't it? Yeah. I've uh, sorry. I, I'm literally seeing this for the first time. I've never, I've never seen it before. I've seen Botswana, obviously, um, but never in this natural orange. Oh, that is perfect. 
First time ever launched here at Jewelry Maker. Now, there were 50 on the original launch. There's 10 left. I'm not surprised that these flew. Oh, you think this, this is your favourite of all the Botswanas? Yeah, I agree. I do agree. Mm. That's a beautiful colour, isn't it? And it's natural. It looks like, you know, you know, you see bright colours in your agates, for example, don't you? Um, but they'll have probably been dyed. Whereas this is totally natural. All natural coloured agates, which have got this level of beauty, are extremely expensive. You know, don't be fooled by just the sort of the title of agate. Nanhong agate, Sakura agate, Botswana agate, um, blue lace agate are considered because they're not, their colour is, is not, um, I don't want to say the word artificial, but you know, their colour is not um added effectively mm -hmm. it's all mother nature's doing well wow, there's 10 available of these that's a beautiful beautiful strand good luck everybody in your beautiful satellite so this was launched on what monday yeah launched on monday 29.99 four of you have got this already it's been cut beautifully as well hasn't it yes yeah, precision Ab yeah absolutely pristine look at that look at the facets on it what's the matter You've set the price too uh, too low. Okay, we're not going any lower. This is already too low. You dropped the ball again, Ross. I think you need to tell yourself off there. Though, I know. Ross. I feel like this. I was completely unjust. That was that was an undeserved telling off. I feel. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. We've already gone too low. Tina Meath, Ellen, and London. You've done it. Well done. Candy Marie, Jane, a new customer. You're there in the process of securing these. I've never seen it before. Oh, morning, Candy. Oh yes, bless you all. It's lovely to have your company as always. And we do like each other. Genuinely, I know there's a lot of banter going on today. <laughs> genuinely, we all really like each other. We're good friends um, um, here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, I think if you're good friends, you can tell each other off, can't you? You can. Yeah. Tea. Isn't but it? then you can also just completely ignore ignore it when you get told off. I can't know. You? Yeah. I mean, like he is now. To <laughs> yeah. be honest, you know, we, yeah. we could be saying all the things. Absolutely that are under anything. The sun yeah, and not a single under the sunset not, Botswana agate. Okay, yeah, and not a say. single yeah, didn't notice anything. Yeah. See, well done. There's only four of them left. Oh, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Went far too low. That with your sun and scar. Yeah. Would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. And turquoise, yes, mm. absolutely. Along so oh yeah, can we put them all together? Just so we can pretend. Look at how lovely these are as a combination. Yeah. Oh. There's still four left of this. Well, I'll have one of those because I've never seen it before. They're absolutely beautiful. Like you said there, Claire, they are precision. Yeah. You can see, can't you, the way the light is catching the, the facet. Yeah. That, is, that is beautifully, beautifully faceted. And we have confirmed it's highly unlikely that we're going to get another sort of a parcel of Sunset mm. Botswana with this intensity of colour. That strand, $49.99, we think is mm. fair here at Jewelry Maker. Absolutely. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. Um, but I don't think it was meant to be quite as low as what's on your screens right now. But, Ross says, you know what? They are beautiful. I don't want to send even one of these back. There's four currently available. West Midlands, we don't have six, but good luck. You can have you can have four. Um, maker on the phone lines, another maker on the phone lines, and Jane. You can do it, but we are actually over-allocated. Don't let that, oh, there's three now. Don't let that put you off dialing through jewellery makers because you can, yeah, leapfrog everybody and just say, thank you very much. I'll snatch that. I'm not dilly-dallying. Mm. Um, it's a beautiful... It does look nice with that turquoise, isn't it? I think, I think, yeah, I'd maybe not that and have that sort of maybe asymmetric in that, nice. that turquoise. I love, love it. That. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Okay. Um, I have an amazing emerald slider. Yeah, let's do this because I I picked this up this morning. They're huge. Gosh, is that what it? That is lovely, isn't it? Look at the size of them. You know, when you think emeralds, if I said emerald slider bracelet to you, you most of us I think would assume it would be maybe a rondelle. A del stand. Yes, really delicate. Yeah, yeah two to four it. millimeters. No, this is not. De yeah, it's it's this a, is a great. They're shape. statements, aren't they? Yeah. Um, plus, it's on your slider bracelet, which I'm displaying terribly. One second. Um, here we go. Look at this. Have I got that right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you've got your sterling silver slider bracelet and look at the size and the quality yes, of yeah. those unbelievable, unbelievable emeralds. Natural, not oiled, not uh, heat treated in any way, shape or form, not diffused, natural Brazilian emerald. And they are enormous. Do you know... The size to get this level, the size and this colour is, is something we rarely ever see with a Brazilian, uh, Brazilian emerald. You know, look at that. We're at £99.99. pence. All the sterling silver, 25 carats of, uh, of natural emerald. We'll do this in um, two price jumps. And no time is ticking. You've got till nine o'clock to make these confirmations. Oh, what? Oh, yes, two. Two price crashes. Ross, how many do we have? If you're a May baby, this is an absolute must. It, you know, we don't often bring you. Imagine gifting someone that you know, natural emerald of this size. And also, how many people do you know own 25 carats of emerald? I don't know anybody. Other than our jewelry maker audience, this obviously. Is a, this is a... No brainer. Yeah. It's natural emerald, genuine emerald. We're going even lower, jewelry makers. There's loads of you there already. I think that's. I, I think yeah, you've you've hit the nail on the head there. I think this would be the fa a fantastic Christmas gift if you know somebody who's got uh, is born in May or just loves emerald, frankly, or green. Gosh, that's amazing. I wonder what he's going to do. He can't go far, can he? Surely there's not much wiggle room there. Oh, what's he going to do? I mean, I'm already, I'm over the moon at, at 19 99 <laughs> yes. So to be fair, yeah. there, of course there's a queue on the phone line because this is absolutely bananas. <laughs> 17 for 25 carats of natural glowing. This is the difference. It's not emerald that's kind of very dark, no forest no. green. It's emerald. There's a real that, lightness to it. There isn't is. It? It's just lovely. Almost chrysoprase yes. green. Yeah. And, and the fact that it's on a sterling silver slider bracelet. Yeah, let's as not well. forget that. I mean, that, let, yes, Claire, a slider bracelet, let's call that a tenner. Yeah. And that's a great price, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So that means all that emerald of those size, you're talking seven ninety nine. Crazy. At bananas isn't it, it? Is. it's big bananas big right? yeah. big bananas absolutely see <laughs> um 60 second lock to close this auction everybody oh you're ticking um all the boxes yeah off your christmas list i am i'm almost done you know oh l <laughs> yes yes i have Yours were actually one of the first ones I bought, actually. Yeah, the first ones I bought. Um, no, it's not trainers. <laughs> Definitely not trainers. <gasps> I'm just gonna buy. I'm just gonna buy Ro Ross now. Go to the supermarket and say, "Can I buy that box of bananas?" Bananas. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm gonna buy, Ross. Yeah. No, I have actually got yours. But not yogurt. <laughs> it's Can't not handle the yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to close this auction in 15 seconds and um, there's a lot of you there. It's busy this morning. It's busy and it's going to be one of those Sundays. We've all got like, a, I think, just a little a level of naughtiness to us today. I think so. I like that. I like that. Why not? It's Sunday. Absolutely. It's Sunday. Um, well done. Congratulations again. Make sure you keep an eye on your early bird jewellery makers. This is launching in a few moments time, actually. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, brand new premiere opportunity in this lovely, very Macintosh inspired connector. Connector, it's pendant, gorgeous. whatever. Yeah, yeah. So much you could do with it. Couldn't you? I love that. Earrings, rings. Yeah. Lots of potential. This is coming up, but not yet. Um, shall we do? Ooh, where's that? Oh, God, oh, this beauty. Yes. Oh, now I'm not gonna lie. I hear this is already launched. Has this, this was launched? And I have to tell you, all right, <laughs> Ross is like. Oh, okay, so I missed the launch of this. Was it on Monday then? 
Oh my goodness, though, I want this. So that's it, very okay. Neat. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Look at the quality of this piece. It's stunning. I, I don't know if you can get how, how close Dan can get, but look at the quality of the malachite there. Look at that quality. Beautiful bands. Remember, you've got these lovely band separations of um, incredible natural green. It's a gemstone with real sort of distinction, if you like. It's one of those that you, once you uh, admire, you probably never get it out of your head again. It's certainly one of my, it is not my number one favorite gemstone. I absolutely love it. Um, a very Van Cleef and Arpels. You know, we spoke at, uh, you know, at length before we were rudely interrupted by the fire alarm yesterday. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, everybody else. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we spoke about Van Cleef and Arpels and the Alhambra, but they don't just do the four leaf clover, they do leaf designs, don't they? I don't know, Ross, can you bring, you know, that multi coloured Alhambra necklace that I was showing yesterday? Yeah, because I was saying, you know, they don't just do the four leaf clover shape, they actually do leaves, they do lots of different motifs, natural fact. Oh, right. And this is one of their, um, one of their uh, um, gemstones that they include. Um, so look, can you see there on this piece? Now, this was actually sold at auction. Um, I think it was Christie's. Um, estimate eight to 12,000 pounds. What it sold for was 13,750. Yeah. I look at the heart. It's I gorgeous, love isn't those. it? It's gorgeous. And obviously that's 18 karat gold, but what's the, mal what's the, the, the leaves? That's malachite. So just to oh, show you, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that Van Cleef and Arpels absolutely use this um, in their collection. And if you wanted a full Alhambra in in Malachite, you're talking about twenty thousand pounds, which is Oof. astronomical yeah. amounts of money, isn't it? Really? Um, yeah, we can show you. You know, yeah. But is it the um, Queen Camilla? She wears a Malachite one, doesn't she? Amongst others, and I know it's a different shape. I know it is. Oh, there we go. A little bit shopard, happy hearts. There you go. A little bit like that, isn't it? Just fine. A bit station necklace-esque mm. as well. Um, look at the price, goodness me. Um, malachite diamonds, uh, rose gold, lovely, very beautiful. But it is this wonderful gemstone, so distinctive. that, And it has absolutely uh, captivated high-end jewellery stores at the moment. So it's Chopard, it's Piaget, it's Van Cleef, it's Stephen Webster, it's Netta Porter. There it is. There's the Alhambra that I was just describing. Um, we've just taken £100 off the price tag. There's a lot of sterling silver within this necklace. Look, just under five grams of sterling it's silver gorgeous, and they've been set beautifully haven't they yeah they're stunning i'd really like seeing malachite set like that you don't often see it prong set do you like no because it's really elevated like it. yeah yeah the mounts themselves you know mm. they yeah they, they, there's a significant gram weight to them i can't believe we're going lower um ross i i'm not going to even try and deny this um how many do you have uh oh i am asking for my own personal benefit because i would buy this yeah i would buy this do you know what I, I might do, if stop permitting, I might get two and turn it into a long line yes. necklace. I, well, I was just thinking I'd have the tur I'd probably put the turquoise down at the bottom Oh, nice. Well. Yeah, because I do, I like those two bright colours together. Beautiful. And at 49.99, you know, if I get two, it's £100, but what an amazing necklace yeah, that would yeah. be. Yeah, long line. It, would that be easy to do, Claire? Just yeah, to I think it would, wouldn't it? Because if you look at the loops on there, yes, yeah. Yeah, Ross does know my taste and I absolutely love this piece. It's beautiful. Ah, malachite. It is poetic in its beauty. You've got these wonderful like pages, chapters within a book. Um, stunning gemstone. It's all natural. Ooh, wow. That's incredible, isn't it? <gasps> absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, with all the big designers working with it. Look, a, a little... I, it's nice, it is nice, but it's not six and a half grand, is it? You know, we're at £40, and I have to tell you, our malachite is of equal quality. Yes, it's different precious metals, but it's six and a half grand. Goodness me. But, you know, again, I always say this, it's not necessarily them that's wrong, it's probably us, to be truthful. Malachite is a rare gemstone. It's very shallow forming. Um, it's uh, um, much like turquoise. The actual history of the gemstone changes quite frequently because there is so little of it available. And it's a copper rich. It's a wonderful, forms in stalactites and stalagmites. That's why you get these really lovely, almost like rings of a tree um, that are so celebrated. There are lots of you getting involved. 
involved. I'm going to join you on this stock for knitting. Mm. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, make sure you check out on that. You've got until what? Well, nine o'clock. It's, it's nine o'clock now, so we might roll over just a little bit. Um, it's all good. I had my eye on these pearls. There are two available. They are unbelievable. Is this the strand? When was this launched? I've never seen peach like these. In May, we did in May. I've n I've never seen colour like that. No, have it's you? beautiful, isn't it? Out of the hundred that we originally launched, we've got two. It's going to be a speedy auction, but I have to tell you, these are probably some of the best pearls I've seen, and I don't think you need to take my word for it. Gosh, look at those. Look at that, Claire. Mm. It's perfection, isn't it? Yeah, they it are is. natural colours. They are perfectly spherical. You have a thick nacre. And I, I can tell you how I can say that for certain. If you didn't, you wouldn't have that brightness of luster. They are perfection. And even here at 999, that's an unbelievable price tag. I, I bought these, didn't I, Ross? Ross, did I buy these? I think I did. Because I think I remember what you took them to. He says, ignore that price. There are two left. They are I did buy them because you know, you know how I know? I've got them still in the kitchen because I was going to sweet talk Claire to knot them for. Oh, do you know, I'd love to knot those. You're going to have them with gold. I think yeah. the gold and the peach would be. That's, I did. I remember the price tag. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. There are two available. They are perfectly spherical. Um, yeah, these are still in my kitchen, in a safe place in my mm. kitchen. Um, and yeah, I was thinking of just going on to like eBay or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. buying yeah. myself a nice, say, 14, 18 karat gold class, which I can probably do for about £100, and that would go alongside these pills. Yeah, That's lovely. the pedigree that we're getting. Um, that is your price tag. What's that? Make sure you check it out, because there are only two opportunities. They're Beautiful. amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Well done. Um, I've got a parcel of pearls to bring you as well, which if you love your more organic shapes, a little bit, a bit like the Lady Gaga um, House of Cards necklace, um, then this okay, is going to be right up your street. These are beautiful. Stunning. You know, and it's, fa it's, it's, it's fascinating to me when you think that once upon a time, Baroque pearls and Keshi pearls were not really sought after. In fact, they were discarded and they were thrown back into the sea. Um, criminal, isn't it? Almost. It is, yeah. Can you imagine finding those oh, treasures. Where did you throw them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrified of the sea, but I think I reckon even I, um, even I would uh, would brave it just to source gemstones like this. Um, Look at that. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful coloured. Now these are half drilled, so all you need is your peg bales. I do need to get some of these actually, because I've got I've actually got too many peg bales now. You need some more pearls. I've got more peg yeah, bales than I've got pearls. Yeah. We're at 89 pounds and 99 pence. That's 30 pounds per pearl. <laughs> Shall we take them lower? Of course. Beautiful metallic iridescence sashes of pistachio and purple we're at 20 pound per pearl they're half drilled let me just turn it around oh other way there you go half drilled so just uh, secure your peg pail um leave it overnight and you've just made yourself luxury jewelry earrings pendant charm whatever it might be <laughs> sorry ross has gone very quiet there you go absolutely beautiful Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Have we got quantity? I actually need these. 50 available. Um, again, the quality of these, you've got that wonderful metallic luster. Um, I need to make that statement, don't I? That from a harvest of uh, 10,000 pearls, um, less than 10 will have this beautiful metallic luster. Oh my goodness me, this is an Ooh, absolute no-brainer. Do you know what they're gonna go beautifully with? All the colors in the, um, give you some of these, look. They're going to go beautifully because you've got all the... Oh, Claire. That's treasure, isn't it? You know, as a child, when you imagine, when you actually imagine sort of your 
beautiful gemstones. Yeah, this is treasure, isn't it? Put them all together. And once upon a time, you know, pearls were considered to be the most valuable of all gemstones when they Ooh, were literally free, um, free dived for. Oh, they look perfect together, don't they? Um, coming up in the nine o'clock yes. hour. So I haven't got too long to wait for these. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's ten pound per natural pearl. You know, the difference is I can bring you a pearl for 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 a tenner. It might be it might be bleached or dyed. These haven't been bleached or dyed. But again, in terms of acquisitions, how we actually source our pearls, we go direct to the pearl farms where possible. And we buy big so um, we can get amazing savings and we pass those savings on to you. Make sure you are checking out your baskets on that one. Absolutely incredible, everybody. Totally and utterly natural. So definitely worthwhile getting your certificate um, of authenticity for those. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, it is time though, lovely jewellery makers, for your early bird. So many different routes that we can actually go with this. I've got 200 available. There's a massive investment of sterling silver. You know, this is not one of those connectors that is going to sort of buckle or bend. You've got the, I'm going to say a good, probably three millimetre thickness to this. Um, very Celtic inspiration in my opinion. Um, but then we've chosen, of course, none other than the iconic Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It's a connector. It's an embellishment. It's something for your slider bracelets. It can do, uh, it can achieve a multitude. It's up next, 200 available, and that will reflect in the saving. Good luck. Do you know, I've always said from um, that I'm proud to work for Jewelry Maker mm. and Gemporia ultimately, you know, as a group, because Sleeping Beauty, firstly, turquoise was turquoise to me before I actually started here. I knew mm. there was mines all around the world, but I didn't necessarily recognise, and I mean, I'm going back some years now, but I didn't really know the significance of certain mines. Sleeping Beauty, whether we're talking, you know, current current time or whether we're talking 10 years ago whether we're talking 20 years ago probably even longer is still widely considered as the finest deposit of turquoise in the world and that's because it, it's its characteristics are the most idyllic azure blue they actually refer to it as um, a robin egg blue but let's talk about turquoise because turquoise as we all know is absolutely steeped in history um it's a semi-translucent two opaque gemstone that ranges from blue to green so for example the kingman mine you can actually get green turquoise um on one side of the mountain and then you've got blue on the other side of the mountain it has veins of matrix uh remnants of the rock um, in which it formed running through it um it's a december's birthstone as well but if I'm going, to, I'm going to skip down, um, it's a gemstone that has been used for over 3,000 years. Um, it's thought to possess many be beneficial powers, like guaranteeing health and good fortune. Um, from the 13th century on, it was especially believed to protect the wearer from falling, particularly off horses, um, and would break into several pieces at the approach of disaster. Hindu mystics maintain that seeing a turquoise after beholding the new moon ensured fantastic wealth. Oh, so, and, yeah. and, and that's, you know, beliefs across multiple, multiple cultures, mm. of course. Um, again, I'm, I really want to show you the photograph here because you'll notice I mean, it's a nice turquoise. Um, I don't know the location of it, but I'm going to guess that's not Sleeping Beauty. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it is heavily matrix. So that patterning, which is very distinctive of turquoise, of course, but um, I'm going to say that's probably a little bit too much. It's all down to the eye of the beholder, ultimately, but a little bit too much because it is uh, hindering our ability to see that lovely robin egg blue. Um, it's lovely, but not what I would expect from Sleeping Beauty, which we'll see, uh, you will see in a, in a while. Um, so the Apache thought turquoise could be found by following a rainbow, which I think is lovely. They also believe that attaching uh, the December birthstone to a bow or firearm made one's aim more accurate. Uh, Pueblo maintained that turquoise got its colour from the sky, uh, sky sorry, while, uh, is, it, is it hoppy or hoppy? 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, thought that the gem was produced by lizards scurrying over oh. the earth. So um, amazing, fascinating to hear all of these. Um, yeah, Egypt, uh, for more than 3,000 years ago, it was used within funerary masks of King Tut, or Tut. Um, also um, appears in jewellery belonging to the more modern uh, royalty of Wallace Simpson, Duchess of Windsor, Windsor um, Edward VIII, um, uh, wore a famous amethyst and turquoise necklace made by Cartier themselves. Um, also, if you're celebrating your 11th birthday, this is the gemstone of your anniversary. So I think it's fair to say that here is a gemstone that is absolutely steeped in history, has got lots of influence, be that from Native American, be that from Egyptian um, inspiration that stretches over thousands of years. Um, European tradition, uh, the gift of turquoise means forget-me-not, um, which I think is very lovely. Turquoise is considered a national treasure in Tibet, where it's believed to grant health, good fortune, and protection from evil. Um, and it's also believed to bring peace to those who wear it. So really lovely, lovely sentiments. Mm -hmm. And it's often referred to as the lucky stone. Now, um, as I said earlier on, you can get turquoise from many, many, many different locations around the world. It's a gemstone that forms in very dry and arid areas, almost where the, 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 the soil seems to be craving the waters from the sky you see this amazing in, intense blues and let's show that actually so it forms in uh, uh sort of cracks um within the host rock it, uh, itself it forms over thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years but this picture i actually think demonstrates just how rare turquoise is you know mm. you're not finding big vast boulders like say your burmese jadeite you are finding little tiny amounts and very little of it will actually be of the quality that you are about to see at very shallow forming so it's not a gemstone that you could dig to thousands of meters below the earth's surface to actually um hoping to get more it's quite the opposite it's going to get less and less and less and less look at where we're starting from claire it's oh, gosh, yes. beauty turquoise which by the way the mine closed in 2012 and still what over 10 years on is still considered to be the finest turquoise in the world because it has that lovely robin egg blue. But I am definitely, definitely getting um, Macintosh vibes, very Celtic-like mm. vibes to this. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a real investment in sterling silver. Now, I know that this is a connector and... and I just feel like the word connector doesn't demonstrate the possibilities of this, Claire. No, no, and it's it's yeah, it's a bit um, it's a bit of a bland name, isn't it? It is. When, when actually, you like think, spacer. Yeah, but but I think as jewelry makers, you know, you're looking there, aren't you? At, it's something really beautiful, but you're actually looking at yes, you've got the two, you've got the two connectors, you know, loops either either end, but you've also then you've got other you know yep. areas that you could connect uh, into it. Say maybe you've got your jump rings or cords or chains, something like that. Um, but like you've said, you know, you you could you could shape those the mm. uh, the loops at either end if you wanted to make a ring. It's a great size for that. I mean, you know, depending on what you're going to do with it, you, you know, earrings you could and you oh, could add if you've got earrings. other turquoise or maybe another gemstone to hang off the bottom. You could remove one of the loops, couldn't you, if you wanted oh, to? Oh, nice, yeah. As a pendant, there's just loads and loads. The fact that it's that connector, it gives you options, doesn't it? It certainly does, you know, asymmetrically, earrings, rings, yeah. I think you've covered it, slider bracelet, like the leather cord bracelets that you've got yeah, coming nice, up. Yeah, nice, yeah. Um, I mean, Claire, if you've just tuned in, made a beautiful bracelet for me, which I'm absolutely in love with, but how about that? How about yes, alongside? Yes, yeah. You know, you could add it in there. Sorry, it's difficult for me to actually show it, but you could put that in there as well. Gorgeous. 19.99, jewellery makers, for Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. We've got to remember that nothing no more is coming from the mine and when i went over to arizona almost two years ago now goodness me where does time go we were like oh should we go to the sleeping beauty mine what's the point there is actually no point we'd have traveled and you almost assume oh, i'm in arizona i'll get there in an hour or so no it would have been a long trip to actually get to the sleeping beauty mine and we're like what's the point we're going to drive all that way to stand outside a closed gate you can't go beyond that gate yeah um, because uh, obviously the land is protected. So um, it's like, no, nah, no, no point whatsoever. We won't bother. This has been our acquisitions of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise and ultimately yours will be usually exchanges that we make with other gemstones that say maybe Steve owns the mine. Here we go. There's Steve. This was what a few years ago, actually. He is outside the Sleeping Beauty mine right there. Closed. But do you know what? I have to say... 
That would be my face as well if I was uh, if I had to drive for hours. Uh, to absolutely, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have been like, right, okay, is this what we've come to see then? Just a closed gate. Yeah. Um, but it is iconic, and that's the thing internationally. Again, at the, at the Gem Fair, there's lots of different turquoise suppliers out there. The Sleeping Beauty suppliers were heavily oh. guarded, heavily guarded. Um, probably more so than some of your, you know, gemstones you would expect to have a higher price point per carat. Fourteen ninety nine. Incredible. Even if it didn't have the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That's a great price tag. Would we agree? Or even if it were the parcel of Sleeping Beauty turquoise and, on their and, own. And also, outside of Jewelry Maker, just for, if you, for, you know, to get the, and not even, I don't think you'd even get five um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise cabochons for that, for no. that price. N never mind the fact, you know, that it's, that all that lovely silver as well and that it's been set for you. If it was completely without gemstones, and it was a base metal design, maybe with a little bit of silver plating. The next price would still be amazing. Well, I don't know what you're doing, man. You, 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 but this is you're not silly, base metal. You're silly, Ross. You saw what? You went into that accessory shop, yeah? You looked through the window. Mm. Yeah, they're really expensive. Prepare yourself, Ross. You've got two girls. Prepare you yourself. Spend a lot of time in there. Yeah, you will. You'll get dragged in. Honestly, Tom looks like a spare part when he's in there. He's like, oh god. Um, but what's exactly? It is effectively plastic, and yeah, this is not plastic. You're looking at precious nine two five sterling silver, and the finest. You don't have to just take my word for it. Ask anybody what's the best turquoise mm. in the world. Mm. Most people will say Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Absolutely. I spoke to um, at length and he was a fabulous, a very interesting chap. Um, he was a he was a turquoise trader. He sold all different locations, Cochise, he sold Kingman, he sold obviously USA turquoise. And I asked him that question, what's the best in the world? Knowing what the answer would be. And he said, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, but it's expensive now mm. because the mine is closed. This is a base metal price tag. This is, you know, even if they were like resin. That this is that the, the price tag that you're about to see. It's neither of those things though. Solid, a huge investment of sterling silver, genuine, depleted Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Over a decade on, we'll have sourced this parcel probably from exchanging gemstones that we have within our vault, or maybe from the mines that um, that, 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 that our founder actually owns. Nine ninety nine. Loads of multi buyers getting involved. That's oh, at That's this price, you could price. get a few. Well, I was thinking. Together. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, you do just you know connect them with jump rings, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine a bracelet like that? Be gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful. What yeah. would a few of them? Yeah, yeah, I would. I'd, I'd, yeah. Oh, incredible. Or alongside some pearls. Over a hundred of these have gone already, jewelry makers. You recognise a fantastic deal when you see one. You uh, at this price, yeah, I would make get three. There'd be a pair of earrings and one pendant. Yeah. Make yeah. a suite of jewelry. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We're going to put a sixty-second clock onto your screens. <laughs> Um, what that basically means is we'll be closing this auction and everything that we have brought you so far, slightly rolled over, it's all good. Um, hello to you, Elizabeth, saying, wow, that's a phenomenal price. Making earrings, love, Liz. Fabulous, Liz. Well done. Mm -hmm. They will be beautiful, won't they? Um, hello, Julian Somerset, saying, hi, ladies. Simple cross with a tassel hanging down. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely. Love that. Um, a lot of you are suggesting the same as Diane. I'm using mine um, as a cross on a chain. Nice. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's a beautiful mm. suggestion. Just because it's not too big, is it? It's not too big. It's that perfect size mm. to wear on like an 18 or 20 inch yeah. chain. Um, and I like the fact as well that, you know, it's kind of got that Celtic vibe mm. about it as well. Beautiful. In 10 seconds, we are closing this auction, so make sure you check out. Likewise, for everything we brought you so far this hour, Epic Kits with Claire coming up after the break. Jewel Makers, see you after this.
back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. makers head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever we have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off so head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear We've just had the first group of Britain's Next Gem contestants in. Weren't they fantastic? And this Wednesday, we've got the second group coming up. They will be given five minutes each to show us a short demonstration and to give us their top tip. Now, after that, just two from each group will make it through to the second round. So make sure you join us this Wednesday for the second group of Britain's Next Gem. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, everybody. It's Claire McDonald. Oh, thank you. We've had some snacks. I know, mine are all lined Still up here. have got a nice little line-up of snacks. Yeah, look at them all. Chocolate. Oh, yeah, there you go. Can you see them? Peeking through. Yes. Look at those snacky snacks. Amazing. Yes. Um, and we're all good to go. Now... I have to tell you that this parcel of absolutely beautiful turquoise 
is up on pre-order right now and you do get all of them as well so beautiful we guarantee the carrot weight and obviously the quality you might get different cuts so you might have the same selection as me you might have some which are square you might have some which are um octagon cut you know there's a real selection so the quality though is exceptional i can tell you jewelry makers the deal is amazing so parcels like this claire this is what most jewelers will purchase isn't it you know gemstones yes, like, this, like that those. but i was just thinking then i was just i think the demo that i'm going to do would be so it will work for um setting it for uh fasted stones but also for cabochons as well i think so, so you could use this yeah i think so yes yeah perfect so um, yeah. if you're a lover of turquoise it's going to work with your nine o'clock kits as well mm. um well you've got what one two four kits amazing gemstones stunning jewelry Thank oh, you. It was really, it was really pieces. lovely to do, um, yeah, to do some, uh, do some wire wow. work with these. So because what you're getting in here again are, are multi shapes, which are so nice to work with. Um, but it can be maybe if you, maybe if you've not, uh, maybe if you're, I don't know, you've only worked with our semi mounts before and you've set them and you've done prong setting, but you've never actually made mounts for gemstones. This might be quite a nice way into working with your, um, uh, you know, your base metal wires. You've got a good, you've got a structural gauge and you've got a weaving gauge and we're going to make our own setting for them. So it's sort of trying to do different ways of setting those stones, but you you do it yourself. So it's gem setting, also wire weaving. So Yes, why, yes. And why work, Claire, I mean, it's what you um, became known for, isn't yes, it? Yes, well, yes. Yeah, so I started off sort of doing a little, little bits of... Um, wire work and then came to Jewelry Maker and did a lot more wire work. So everything I did was sort of, um, you know, I guess cold like that. So just, just connecting structural wires with finer wires. Um, yeah, and then it's sort of gone on, gone snowballed, on from there. It snowballed yeah. from there. Yeah. Okay, um, and I will, without letting the cat out the bag, tell you that the discussion that Claire and Ross have had this uh, over the break, you are going to get a fantastic deal on these. For the parcels of the gemstones Absolutely, alone. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. um because you do get them like this so they come in their little box the quality of the gemstones are absolutely exceptional um can we start well i've got two multi-gem haven't i shall we start and then two which are zircon here we go check these out so i've got row with well, a the two coloured ones are both rose. One's bare copper and one's rose gold. There we go. So one's rose gold, one's bare copper, if that makes sense. Um, here we go. And then I'm going to put the wire um, alongside. So um, this is 0.8 millimetre and also your 0.4 millimetre. And I'm, oh, and I'm sure Claire will explain to you why you have particularly those two um, gauges. Yes. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness me, Claire. These They're are amazing. They're exquisite, aren't they? Absolutely exquisite. <gasps> It's been such a long time since we've had kits like this. I feel, yeah, I think, do you know what? I think at, at least a year, at least a year, I, I feel like I haven't had a selection of, um, well, I've, I've never had a selection of, of fasted stones like this. No, no, I don't remember ever doing them. Uh, so what, within here, the you, sizes that you're, you're mystic. Well. Yeah, so wait a sec, you've got, to, obviously topaz, topaz yeah, yeah. but you, you've got your sunset or paparaccia topaz, Come here, there's a little one hiding behind there as well. Um, the selection that you're getting, mystic blues, you've got your purples, you've got a selection of your sizes. If I put those down, then hopefully Dan can show you all of those. Look at the quality of these stones. Oh my goodness It is me. treasure, isn't it? It is treasure. Yeah. I swear it's gemstones like this that made me go down the path that I did. did I think, uh, yeah, I go, yeah, I agree with you. So, ooh, just fascinating. Yeah. Um, now, let me just quickly explain with your topaz how we, not everywhere does it this way around, by the way. So um, we um, coat the underside which means that when, when it's in your jewellery, um, it's less likely to actually scratch that surface. Um, in terms of uh, wear, you can wear it with absolute confidence. Uh, Topaz is a very durable gemstone. You have this wonderful Aurora Borealis, lovely magical performance that occurs. That. What? That's the first price crash. Now, how many have we got, Roscoe, of each of these kits? 100 of each of them. Do you know, even if you are not a wire worker, You'd be buying them for the stones, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if Absolutely. you were a collector, a I've November a collector. baby. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. We are going even lower. 
Shop ahead on the other kits though as well, says Ross, because you've got some beautiful, you've got topaz, two, two kits which include topaz, two kits which include your um, zircon, different colours of your wire. But for me, you know, I know we're going to be doing wire work demonstrations, but those stones are remarkable, aren't they? They're, yeah, they really are. And I think once you, I feel it's like it's a bit flat there. Um, I think you're getting so much sparkle. When, when you start to move them around, um, if I just sort of like, can you, I mean, can you see the, the, the sparkle that you're actually getting? Oh my goodness, yeah. It's like such a it, strawberry it's a, colour. It's a wonderful, the, the, the parcel oh, stones you're getting goodness. is incredible. They look like the finest rubelite. Yeah. That's what they look like to me. And I think the, it's the, the, um, the cut of them as well, isn't yeah. it? The fact that you've got those different, um, the, the cut as well. Oh my goodness me, I, mean, I can't believe we're going even lower. Jewellery makers, even if you're not a wire worker or a gemstone setter, um, you love your gemstones, right? Twelve ninety nine to get, how many, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stone solitaires, even if you haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue what you're going to do with them as of yet, that would go in my little, yes, little, yeah. little box of treasures. Yes, absolutely. As a collector. Yeah, it's yeah. genuine topaz. Or in some of you know, like the little lockets that we've done. Oh, that's you can, nice. You can put, um, put stones in. And we need to remember that, you know, for it to be a mystic, a, a mystic stone, you know, we have to have the best quality topaz in, from the get go. Because there's no, you know, if there's inclusions that would hinder that beautiful, magical, and it is magical, isn't it? That lovely colour, that performance that you're seeing within each and every single one of those stones. You have different colours of your topaz as well. From your mystic, which you can see is the big oval. oval. You've got your paparacha topaz, which is that marquee's. Mm. Um, oh my goodness. Well done. Make sure you stay where you are. Um, keep on dialing through, everybody, because, should we do the other model? multi-gem so oh, it's hard to choose do you know but at these prices we don't need to do we don't need to choose um plus you've got this one you've got your bare copper and your bare copper wire um we're going to match all of those prices right, i would pay 12.99 for just one of those look at the stones yeah they're wonderful aren't they oh that hot pink mm. i'd pay 12.99 for that i'd pay 12.99 for one of the little stones I paid twelve ninety nine for the sort of your yeah, classic, yeah. your classic. Oh, is it over or is it around? Let's have a little look. Shall I open it? Is it around? Lovely. Let me just open this parcel. <gasps> I would one hundred percent play twelve ninety nine for any one of these stones. Look at how beautiful they are. They're gorgeous. You also get your wire as well. Don't forget that. So you get your point eight and your point four wire. Um, what an opportunity to start your wire work journey. So so exciting, Claire. Oh, I bet it was a treat when these landed on your doorstep. It is. You know when you get a kit and you just, um, they do, they just absolutely transfix you. And I just had them in the, um, in the palm of my hand like that for ages and ages. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, look, look, beautiful, aren't they? Look. Stunning. Apps, twelve ninety nine for that one stone. I mean, how that's amazing. You don't just get the one; you get them all. Um, okay, now let's step into. Let's do the yellow gold. So this has. So this one, this one. So um, different different stones here. So with this one, what I'd done was made. Um, I mean, you can see so slightly different setting for that one. So it's sort of one way, you just sort of like you wrap it around. Mm -hmm. So if I sort of turn it. Uh, and then, because you've got that, the different sorts of uh, gauges of wire, you can make your own little, little. so there's, they're all sort of loose in there. It's almost like a... Oh, like a little basket. Yeah. That's a lovely idea. Ooh, ooh, come here. Hang on. Down you go. They're all clinging on. One sec. There you are. Oh, it's like the introduction of a Bond film, this mm. is. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't it? Diamonds are forever. Wow. Um, genuine zircon, not to be confused with cubic zirconia. They are very, very different things. Cubic zirconia is, um, of course, man-made zircon is the oldest gemstone that exists. It's doubly refractive. You get loads of scintillation, loads of fire. Claire, I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. I remember them when the reels of wire would have cost more than what you're about, I'm about to I say. I know, I know, I know. Do you want this kit, the parcel with the box, the two reels of wire, under ten pounds. That's madness. It's genuine mm. zircon. Zircon actually helped scientists age our planet. Four point four billion years—the oldest zircon ever actually discovered. 
That is crazy. Look at, you know, when we casually throw around the term fire, it's those it's spectrums yes. of colours. Yeah. Yeah. And it will always be zircon that I reference to mm. highlight, highlight it because a diamond gives you fire, but nowhere near in the same league as a zircon. Um, it's doubly refractive. So what that basically means, light enters into the stone. It splits that white light and then gives you that wonderful uh, explosion of, uh, um, of colours. Ten pounds only. I mean, even with this, if you don't feel like you you feel confident to to work with the the wire with these gemstones, and you've got any of the semi mounts, I would have a look because you've got such an an array and assortment of of, of shapes and sizes mm. in there. I mean, maybe have a look, you know, and and you see if a stone marries up with the some of the semi mounts that that you've got. I mean, can you imagine doing stud earrings. Oh. You know, white zircon instead. Of, that, that's gonna. It's gonna look like a di an amazing Absolutely. diamond earring. Absolutely. Yeah. What about what about setting these into your pearls? Yeah, beautiful. You could do. You could yeah. use Dremel, couldn't you? Absolutely. Set into yes. your pearls. Yeah. But yeah. just to have a parcel of genuine zircon. Plus, can I just point Less out? Than Ten pounds. It's crazy. That's Cambodian zircon as well, which is like which is like Sleeping Beauty to turquoise, the best in the world. Um, it's on the verge of selling out. Well done. Shall we do the same parcel? I shouldn't have closed that, should I? I should have kept it open. Um, same parcel. So you've got beautiful zircon, but this time with your rose gold. So it's down to your own personal preference, which colour you wish. Um, oh, there you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Um, it? You wish to actually get hold of. You've got a mixture of your shapes from your rounds uh, to your trillions and your ovals, for example. Um, a parcel of... Do we have the carrot weight there? It's a big parcel, let's just put it that way. Um, and, of course, your two essential gauges, 0 0.8 and 0 0.4, Claire, they are like a yeah, marriage they're really, yeah, heaven, they're, they're, they? Yeah, they're perfect. So, And you'll see when I, when I do the demo now of how, how we wrap the, the finer gauge around the, the heavier. Perfect. Any questions that you have for lovely Claire about her beautiful jewellery and techniques, feel free to text us in the studio. Um, the turquoise, remember, is coming up. That will also work with your demonstration, won't yes. it? Yes, so. yeah, I think it will. I think it will. So with, with this... Five carrots of zircon. There we go and answer your question. So over to you. Thank you. So so what I've got, yeah, I think I think with this, you, you'd be actually okay because how you would manipulate it of whether you have it as um, uh, uh, a setting for uh, a cabochon or with a flat, flat bottom or you allow for... Um, uh, for a faceted stone like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off, we've got our... Um, I'm going to take four pieces of uh, the uh, structural wire, so our 0 0.8. I'm going to bind them together. I'm going to take two lots of uh, 0 0.4. So you're going to start off, so I'm going to pick up two of these, so we'll pop it like that. And I'm going to go... So I'm going to bring this over. So I'm going to have one, two, so I've got two lots, and then I'm going to pick up the other one here. So I'm going to have that so it's sort of coming across. I've gone halfway in this section. I'm going to just hold here and wrap a couple of times around. So if I just bring that in first, this one here. Yeah. And we'll put that into the centre. This one, I'm just going to bring that over there and we'll have that out the way there. OK, so that's just a couple of loose wraps on there. We're just binding at the moment our structural wires. So now we're, what we're going to be doing here is binding the two wires. I'm going to group them into twos and these are going to become our, almost like the prongs, the setting. So I'm going to do a figure of eight. So I'm going to go round this one in between and round again. So I go all the way around and, come back. and in between. So it's that figure of eight. So it's sort of a cross section would go like that. Okay. And I'm going to go Again, round here and again round here. Now, you're only going to do that. It will depend on the, how many, how big your stone is. But you see, I've gone here. I've got uh, two, two lots there. So it's given me four wraps. So I've gone once, twice, over, once, twice. And we'll leave that there and see how we're looking here. Because these stones, you know different shapes and sizes so it might be that with an oval you're going to come out a little bit more uh, with the longer side and then maybe fewer wraps on that side so I'm going to take the next one so I'm going to leave that there for the moment and I'm going to bring this one in so let's go I've got that one there so I'm going to bring the fourth wire in now 
and we would wrap that in the same way. So I'm going to have this wire is coming over. So I'm going to bring this and we'll do the same here. So you can do your figure of eight on all four of these sides. So just take your time with that and bring that in so it's nice and neat. So you're going to do one, two, and what will start to happen as you weave with your finer wire on the structural wire, it all starts to come together. Okay, so you can see, so I've gone opposite. So here is on with that wire, here is on that wire. Then you cut another piece of 0 0.4 and you do the same on, on the opposite ones. So you can see, so you'd actually got, you started off with two, two lots of 0 0.4, but because we're using both ends, that will give us something that looks like you can see here. So I've actually got my prongs are woven together and I've now got four pieces of wire here. And you can see, so what I've done is I've made these prongs here slightly longer. I've gone, done an extra wrap when I've been doing my figure of eight weave compared here. So I'm going to have that because I'm working with an oval shape. So I'm going to sit that in. So let's pop that in there. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is start to mold the prongs up. So I'm going to move those down. Okay. So the first ones I'm going to bring in. I'm going to take the two from the, the, the bottom. I'm going to start and hold. Just bring these up a little bit. Right, so I'm going to bring that in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and just wrap. As we can start to see that it's sitting with the stone, I'm going to take the 0.4 and just start and weave a little bit. So I'm binding now. So I'm taking the wires that are going across and start to bind. So it's taking it from that flat into now it's going to have a, almost like that pyramid shape. So I'm working my way around. So again, just wrapping that. I'll we'll take this one. So you're essentially almost like doing like a bit, making it into um, a basket now. So again, this one is going to come in here. And I can bring this round and we can start to bring that in. Thank you. Oh, so that's actually, <laughs> you can see there. So underneath, so you can see how we're starting to bind it together. So you need to do a couple of these. Okay, so let's bring this in. And we'll go like that and we'll leave it there. Okay, so we're going to pop the stone in now. move these out of the way a bit. I don't want to get rid of them yet because I can use these for my bale and other decoration if I want them. Okay, so we've now got, although we've got eight, we've got sort of, sort of four areas that we can secure the stone. So the first one I'm going to do, if I just move that back, I'm going to take the two at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to bring that over. So I'm holding the stone and like with all wire work and, and if you've got a, a stone, you know, you're always checking to make sure that your stone still fits in. So I'm going to take this side. So not the 0 0.4, the 0 0.8. I'm going to bring that over. So I'm coming over the top of the stone. I'm going to wrap that around this top wire here. So not that one, the, the top one there. Nice amount of tension. I'm going to bring that up. Now you want to make sure that it's coming over. So you can see it's gone over the stone and it's come back over here. Okay, so it's gonna hold that in place. So again, I'm gonna bring this one, bring that up. And I'm gonna go bring this up and go around here. So we're going up and over. Let me bring that round. So again, nice and tight, so it's coming over the stone. And if you need to, go in and just give that a little bit of a pinch there. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's coming up and over the stone. Let's have a look at it, let's turn it the way it's gonna look. Okay, so we've got that now. So it's now secured in at that bottom section. So you can see these prongs, although they're not coming up and over like that, like a usual prong, they're, coming, they're bringing the wire work. So it's coming, that structural wire is holding it in place. 
So we've now got, let's see where we are. So we've taken our bottom wires. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to trim off. We can get rid of this one at the moment. I think we're all right without that one. Let's have a look. So a lot of the thing with wire work is, is, is getting rid of, of, of wires, you know, one at a time and not being, you know, when, you, when you're working with this and you're thinking, okay, I've got eight, eight wires to deal with. So just take uh, one at a time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these ones. I'm going to use these. I'm going to have it at the top. These ones are going to be my bail. So I'm actually going to use this one because I've got enough of it and I'm going to do exactly the same there. So we're going to take that. So it's coming across here. And that has locked in now that top part of the stone. And we'll do the same with this one. So let's come over, get those bale wires, and we'll do the same there. So that again has locked that in. So we now, I don't think I'm going to use those because they're a bit short. I'm going to get rid of those. And that's another two that I've got rid of. And let's get that one off there. Okay, and that one there, and that one there. So now what we can do is, you're now looking at what I might do, if we have a look, I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna have these as uh, my bale. What I'm gonna do is, let's have a look. We could bring that round and I'm gonna have that there. And I'm going to have that one there as well. So it's a case of you're just bringing, I might bring that one up as well. Have a double. Okay, so I've now got four wires that are going to be for my bale. So that's going to be really nice. I'm going to have these ones coming down here. So to get rid of these ones, I'm going to have a detail there. So I'm going to decide how far I want that. I'm just going to bring that in and snip that off. So let's bring that in. So you can see with wire work, when you're working like this, it, what's, what's actually nice with it is to sort of... not you, you, you need to have an idea and you need to be sure that you're going to set the, the, the stone you know, so that it's nice and secure. But what's a really lovely way is just being quite sort of free form with it. So you can see now, so we've got that, we've got that effect there. I've also got, I can get rid of this wire here and I can get rid of that one there. So I've got this one now in the right place and you can carry on and do your figure of eight weave. And that gives you, so you'd see you just go along and bring that in like that. And you do your figure of eight weave and that's gonna give you your, oh, wow. your bail there. So if I bring in, if I just bring in that one, you can see how that would then look where those wires. That's you amazing. That, that gives you that. So you just do your figure of eight weave and you've secured the stone. So if I shake that. It's not going anywhere. It's not Claire. going anywhere. Claire, that's you. absolutely beautiful. And I have to say, both the colours of your wires <laughs> look amazing with those Ooh. stones, don't they? Look, yeah, they do. Just they do. Hang it around. Well, that's a good test, isn't it, though? Because if it comes out now, you know you've got to go back in and. <laughs> there it well, is, your kit, it. needless to say, have absolutely flown, Claire, and I'm not surprised by that. What amazing, lovely stones, and. Who knows if it's the start of your journey or maybe you're uh, um, um, progressing in your existing medium. Uh, Miss Janet says, stunning Aww. work, Claire, and wonderful demo. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you, Miss Janet. Always. Very kind. Always very always, kind. Always. Um, yeah. Now, we're going to have to bring the turquoise live because we had 100 and a third of the stock has already gone. Okay. Um, now, I'll bring the graphics live so you can absolutely join already lots of you that have got involved now wayne um who mm. for those of you that don't know he's our sales manager but he's also our gemstone buyer and i have said it yesterday and i'll say it again he's genuinely i think the best gemstone buyer we've had here at jewelry maker the deals that he gets the quality that he gets do you agree with yeah. me yeah. i mean we say it 
we'll say it while he's not. Otherwise, yeah. he gets, gets all big for his boots, doesn't, doesn't he? he? Yeah, yeah, but he is, to be fair. Um, and he's particularly proud of this parcel, and rightfully so. The quality and size is absolutely amazing. So, you know, just a few minutes ago, and I referenced how it forms within cracks and crevices, and very, it's hard to get big sizes. These are enormous. Um, look at where we're starting from. Jewelry makers, that's already significantly true low, probably for just one of those stones. Um, but I wanted to show you a quick article, and I'll read it really quick because I'm very aware of time from the jewellery editor who have written about turquoise on a couple of occasions natural fact but they say this is a lovely write-up and it references something that I lent towards earlier on um, when the rocks dream about water turquoise is born at least that's one of the myths about this soft blue stone and sometimes green um, stone found in desert regions around the world it's been carried as amulets and adorned the necks of nobles uh, from Tibet to Mexico it's been placed in tombs to help lead the passage to the other world and has been a attached to arrows to guide their accuracy. Uh, turquoise didn't get its name from the colour, but from the geography. An azure stone first made its way to Europe via mines um, in Central Asia. The trade routes led through Turkey, where merchants bought the stone in Turkish bazaars. The name is translated from uh, the French Pierre Turquoise, meaning Tur Turkish stone. There is something soothing about turquoise. It does have this uh, an earthy quality, and why, uh, while it's most widely known in America, uh, sorry, Native American jewelry uh, from the American Southwest, lately it's been making its way into high-end jewelry, including the magnificent, magnificently colourful cocktail rings by Van Cleef and Arpels, uh, um, Grisagona. Have I pronounced that? Oh no, Griso. I don't know. Um, and one of a kind, uh, Bulgari necklaces that uses circles and shards of turquoise in a style worthy of a king of ancient Egypt. So here is a gemstone that I think I, you know, I know it says recently it's been used in high-end jewelry for centuries in all honesty and it is a gemstone that commands some significantly high prices and I can show you a few of those high-end pieces. Chopard, Piaget, you know, uh, Harry Winston um, uh, use it. So let's show you some of those. I mean, look how magnificent those earrings are. So mm. with Amazonite, turquoise and diamonds, you know, beautiful. Mm. How about this Bulgari necklace teeming amethyst and emerald and turquoise? Just perfectly complimenting. This is ultra, ultra high-end jewellery, and they could have chosen any. I love this watch. I think it's so elegant. This is Dior, and they use uh, turquoise, obviously, on the dial um, and diamonds um, circling. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, next up is Chopard. Lovely. We showed it in Malachi yeah, earlier on. Color, yeah. um, this is in a very cool blue, I've got to say. It's, mm. it's quite, uh, it's not it's necessarily not. the brightest of turquoise, which is what I would prefer. Um, but still, it's pretty, I suppose, and heaven knows what the price tag is. Um, here we go. Again, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, so USA turquoise, accented with brilliant cut diamonds. And that's what Carla... Amorim, I think, so beautiful, uh, absolutely amazing. But high-end jewellery, most certainly, it is an absolute staple, and these big designers are not hesitant to use it alongside the high, uh, most expensive gemstones. We are incredibly, incredibly proud of this parcel. The quality is absolutely amazing. Um, and one of the other reasons that Wayne is as proud as he is, is because of the price point. Look at where we are starting. It is USA. It has that lovely robin egg blue. Our first price crash was well, £60.99. For, for that, should be yeah. The first price yeah. Crash, for that it? size. Yeah. That, yeah They're not the itty bitty ones, are they? What? Each. That would be amazing, each. It's incredible, isn't it? They're absolutely huge. Gallery wire. Absolutely, gallery wire, yeah. Oh my! Bezel, bezel setting them. If you've got bezel, bezel wire, gallery wire, wire work that you know the demo we've just done. I've got six. It yeah. Netting. You know, if you watch the hobby starter demonstration, you know, beading round. Loads and loads of yeah. things you can do. That's amazing, isn't it? No way. I, We're going lower, Claire. So the photograph shows four. We guarantee the carrot weight. So you might get four. You might get six, like I've got here in the studio. 
There's so much potential, isn't there, Claire? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. It's premium. I love the fact with this, the matrix includes some copper as well. How beautiful. And undeniably, you can, so obviously turquoise, but it's mm. rare to get them of this size. I can't believe we're going lower. Jewelry makers, this is an absolutely unbelievable deal and a must, I think, alongside uh, Claire's kits earlier on. Wow, 17 pack. Like cre credit where it's due. Wayne, this is unbelievable. How many do we have? Exactly 100 available. Oh, look at that's my favorite. That's my yes, favorite. Yes, gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know what? I'd put this with something like, um, I don't know, Spessartite. Oh, nice. Like a Spessartite yeah. garnet. Get, getting definite Harry Winston vibes. Yes, I do like all those vibrant colors together, yeah. Because, um, yeah, Harry Winston do like a mandarin garnet and then they halo it with turquoise. Yeah, um, of course, smothered in diamonds as you would be, as it would be yeah. from Harry Winston. And who knows how, what the price tag is. Way beyond my budget anyway. Um, in 12 seconds, I can't believe we're doing this, Jewelry Makers. We had 100 available. It's one of the, the finest parcels, I think, of turquoise I, because it's got the, the perfect balance. It's got matrix, but not too much. Mm. It, and it doesn't hinder our vivid brews. Remember, the finest quality turquoise should have that robin egg blue and be reminiscent of the most glorious usa sky you know arizona sun incredible. sky wow uh wow that's unbelievable isn't it and you know i i mean it's they're really lovely sizes i know you're going to get a mix of, of shapes but if you look at they're all really really good ring ring sizes aren't they? i'm feeling gonna, rings yeah yeah I think they'd be amazing rings. Oh, mind you, pendants as well. Look at that. Yeah. Using Claire's technique. $14.99. We had 100. Half the stock. Is that right, Roscoe? Looks like it. Okay. 65 out of the 100 have already gone. You don't just get the one, so. though. You get an entire parcel. And they come presented like so. Um, 40 carats guaranteed. You'll have between... Um, are there anything between five... So I, on the graphics, it says five. But it's actually... You might get more. You might get less. Five, two... It, you might get more, it might get eight potentially. Guaranteeing that 40, uh, 40 carats of this amazing quality. Look at the core screens, Claire. And, uh, yeah. Oh, is it sold out? Yeah. Amazing. This is stunning, absolutely stunning stone. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Shall we continue? Oh! Oh! Oh, look! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness me. We're going to do it in one price crash. Oh, oh, oh. this is some of the best Labrador I've seen in ages. And we have Look got some amazing that. Labrador. Oh, I feel like it's so long since I've seen any. It is a long time since we've seen Labradorite. You know, we haven't got a huge amount of oh, it like we used word. to, but I have no. to tell you, this, this is, is nice, another level, yeah. Look at the purples there. Purples and blues, one of the rarest colours to get in Labradorite. This hypnotic gemstone. I always call it the Heathcliff of the gemstone world because it's dark and moody, but also romantic and powerful. I don't know. It's just beautiful. A gemstone that was discovered um, in Canada, of course. They believe that it had the Aurora Borealis trapped within. Magical. It is magical. And it's all natural. This is not coated. That's all natural. And you see these here on the desk. You might think, oh, Elle's not holding those because uh, they haven't got the labradorescence. Oh, believe me, they do. It's just you're looking at the darker side. They haven't actually been influenced to the light. There we go. Look at that. It's a full copper sheen. They're some of the best I've seen. And actually to oh. have the full, uh, the full measurement, if mm. you like, producing that. Yes. It's a whole, that's the whole surface, isn't it? Do you remember once upon a time, Claire, you know, and we had love, we've always had lovely Labradorite. It's always been one of our favourite gemstones. But sometimes, I, I'll be really honest, when I first started presenting here, um, here, I'd be like, oh, OK, I've got to find the perfect mm. angle. Not, and not we, at all with that. Though, not at it? all. Not no. at all. No. I used to have to look for the, for, for the light, if you yeah. like, to show you that Labradorescence down the camera. I don't need to do anything here. Well done. Oh, lovely. Well done, well done. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave that with you just because we're gonna squeeze in just a few more before I bring you that amazing mother of pearl carving with Dave. Um, which one first? 
The bigger. Have you seen these? Oh, I thought you'd like these. <gasps> when was the last time you had five millimeter sterling silver? I, I don't know. I, I, Not I very often. I can't think. It's been ages, isn't it? I brought these to wear. I think it was the beginning of this week, and I was like, ah, I can't remember the last time we had them. No. Oh, how wonderful. Claire, you could just put those on elastic, couldn't you? Yeah. Like Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I showed play, uh, designs from Tiffany's & Co. I showed designs for, well, lots of, you know, pulled some off um, lesser well-known gemstones. They were still triple figures. It's 925 sterling silver. Are you happy at 1999, considering yes. these are bigger? And you do get 20 of them. We are not stopping there. FYI. This is wonderful, isn't it? Also be added to Oh, nice. Yes. Putting the two together. Put the two together, yeah, absolutely. Or something like this as well. Shop ahead on these. How many? We can't have many of these left, though, surely, Roscoe. 80 out of the 800 that we launched yes. only probably a yeah. week or so ago. Yeah. It is about a week or so, isn't it, Ross? Yeah, I don't. I didn't think that that eight hundred quantity. I do feel for our buying team sometimes because it's like, right? But I bet. I bet people were multi buying with yeah. these, weren't they? With that's a that's great size. It's probably been, I reckon, a good couple of years since we've had five millimeter rounds. As I can't. Do you know what? I can't remember us, us doing them. It goes to show, doesn't it? Yeah, we bought eight hundred, mm. thinking, yeah, there we go. There's our essentials. We'll <laughs> have them for at least three months, no less than a week. <laughs> Less than a week. Um, we're going even lower. Well done, Margaret, Maker, Pat, Catherine, London. Hello to you, Janet, Julia, Christine, Staffordshire. We're at a pound per solid 925 sterling silver spacer bead. Look at that gram weight, 4.4 grams. Big discount for you today. Uh, oh, brilliant. Yeah, I would be stocking up, definitely, like people have. Yeah, that's brilliant. I do feel for it's a good size. It is a good size. Mm. We've had we've had the smaller sizes, but not five mil yeah. in a very 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 long time. I don't think I might be wrong, but I don't recall anyway. And and just reading between the lines, the call screen, you know, also mm. says that lots of people yes. haven't actually yeah. seen them for a yeah. while. Um, four point four grams is a big gram weight, but we would expect that with your five millimeters. Also, it's key for me to mention that they are solid. You know, if you're wearing. Um, I don't know, something, uh, I don't know, like a, if I'm a, a sterling silver hollow bangle, you need the investment in sterling silver, otherwise it could potentially buckle. Mm. These are solid, so that gram weight is, um, is absolutely crucial. 12 99 I think that's, well, half what it should be, really. They're going to go perfectly, aren't they, with... Oh, um, yes, your 12 o'clock kit. Yeah. Slide them over, actually, because yeah. these are brand they, new, aren't they? Yeah, they, they really will. Um, amazing with Claire's 12 o'clock kits. Here they are, so you've got these beautiful... Oh, They're okay, going to work, yes. aren't they? Brilliant, they? Yeah. I'd be adding those up for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very beautiful. Make sure you check out your baskets whilst you have the opportunity. These are launching. Um, these are launching at 12 o'clock. Yeah, perfect must-have. And a space, a bit like our conversation about connectors, Claire. It's such a an underwhelming word, isn't it, spacer? Yeah. But, but jewellery makers, we know it, it, it fills you with excitement, doesn't it? It does. They do so much more than space. So much yeah. more than just space. Yeah, they would be absolutely perfect with Claire's um, brand new leather slider bracelets that are coming up. There's lots of you there. We only had 80 of them left today. Started with 800 at the beginning of the week. Do you want to know how many we've got now? 800? 800, what, a week ago? It was, wasn't it? Sunday. Do you want to know how many we've got now? <laughs> A 771 five millimeter spacer bead parcels gone in less than a week. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Okay, we will bring you the smaller size. Have you got that that photograph? I think it was $179 or something. You know that bracelet where it actually mixes the two sizes? Ah, oh, see, he's with me as our Roscoe. He knows well, exactly what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, when we launched these, uh, I was talking about different designers that don't just use your gemstones. They also use precious metal as precious metal. It's a rarity. It's a valuable commodity as well. You know, a bit like your slider bracelets here. Mm. You know, it's all about, it's not gemstones. It's no, about the yeah, sterling yeah, silver. Yeah. Um, 
Um, so Tiffany's, there's a stretchy bracelet. You can still get hold of the five mils, but um, they are quite limited now. Oh gosh, they're very limited. Joan, good luck. If you press your option one, hopefully I can guarantee you one. I don't want to say that for certain, but um, I've got seven left. Do you know what? And then we will speak to the team. We will say, right, we need more five mil. I reckon we should go up to eight mil on these. Oh, yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. That would be nice. Oh, they'd be lovely with your collection as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so have four, five, six, and eight. What about a big whopping 10 one? Mm. What do you reckon? And don't forget, text in your gemstone choices. Anything. It could be something obscure. I've been asking for Fordite for ages. Ooh, I really like Fordite. And it's a gemstone. Fordite, yeah, it's paint, basically. Because, of course, I know what it is. I know, but it's, it's, it's cool. And it is a gemstone because it's very rare. It doesn't have to be Mother Nature born, a gemstone to qualify as a gemstone. So text in your ideas. Um, okay, amazing. Shall we do you the other, bring the other sizes now? Oh, Claire. We're going to miss out on these, aren't I we? I think we are. They'd all go fabulously together, wouldn't they? They're perfect for your 12 o'clock kits, yeah. aren't they? So let's bring you the silver first. Now these are, are they four? Three mil? And we've got them in the two different colours. I'll tip them all out so you can see. Oh, Claire, you know what? This is giving me my lovely bracelet vibes. Yes, yeah. I do like the two together. Yeah. Now, if you haven't seen these on there and you don't know what they're going to, okay, let me just ask Claire, do you remember when we used to do bags like this? I think they were packs of 20, actually, weren't they? Yeah, yeah do you remember? Yeah, yes. I, yeah, yeah, I do. I think as well we did, did we do 10? Yeah, that, we did 10s. Yeah, the very, very early on. Yeah, we start, I think we started with the 10s. And it was, yeah, and so excited to get yeah. sterling silver. And then we, they gradually got more and more and more and more. £20.99, so you're talking about 20 solid 925 sterling silver spacers. We're bringing you the, the silver first and then we'll step into the gold. If you don't know what these go to, all I'm going to say is... Trust me, you will not regret dialing early. They're so um, useful. Oh, they are, aren't mm. they? Yeah. Ross, remind me how many we got. Have we? 200. Well, you say big, it's a spacer bead. People are going to go, I'll have, I'll, I know what they go to. Opening price point. People are not going to buy just one. Because that's our opening price. Mm. Let me give you a little bit of advice. If you love a trusty spacer bead, I've got 200. That could go in a nanosecond, in an absolute nanosecond, because I remember what these go to. Can I show that piece of jewellery? So I found this whilst pre uh, preparing for the launches of these spacer beads. That's lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a stretchy, mm. or maybe a couple. Can't work out whether it's a wraparound style or whether it's a... Yeah, or a... a yes, yeah. $179, and it's got the mixture. No gemstones, just the mixture of your sterling silver. It works so well, doesn't it, by having the different sizes. So if you've got the parcel previously... Yes, yeah. Um, then this would be perfect yeah. alongside it. Those of you, in fact... Every single one of you has chosen to multi-buy. Savvy shopping. I don't think you're going to regret that because this is your opening price. I have got 200 available, or rather I had. Um, can we shop ahead on the, road, on, the, on the yellow gold as well? No, 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 says Roscoe. Mm. OK, you got, you got to wait. you got to wait for those ones. OK. I'll go back to the original question, Claire. Do you remember when we first started doing spacer beads? Were they ever six ninety nine? No. no. Oh. oh. And they're not six ninety nine today. I need some of these. Mm. That's, they are so useful, aren't they? And all of you know, beaded work, your wire work as well. They, they work really nicely in that cord. You know, stretchy bracelets, ev everything. Little stretchy rings. We didn't stop at 9.99. We didn't even stop at 6.99 when the price of precious metal has not gone down. Yeah. And it's something we use all the time, isn't it? Yes. We use these all the time whenever we can get them. Can we just for a second, and this is a terrible analogy, and do bear with me, it's just in my head right now. Everything. You do, have you noticed you, your weekly shop? My weekly shop is double what it used to be, isn't it? It's, mm. it's, it, everything. 
My weekly sharp double. I'm sure we're all in the same situation. Yeah. Sterling silver has not gone down in price. It has gone up like everything else in the yeah. world. Yeah. And yet, how jewellery maker, and this is, you know, how jewellery maker manage to bring you solid sterling silver, not even at £6.49 pence. Take advantage, though, because 200 I remember what this went to. If you weren't with me on the launch, the fact this is madness, Claire. 200 sounds like a big quantity. It's yeah, not. Yeah, but it's not. Four, three, twos, yeah. yeah, threes, yeah. Well, actually, at the beginning of this week, we had 800. That's, that yeah. speaks volumes, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Look at everybody multi-buying. You're not going to regret that. I would multi-buy on this as well. I think we'd be... You know, they're, they're, you get 20. So, Karen um, in Georgia, you know, you've got, you've bought three. Carol's in Berkshire's bought two. Sean's bought two. Surrey's bought four. Bridget's bought three. Yorkshire's bought two. Linda's bought two. Oxfordshire, you've bought, I think it's three. I can't quite see you disappear off the screens. Valerie's bought two. Kate's bought two. This is the thing. We're going lower than 649. This is base metal prices. Mm. 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 What's he going to do? Final price, get them whilst you can. The gold plated are coming up. Do you ever remember 5.99? No. Well, no. I can tell you we never did it because 5.99 was what we called an illegal price point here at Jewelry Maker. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Nothing it was, was yeah. allowed to go under 6.99. Yeah. Um, we're bringing you solid sterling silver. I knew you would be multi-buying on this one. There will be a bit of a queue on the phone line, so I would recommend sort of tapping the app, shopping on the website. At the beginning of the week, we had 800. We're now down to the final. Probably double figures, am I right in saying? Gauging the call screens right now, Roscoe? And I'm sure, I mean, you might have, like, they might have been there like that, that last, uh, this week, but I remember it was months and months and months, potentially even like going over a year when we didn't, we didn't have any at no. all, did we? We didn't no. have any. And it, they make such a difference. You know, you put them in your jewellery and you can just put two, two around your focal, your focal um, gemstone and it really, really draws the eye. Yeah, really you mean you could the put eye. them on these, couldn't yes. you? Yes, yeah. You could yeah. use them in amongst your lovely uh, brand new slider bracelets. Yeah. Um, you could use them in your wire work designs as well to create like a beaded. Absolutely, uh, a, a yeah, beaded. like little, you know, the fidget, fidget rings as yeah. well work very well. I use these maybe as an alternative to a knot because I'm not great at knotting, yeah. so I'll just literally use those to create that accent. I'll be joining on this opportunity because look, five ninety nine mm. is ridiculous. It was never that price tag when I started here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Goodness me, well on its way to an on-screen sellout. Anne's got three, Carol's got three, Surrey's got five, Barbara's got two. Uh, Sandra's got two, Cheryl's got two, David's got two, Cynthia's got three, Va I can't see all of your names, sorry, Carol, Catherine's got two, Neats for Talbot's multi-bought, London's multi-bought as well, the f I think our call screen's frozen, um, Janice, Mariska, Jenny, sorry, sorry, Lynette, Sandra, London, Joan, Janet, Helen, um, hello to you, um, I can't keep up with you, like I said, it's, it's going to be an on-screen sellout, I'm, I'm certain about that, there you all are. Um, congratulations, now I'm just going to do a quick recap on the five mil because there's only nine of them left. I don't want to send nine back. To be honest, you won't, because Claire and I will buy them. Yeah. Oh, look how nice they all look together. They look lovely, don't they? Do you know that is a piece of jewellery? Mm. Just on elastic. Come yeah. on, this one is proper rogue. Let's go with the others, did not he? Yeah. You know, that bracelet... Oh, look how... That's, that's brilliant. I would yeah. put the yellow in between as well. Yeah. That bracelet that we just showed, would you just yes. alternate it then? Yeah. Oh, that'd be really nice, wouldn't it? How yeah. beautiful. Oh, how wonderful to have them, isn't it? It's so good. I'm going to be joining you on this one. Mm. I think that's absolutely amazing. What an incredible price point. Absolutely incredible. Twelve ninety nine. There's loads of there. Just recapping you on the five uh, on the five mil because there was only nine. I can't send nine back. Well, we won't be because, like I said, we'll get them. You're right though, Claire. You know they are. For what for a period of time, we had nothing like this. Yeah, and a long, a long period of time. I feel like they were also one of our like uh, um, mega products when they first erupted on the jewelry maker scene. Oh yeah, remember it was yeah. like the mega product. Yeah. 
everybody wanted spacer beads in their show. Yeah. You know, they were the mega product. And then, like I said, they just disappeared. So it's lovely to have them back. And it is, it, you know, regardless of what your medium is, whether it's sea beading, you can use them in sea mm. beading, wire work, normal beading. Yeah, macrame. Um, macrame. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You can use them in them all. Just a quick recap on the five millimeters. So we only had nine. Is that still the case, Roscoe? Five? Okay. 42 of you have it in your baskets, though. Let's do the yellow gold. No. Okay. Dave is... Okay. Dave is on his way. Bear with us, lovely jewellery makers. We're going to do some off-the-cuff deals. Ooh, I like that. exciting, yeah. I like that. Um, okay, so let's bring you the beautiful yellow gold spacers. These are, what, three millimetres in their size? Again, exactly the same as the silver. Um, is there quantity of these? 200 again, I am asking because I need some. I look how nicey that, see, I'd just, yeah, I would definitely do like that, that bracelet that you've shown and then maybe put t some of the gold around, you know, either side of the larger silver. Yeah, that's lovely. And you're going to make it significantly less than $179, mm. yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Exactly and have are. the luxury of the yellow gold in there too. Um, not going to lie, I've got my phone out. <laughs> What? Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Oh, I can hear myself. That's very oh. off-putting, isn't it? Sorry. Sorry. No, I, I want to join you on this opportunity because we don't see them very often. We don't, but can I, while you're doing that, can I just bring that in? Am I allowed to bring Ooh, this in? Oh, yes. Because then you can see how, like, how different. If, you, if I put that at the back there, you see how different. If you've got the gold and the silver, yeah. it just looks, you know, really different. Whatever gemstone you put with it. Oh, they're a really so different beautiful. effect, but sometimes you don't know the difference until you know it's having both, isn't it? Yeah, and, and I like the mixing of the textures as well. Yes, yeah, as in sizes. Sorry, yeah. um, oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely, oh, this is black spinel, isn't it? Yeah, stunning. Isn't That's it? your black spinel. Um, amazing jewelry makers. So, to bring you the gold plated 925 sterling silver. Um, we've brought you the silver already and they've absolutely flown out the door. I don't think this is going to be any different, lovely jewellery makers. I I'm not great at knotting, so I always use these as an alternative for that. Pay securely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I am trying to pay securely. £12.99. £12.99, gold-plated, 925 sterling silver. Should we should expect to pay a higher premium for the gold plated silver. Um, however, we took these under ten pounds too. They look lovely with the spinel. They do, don't they? Really, really good. <sighs> Alongside the gold, I'd use, I'd use them all together. Very yeah, I would use all of those. Beautiful. Absolutely. Spinel, the different size spacers, the gold, gold plated. I'd mix them all up. If I see a strand like this, Claire, I always think of you. I love it. It's love a very you strand. strand. It makes me think of it at uh, you know, that time of doing the stretchy bracelet. Yeah, give me me one. Yeah. <laughs> $12.99 would be a fantastic price, but we have 200. We're talking about the yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver, four millimeters in their size. Okay, so these are a little bit bigger then. Four millimeters in their size. And you get all 20 of them as well. We've got 200. It's all down to personal preference. So I'm more of a gold person, but I will mix my silver. I, I, yeah, I love the yeah the mixing mixing of metal. So I would do that. I take one of the larger silver and then have the two gold either side. Lovely. And what would you repeat that? Yes, yeah. And I I, I do love that that bracelet. It's lovely. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. Nine ninety nine. My goodness me, they're four millimeter gold plated sterling silver. Um, absolutely incredible. Lynn's got two. Good. Oh, well done to you, Samantha, maker in Bristol, Anne, Catherine, Megan, Kathy, Carol, Melanie, and Fife. Um, hello to you, maker. Kath oh, I can't keep up with you. Sorry, Anne, Alison. I know there's a delay because I've definitely checked out. I've one hundred percent checked <laughs> out. So, and I am on that call screen somewhere. Definitely. You're um, hiding, aren't you? I think I'm at the bottom of the screens. Merseyside, you've just got six. Amazing. Marion, you've got yours. Stock up while you get the chance of, of spacer beads like this because they, unfortunately, are not on our screens every single day. No. No, they're not. Look at how... Oh, yeah. We had 800 and we're already down to mm. probably double figures. Is that fair to say? Oh, still just about in triple figures. 
We had 823 when we, when we launched them at the beginning of the week. 200 when we started this auction this morning. Yeah, they're going to sell out today. 9.99, well done. West Midlands, you've got three. Surrey's got three. London's got three. Catherine, Anne in West Midlands, well done. Rupal, um, I'm going to say probably 95% of you have chosen to multi-buy. Um, I will be doing it, or have done exactly that as well. Colleen, Karen, well done. Beautiful and an absolute must-have. Oh, I'm going to make some jewellery tonight. Nice glass I know, of yeah, wine. I'm feeling really creative. Yeah. yeah. Glass of wine. Yes. Get cosy. Mm. Make some lovely jewellery. That's my plan this yes, evening. Yes, I think that's a very good plan. Um, very, very good plan. It, I'm, it's, it's these kind of vibes yeah. that I'm getting in your beautiful kits, those yeah. kind of things, the slider bracelets. Nice. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, something that we haven't taken advantage of yet. Okay, what's that? Because we're usually pretty good at capitalising on things that we can take advantage of. <laughs> Sounds wrong, but we are, generally speaking, and I know what you're referencing. Um, are you talking about maybe a certain discount code? I think he is, isn't I, it? I spotted these and Kinga bought them in. Did Ooh. you? Where? Where were... Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. look at these. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Your favourite club. Oh, I love it. Look at that. The play of colour within these Ethiopian opals are on oh another gosh. level. Look, at, you've got here the Uber Rare Honey as well. It's this month's birthstone, of course. Um, Ethiopian opal formed out of silica over millions of years. Um, how those silica spheres actually position themselves equates to how much play of colour that you see the more play of colour and the more coverage of play of colour. You know, many gemologists will say that anything over... Can I have a... Can I borrow a blackboard just because... Oh, this one. Can Should I, I borrow it? Yeah, let's have that one. Um, because the more um, the more play of colour that you see is down to oh. how they are actually... Oh, my goodness <gasps> me, yeah. Um, a line. So if you can imagine um, the silicas being uh, lined up like soldiers, so perfectly sym uh, symmetrical, um, that's where you see um, a level of performance like this. If those silica spheres are much more sporadic, then you're less likely to have those wonderful uh, displays of colour. So um, anything over 80% play of colour is regarded as an exceptional opal. Um, you can get opal from Australia, of course, you can get opal from Ethiopia, many different locations around the world. For me, Ethiopian opal absolutely leads the way because it's not just, you don't just see the play of colour on the surface, you see it in the heart, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is your number one gem, isn't oh, it? Oh, I love it. I it's probably getting it. to you, isn't it? Yeah, it, 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 because it's when it's like that and it's in every single one at that, that level, that quality, I just, I don't know, it's a... That's what it does to you, though. I can. It, it does the effect to you, yeah. yeah. And that's why you know you've got an affinity with that particular gemstone. You can't particularly put your finger on it, but you just know it's it's something lovely. It's fascinating the story of uh, Ethiopian opal as well, because it was only discovered in 19, in the mid 1990s. Mm. Yeah. You know, and I am I'm of that generation where I think the mid 1990s is only about like 10, 15 years ago. Um, what? That's that. What? That is. That's what, Ross? Amazing. Wait, you get 20% off this as well because it's a, it's this month's birthstone. Okay. I remember bringing parcels like this at triple figures and that, that was unbelievable. But discovered in 1990, this is a gemstone now which is already incredibly rare. There's only, you know, certain mining locations within Ethiopia have actually closed because all the opal has been extracted. What is that? Use what is the code? Opal, oh sorry, October 20 to get another 20% off. So we're talking £16 for a full parcel of premium quality opal. Oh. Clear, that's not even a price for one of those. No, is it? it isn't. I mean, even if it, I, I don't know, maybe you, you go, you know, sell them on. Yeah, do nothing to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my 
goodness. There are 70 available. Use your 20%, which is what, £2.60. So that means it's just over £10 for a parcel of... Wait, let me say this correctly. Not just a parcel of Ethiopian opal that's totally and utterly natural. It's not doublets or triplets. This is a, a, a whole parcel and each stone totally natural. But of the finest quality, remember... Gemologists say anything over 80%, play of colour, that's the amount of colours that you see. It's on, it's on the side profile of the opals. It's everywhere. Yeah. That's regarded as exceptional. I cannot believe we did this. I guess we're recapping what's been how they launched. They've not been on air. Under lock and key, okay. It's been on air once and then under lock and key. I'm not surprised. That's ridiculous, Claire. That is, yeah. Use your October 20 to get a further 20% discount. But I have to tell you, there should, there should be another digit in front of that price tag. Absolutely, there should, yeah. yeah. If, if this was £112, I'd still say that's absolutely amazing. For getting that many, is, yeah. Yeah, because I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight opals here. You might get more, you might get less. We guarantee the and carrot weight. they're all beautiful. Look at the, all of them. Have you, you know, the Jew, there's a jewellers in Stratford-upon-Avon, not far away from our studios here, that, and uh, the owner loves opal, absolutely loves opal. So there's a real dominance of opal, mostly Ethiopian opal. None of them, none of them are anywhere near double figures. Mm -hmm. Anywhere mm -hmm. near. And she does it in silver, she does it in gold as well. Twelve ninety nine is just ridiculous. I'm not surprised they're on the verge of selling That's out. Wonderful. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Here we go. They really got to you. I could see the reaction. Yeah, it's the, well, they're the girls' birthstones, and I, you know, and it's just something. So you've got all those colours. Oh, wow. Both your girls' birthstones. Yes, yeah. <sighs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, okay, well, let's. Um, this is my Willow's birthstone, actually. So Gorgeous. from October to the summer months of July, natural <gasps> with your spaces. Absolutely. It's Love bringing some strands one. to go alongside those spaces. Natural ruby. And more often than not, ruby that hasn't undergone some kind of treatment will be quite dark. Not the case here. Claire, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, yeah. So would you go with the gold? Would you go with the silver? Would you go with the five mil? Mm. I mean, they're all going to look amazing, yeah. aren't they? £29.99 only. It's natural and it is glowing ruby. Um, like I said, lesser quality would be quite maroon, I guess, in its actual colour. Um, good luck, everybody. A full 38 centimetre strand. Have I got quantity of them? We're under £20. There's 50 of these available. We're doing some little spontaneous deals. Um, Dave is here. He won't be long before he's launching those absolutely incredible master carvings. Oh, this would look amazing with jadeite. Absolutely. We always talk about that, don't we, jadeite? Oh, I'm bo yeah, both of those. All of the carvings would look stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. £19.99 only. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, everyone. Good luck, good luck. Um... They're going even lower. I can't believe this. Spontaneous deals. We're actually bringing two air. We're reactive. We always say that. Genuine ruby. We're not talking about a synthetic here. It's genuine ruby. Samantha, Meath, Lorna, West Midlands. Congratulations to you. Holland, amazing. Marion, Jennifer, Monica, Kate, Alison, Maker, London. You've got yours as well. Incredible. There was only 50 available. To say that you own 45 carats of ruby, again, it's a statement. It's amazing, isn't it? Can we just look, look for a second? Ethiopian opal, ruby, all that sterling silver, master carvings. We are on another level of luxury today, aren't we? See, I think I worked with that strand um, earlier on in the week. And if I remember rightly, you can thread that onto... Um, it's got a really, really good drill hole on there as well. Ah, oh, so even what you're so similar. It's similar. That, that's maybe. the size down. Okay. So it's, it's similar to um, it's similar to that, but it, the oh, these wow. strands are so so workable. 
the okay, ruby and stunning. the spinel. Absolutely stunning. That's beautiful, Claire. Thank you. It's a, it, this, that, that strand is, uh, yeah, that um, I, I made stretchy bracelets with it. Um, so it's not only is it really, really, really beautiful, it, you know, you're going to get your, your elastics through it, your structural wires. Amazing. So beautiful. Well, what you're, ah, oh. yeah, let's, let's show that because this is a piece of jewellery that Claire's just pulled out of a little box of tricks. Because how about if I show this? Mm. It looks amazing together, doesn't it? Alongside this. Yeah, they really do. That is black spinel, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's stunning, Claire. They work so beautifully. This mm. strand of black spinel is stunning. Gorgeous, isn't it? And uh, on the nose, 100. And, and spinel comes in a multitude of colours, but black spinel, of course, is, um, is, is completely opaque. And when you're not going to see sort of brilliance um, or fire or any scintillation, it's all about the cutting. So you do need it to be you know, exceptionally faceted. Now, um, three to four millimetres with a very gentle, slight graduation. Now, uh, first price uh, crash, we've got 100 available. We've got some amazing deals back to back. Bought turquoise, spacer beads, opal natural ruby now we're looking at the seducing gemstone that is black spinel a yes. hundred of these launched today it is one of those ooh, gemstones it is. isn't yeah. it yeah yeah first it price is. crash bring the spaces back definitely they've yeah. got to go with the spaces yeah. haven't they that's what that's what you said, Claire, when you saw definitely, it. You definitely. immediately gravitated yeah. towards the spaces, whether it's silver, gold, five mil, three mil, or four mil, whichever you wish. First price crash. Not nearly enough of you on the call screens, or is that my call screen having a funny five minutes? There's a hundred on the nose. I'm going to join you on this one. Make sure you're ready to secure yours. You know, when we see strands like this, they do not hang around because it's the ultimate black gemstone. It is, and there's so much you can do with it. You know, um, you know I mean, so that, that, that size, I think, is the one that's actually on the clasp as well. So, you know, you can see you can just use a few of them and you get impact. You know, a full strand like in the recording there, you know, beading thread. You work with your stretchy bracelets. You know, it's an incredible, incredible stone. And it is one that we tend to see in these cuts quite a lot. I'm thinking of the Jennifer Aniston uh, black spinel necklace, where, you know, you know, it, it, this would be perfect. Where she wears that very daring, plunging neckline, and it's just got a single strand of black spinel. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. But it's it's in these cuts. It's in these yeah. exact cuts. Seven pounds and 99 pence only. It's totally and utterly natural. Um, the newly appointed gemstone of your uh, of August, by the way. So birthstone of August, if you are an August baby. Um, and straight away, it always creates a bit of a frenzy because mm. you've got to think about it this way. Gemstones are what the three traits that they have to be to quantify being a gemstone. They need to be beautiful, massive tick. They need to be rare, most definitely, and they need to be durable. Absolutely, this is eight on the most scale. It, it, it is, for me, it's that seductive gemstones. Gemstones have different personalities, don't they? Yes, yeah. And, 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 and working as well, isn't it? Whatever you, you put it with, you know, that, that it's, it can contrast, can't it, beautifully, you know, looking at the carvings that you've got coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you don't want to put that on a chain. You want something really, really different. You That's know, a nice idea. Rosary link or, or, or you know, maybe multi-buy that spinel. And then, you know, it's a real contrast. Yeah, love it. Thing. Absolutely love Very that. Nice. We had 100 on the nose. But the quantity is absolutely flying out the door. Lots of multi-buyers, Merseyside getting six, Jacqueline multi-buying, Holland, well done to you, Vicky, Dawn, Monica, Marion, hello to you, West Midlands, Devon multi-buying, hello to you, Trishiel, Kate, Cynthia, Maker, Maker, Valerie, Jennifer, Janice, Joanne, Lynn, uh, Joan, Hertfordshire. Make sure you're ready uh, to check out your baskets, everybody. Yasmin, well done. From 100... I think this is going to be an on-screen sellout. I've got one more black spinel deal that I can actually squeeze in as well. Um, in fact, these would look lovely, Claire. I'm going to show you. That's what I was actually. thinking. It's a, it's a contrast, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I just love it. It's so different. They work brilliantly. So it's just bringing out the best in both, isn't it? Yeah. Because they are so different. Yeah, it's a must. If you've got your eye yeah. on these carvings, I think you definitely need the strand of black yes. spinel for yeah. it, don't you? Yeah. Amazing. Seven pounds and 99 pence only. These are coming up shortly. Not too long to wait for those. Dave is launching them um, imminently. 
imminently. Good luck. We had, um, that's beautiful. beautiful, Claire. Loving Thank you. That. Absolutely Thank loving you. that. And also, again, I'd say alongside your um, yeah, alongside yeah. 12 o'clock kits, uh, I've got one more black spinel opportunity. This is the finer, uh, more micro. Beautiful. Are these two millimetres in their size? I've only got a limited quantity of them, though. So that's gorgeous <gasps> size, isn't it? That's pretty. Mm. Really pretty. With black spinel, though, you you don't need a big carrot weight, do you? It's one of those gems. I'm going to say you get really more works. sparkle, don't you? If yeah. it's a slightly more delicate size, you're getting that. I mean, it's just it's non-stop, isn't it, on there? Well, it's one of the first gemstones I actually bought when I came to work here at Gemporia, and it's and in, a, in a parve ring. I'd never seen it before coming to join my No, day. I hadn't. And Yeah, it's just wonderful to see. Yeah. And so nice to work. I think that's the thing as well. The drill hole is always really good on it. You know, it's really durable. Uh, and like you say, you don't need to have go big sizes to get that big impact on, on the jewellery you make. And I like that style of you know, nice, delicate jewellery. £4.99 only to get hold Crazy. of this. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing. Um, make sure... And maybe, um, maybe put a pearl or something again, you know, like that we, we looked at those carvings. It's the contrast, isn't it? I, I love that. Beautiful. Good luck. 0800 644 is the free phone telephone number. And it's all totally and utterly natural to get hold of this beautiful opportunity. It works with everything, doesn't mm, it, Black Spinel? Because mm. it is, of course, your classic monochrome. Um, yeah, and if you are looking for the ultimate performer in, a, in an opaque black gemstone, then it has to be this one, doesn't it? You know, Onyx has got that definite colour. Is it sold out? Um, and then um, definite black colour. This Isn't it funny? There's different shades of black. But with yes, Spinel, yeah, it's like a, yeah. it's a it, it, it is that flashing black. Um, sorry, what was that, Ross? The Zircon. Ah, oh, let's bring all those together. It's a bit of you, this, yeah. Claire. With the spaces that we've just had. <gasps> Hello. Ooh. A strand of Zircon. Look at that. With pristine clarity. All of that fire. Oh, up. yes. Yeah. That's stunning, isn't it? It's that, definitely going out, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's yeah, for your Christmas special events. Maybe the ball, if you're going to the Gemporia ball. Nice. Or, yeah, oh, goodness me. I, this wouldn't look out of place on a Hollywood celebrity on the red carpet. Two beautiful, rare, precious gemstones. The Zircon is totally natural. Um, again, look at the fire. In, in Adam's recording, you'll see, you know, um, outside of, uh, um, well, it goes at the back, which is effectively just a little bit out of focus, but that's because we're focusing on the front, aren't we? But if you look at the back, look at that spectrum of colour, the blue, the yellow, the reds, the greens. That's what Zircon's um, iconic for. It is a genuine gemstone. We're not talking about a man-made creation, um, Mother Nature's, and it's absolutely exquisite. Some of the finest jewelers in the world will choose Zircon over a diamond, in actual fact, um, because uh, of the of the light performance that it actually um, acquires. Now, 1999, how many do we have, Roscoe? We have 100 available. It's natural, no treatment whatsoever. What? We did. We were talking, I remember bringing you a strand of Zircon um, a couple of months ago, and we were sort of saying, okay, I remember first seeing strands like this, and they were like 29.99, and then I think we brought one for something like 18.99, and then we started, then we brought you some, I think, wasn't 16.99, one of the lowest prices we did? Yeah? But it's the gemstone. This, how, you know, how much time has, and skill has gone into, you know, drilling, drilling it, fasting it, cutting it, stranding it, yeah, it, just, it you know, quality assessing yeah, it. Yeah. And then we say it's going under ten pounds. Yeah. Under ten pounds. Shocking. It is. Good shocking though. Ab absolutely, there's been a lot of good shocking, hasn't there? That's good nice. luck, everybody. It is. Beady beads with that. Oh, would be, lovely. Would be really, really nice. You, you know. Would you use it with the spinel as well? Yes, I, I would, yeah. Good luck, everybody. It's just, oh, that is a kit with maybe a strand of pearls in there as well, yes, I would go. yeah. Just some nice yeah. white pearls. Now, incredibly, there is all also the ruby that we brought you a few moments ago. There's only three of those left. Look at that. Do you want that kit? Oh, yes, please. Hang on. Yes, please. 
Oh, yes. Yes, I definitely want that. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That is pretty amazing. That would be wonderful. Or, yeah, it's going to work with pearls. It's going to work with everything because you've got your classic monochromes there, haven't you? Make sure you are checking out your baskets. £9.99. pence. Amazing. Um, oh, I like little spontaneous deals like this. Mm. Totally natural zirk on a fascinating gemstone. Never to be confused um, with your cubic zirconia. That was very clever clever marketing on their part. Um, stay where you are and do not go anywhere, lovely jewellery makers, because the moment has come. Um, for your absolutely beautiful carvings. Now, the what, sorry? This, oh, this... This is amazing. Um, Ross has been looking. If you want to recreate Claire's amazing necklace, the heart one that we showed in the ruby, that's sold out, sorry. Um, so if you wanted to recreate this technique, Claire, we've on, on your screens, we're going to load the sterling silver um, rectangle. It's a wonderful, yeah, wonderful, wonderful class that is. Beautiful. So keep an eye on that during the break. We'll upload that. Um, Dave's on his way into the studio. These are, they've completely floored me in terms of how, what you're about to see. If you've just tuned in, mm. I'm... I, I, this is artistry on a whole other level and it leaves me actually quite speechless. Please, please do not go anywhere. And I genuinely hand on heart believe this. Think what you are about to witness might well be one of the most exquisite, jaw-droppingly beautiful launches that you've ever seen on our screens. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. makers head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever we have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off so head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear
We've just had the first group of Britain's Next Gem contestants in. Weren't they fantastic? And this Wednesday, we've got the second group coming up. They will be given five minutes each to show us a short demonstration and to give us their top tip. Now, after that, just two from each group will make it through to the second round. So make sure you join us this Wednesday for the second group of Britain's Next Gem. Welcome back, everybody. Do you know when you look at something and it genuinely renders you speechless? That's what today's opportunity is all about. And no surprise at all that it is the wonderful Dave Troth that's launching them uh, today. Oh, Dave, you, these Al. are breathtaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, that we can appreciate the, the, the artistry that is on show here. When, when we talk about this level of detail, and we talk about it in something like jade, which is an extraordinarily dense material. We talk about how long it takes to carve material in jade, harder than stainless steel. Imagine taking something that is also, you know, dense, you know, is, is something that is durable, but in that level is fragile. Mm -hmm. Now, I was introduced to this kind of artistry when I was at Edo Robstein a couple of years ago. I didn't know this could be done. I'll be really honest, how would I know that this could be done? Now, with jade, I, uh, a lot of the modern day carvings can be done with the help of some machinery. Yeah. Okay, you know, it all needs the, the, the human hand, whether it's the polishing or the picking out of some details, but maybe a lot of the labor intensive work can be produced by amazing computers now. When it's a multi billion dollar industry, yeah. the investment is huge. But when I was in Idar Oberstein, um, I saw some incredible carvings, the likes of which I never dreamed we'd be able to bring to you. In fact, myself and Jake talked for a time with. Um, a very prestigious carving family in Edo Robichon that have been there for like 300 years mm -hmm. about the idea of bringing these in as just one of a kind and there would have to be like thousands and that's with us making no profit by the way oh, there's, okay. there's no room to put profit on it when it is thousands yeah. but just to introduce this work to you and then on the back of that bring you something with volume that would be just a polished moment of, of South Sea shell yeah. now over the last three years I've worked a lot with an incredible high jewelry team in Hong Kong I've convinced those guys to you know, work with me when, before they were creating one-of-a-kind commissions. I'm currently working on a project with them right now with this, that we're submitting to the AGTA, and oh, we wow. hope we'll win an award. It's something really innovative, and at some point I will bring that to you on Jewelry Making. Which is the biggest. Yeah. The biggest. Yeah, and, 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 and genuinely I've been working on it for about uh, wow. 18 months already, and we're still a year away. Like, we wanted to enter it this year to AGTA, but the early bird access is at the end of October, and we're nowhere near ready. Right. And it's something, like I said, that already I've been working on for 18 months. And by the time, if we get it done, it will be over two years. Right. And it will go into the, the, the ceremony next year. But we're very excited about it. It's something that's never been done before wow. in the industry. And it is to do with Mother of Pearl as well. It's a new type of technique that, um, as I said, you will be the first people to get access to it once um, it goes to the AGTA. It's not allowed to, to be seen for it to be qualified for entry. So it can't oh, be on okay. social media. It can't have been seen anywhere if you're going to enter it, it's an automatic disqualification. So I can't even talk about it. Um, very clear rules on that. But I just want you to know the, the way we're heading with this. Now, with that said, um, this team, um, I chose them because of the work we've done on the Conk and the Mellow for my AGTA entry. And that's why I've been to Hong Kong a lot over the last you know, year. We've been, you know, I've been sketching out designs, we've been working on different things, different elements. Uh, and with that said, they know, hopefully, I'm, this is not egotistical, it's not just me, it's a huge team effort, but they know how huge this could be. Right. So we, we, it's something that we're going to paint in. It's going to be trademark. And it will be exclusive to me and exclusive to this facility, this, this incredible carving house. Um, and it will only be us working together that can produce them. And obviously we will then license them to Jewelry Maker and Gemporia because we want to bring it to you guys. And they see that as like the future. They're like, if we can nail this, mm. it could be the next massive thing, hopefully, who knows. But on that process, they know that 
I'm putting together the, the birthday shows for Gemporia. I've been working with them for a long time on the conch as well and the mellow. And I've been asking them, can they provide some access to this for you guys? Right? Can, can we do something? Now, usually this would be, it's only ever thousands. So we're talking about Mother of Pearl, right? And Mother of Pearl is something, I mean, I know I've sold shells of Mother of Pearl mm -hmm. um, from the same uh, bivalve mollusk that we're talking about, from the same oyster, for like 99 pounds. Yeah. Okay? And then I see like slices in Van Cleef and Cartier and these other jewelry houses, yep. for thousands. Yeah. I used to think, my God, those guys make a killing. I used to think that. I used to think, God almighty, like, you know, I know the price of that. I know what they're paying. But the reality is, until you've seen, and I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat, until you've seen high-grade Mother of Pearl, the kind that there's only a few in circulation every year, mm -hmm. um, you, 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 there is a massive separation. They are thousands. Yeah. So we're talking about the largest bivalve uh, mollusk that produces pearls in the world. We're talking about the, the South Sea. Okay? So this is the selection of pearls that we talk about. You know, the incredible South Sea pearls, whether it's the golden lip variety or the white. Yeah. Okay? Phenomenal. And a few years ago, maybe six, seven years ago, um, I met a gentleman called David Norman. I was introduced to him by Yanni Melas. The gem industry is very small, right? It's like, I oh know it spans continents, but it's really small. We all get together at Tucson. We all get together at JCK. We all get together at Hong Kong. You've been there. Mm -hmm. and everyone knows everyone, right? So it is actually quite a small world. And I was introduced to this gentleman. He's like sixth generation pearl dealer, uh, David Norman. Very British, very charming. Had his apprenticeship in Hatton Garden. Travels the world. And... Um, he was talking to us about pearls. And we were like, yeah, we do pearls. You know, jewelry maker do pearls. Jim Porter, this is like six, seven years ago. We do pearls all the time, pearls all the time. And he said, um, he started talking to me about like top grade pearls. Okay. And he was showing me like insane pearls, like $10,000 pearls. And we was like, oh my God, never had access to material like that. And he said like, I can get you access to material like that. And he works with uh, an American network um, called GSN. And he works with an Australian TV right. network. In the same way. So he understands shopping TV as well. And we was like, this guy is, is the man. Like, he'd be amazing. He's very charismatic. Um, he, has, he knows so much about pearls. Let's bring him on air. Let's yeah. bring him on air. Let's work with him. He has contacts with the biggest pearl farms in the industry. You know, the Spali Pearl Farm, who produced 95% of the world's South Sea pearls, wow. the best in the world. Like, before we met David Norman, we'd never seen South Sea pearls mm -hmm. like this. And we got, like, I guess, we're going back seven years. We used to get, like, the rejects, really. We used to get the closeouts. We didn't get first pick or to see that material. You, yeah. you have to know people. It's a prestigious kind of part facet of the industry. And so we, um, we had many meetings in Bond Street, came over to the studios, we signed contracts, and we were gearing up. It's like six, seven years ago, I was about to bring him in for the birthday. We'd bought the pearls with him. So he introduced us to Sid, who we work with a lot now, who's one of the biggest pearl dealers in the world, works with the Koyas. He has a Koya pearl farms. He has South Sea pearl farms. He has farms in Vietnam. He speaks four languages, Japanese, because it's so important for the Koyas. Mm. He's based in Hong Kong, Bangkok, and of course, um, in Japan as well. He's incredible. Like, he supplies Mickey Moto, for instance. Wow. And all of yeah. a sudden, he's, we've just bought pearls from him for you guys and for next door. And we get to the final stage when we're, we're briefing him about, we don't even have to tell him about how to be on air. Because you can go and get some people, and they're amazing, they're innovative, but maybe they're just not great on TV. Mm. You know, and that's fine. They're, they're, that's not their job. Yeah, it's, it's and, and it's very unique. unique to find someone mm. who's you know, a powerhouse in their field and can speak confidently yeah. uh, to, to people like on TV. It's, it's shocking and it's scary being yeah. on TV, even for me. And, um, and I've done it so many times now. We get to the final stage and then we get, he gets a letter from the company in America and basically said, hold on, you've got an exclusivity contract, right? You can't go on TV. Oh, no. And he had an exclusivity contract in like the kind of West with the American network and then he had one um, in, in the Far East with this Australian company and it tied up. And we were like, oh my God, we've just spent, I don't mind saying this, we've spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars on pearls. And we didn't know anything about pearls, really. Not, the, not that you would, need to, you would need to know about pearls when you're that, doing really for great. that grade. And we were like, oh God, we're stuffed here. <laughs> and so David Norman said to me, he was like, well, you, you can do it. And I was like, this is seven, I was like, I don't know anything about pearls. He was like, right, can you, get, you got a passport? I was like, yeah. He goes, okay, I'm going to give you a crash course on pearls. He goes, I'm going to, this is before I'd even been on TV, right? Okay. And he goes, um, you, you're passionate, you know about gemstones. And I said, I know about gemstones, I don't know about pearls. He said, right. And he rang up Nick Paspali personally, right? The biggest pearl farm in the world. And he said, I've got a guy coming over. I want you to, you know, you've got a week with him. 
teach them everything there is to know, show them everything. So they flew me out to the western coast of Australia, Kimberley Coast in Broome. Nice. And I spent a week on these boats, right, learning everything there is to, to know about South Sea Poles. And I was going to launch the South Sea Poles. And then at the 11th hour, thank God as well, because I was so nervous. Because like, I'd learned everything I had, I'd crammed, I'd learned everything. I'd been out in Australia. I was like, okay, I think I can do it. But realistically, and I've learned a lot more subsequently. He then said, I've got a nephew, Charlie Barron. Oh. So this is David, David Norman's uh, nephew is Charlie Barron. He said he's never been on TV. He's just learning the ropes. He's just finished his GIA degree in Carlsbad, California. He's happy to do it. And thank God, the rest is history. But I still kept in touch with the guys at the, the Paspali uh, Pearl Farm. And this is the, the oyster we're talking about. Okay, so it's the pink tarda maxima. Wow. This is the incredible, you know, gold-lipped uh, oyster. So the pearl shell is found off broom. It's the pink tarda maxima. The species was first discovered, uh, discovered off Cossack in 1861. Mm. These are the rarest of bivalves and the largest pearl oysters in the world. They can grow up to 12 inches in diameter. There are two color varieties, the silver or the white-lipped and the gold-lipped oyster. The pink tarda maxima is the only species that produces South Sea pearls. So this is it. This is the, the, the holy grail. And you can see, like, the different sizes there. Mm. And I, that's, my, that's my picture. So I was, I've been They're to the so museum. They're so beautiful, aren't yeah? they? And we have sold them as, as, like, shells for you guys as specimens. But just so you guys are aware, if you, if you have one at home, pick it up. Feel how thin it is around the lip. Right, it's really fragile, you can just break a bit off. Um, and they're not like the conch or the bella, which are sea snails. Calcium carbonate, really, really thick. Even if it doesn't have color, it's super thick. With the South Sea, it's quite the opposite. It's very fragile, unless you're getting one that's like a foot, like that is yeah. huge. You know, you've seen the ones you've got, they're like ashtray size, right? Yeah. You put your rings in them or whatever. But the one on the far right of this image, that's like the colossal ones that you get. Wow. And when I was there, at the pearl farm, and I was on, I mean, the value of these pearl farms, because they, they produce the, some of the most expensive pearls, I was on a $4 million yacht. But not, wow. like a, not like a Conor McGregor yacht, but that's the value of it. And they have a fleet of them. Because people live there for like six months of the year. Okay, like so 60 that's, people that, yeah. are on there. You can't go out and get the oysters, bring them in, nucleate them. You've got to do it in the ocean. So you've got to live there. It's got to have, you know, everything you they're can They're working want. yachts almost. Yes, they're working right. yachts, right? But... They are impressive. Yeah. And so, essentially, when, when I reached out to the team that I'm working with in Hong Kong and I said, look, I've seen this work in, in uh, EDAR, I've seen uh, pieces like this, right? The giant South Sea. That's carved out of a single shell. That's incredible. Right? And the team in Hong Kong said to me, well, these are produced from only 1% of the pink tartar maximus. Okay. Because like, I can get the pink tartar maximus, I can get you 200 tomorrow, I could fly them in yeah. for a show if you want them, if you just want the shells which are discarded after they've been used in the harvest, right? But the gold-lipped oysters are reused each harvest, and only 1% make it to the final harvest, because the way that it works is they trawl and trawl the oceans, and they pick up, like, a juvenile pink tartar maxima, mm -hmm. and then they nucleate them. Now, the first nucleation process is the smallest pearl it will produce. Right. It's the first time it's ever been nucleated, mm -hmm. so they start with a very small nucleus, okay? Which yep. is usually a, a grafted part of the shell, Okay. And it's rounded and they put it in and then it surrounds it in nacre, 18 months, whatever it may be. And then about, say, 60% of the first harvest survive after being out of the sea for 18 months. When I mean survive, I mean they produce a pearl. Yeah. Okay? So they produce a pearl. Amazing. Not all of them are gem grade, not all of them are quad A, but that's it. If they produce a pearl, they go back in. Yeah. This is the second harvest, right? So they've proved their class. Yeah. And now they get a bigger nucleus and they're going to produce a bigger pearl. And then this goes on. Now... At the final stage, 60% from the first, then it drops to like 30%. The final stage, you know, the huge pearls. Remember yeah. the first time we ever bought Charlie Barron on your screens, we went to Bond Street to interview him. We'd never met him. And he showed us this pearl. And I remember the post on social media. It was like um, Charlie's golden pearl. And it was like this huge pearl like this from the Golden South Sea. And he said, he was talking about it. He was so eloquent, understood it. And he said, it was like, how much is that? And he said, I sold one of these for $11,000 to Cartier last week. We're like, oh, my God. He's like, yeah. And then he took us out, me and Jake, and he goes, do you want to see it? I was like, yeah. And we walked past Cartier's window. Yeah. Same pearls in there. He sold it for $11,000. It was $80,000. Wow. That's the reality. Yeah, and actually not surprising yeah. of Cartier. But that was produced by the final harvest. Wow. Right, the 1%. Now, with these shells, because they're so thick and so dense and so colossal, you know, 12 inches in size, they then, what do they do with them? They're not going to sell them loose. There's not enough of them. They send them to the best carvers in the world. And uh, my team in Hong Kong, who were a high jewelry house, said, 
the discarded shells from the previous harvest are polished, right? So we see them, we can get them. Yeah. The ones that are the 40% that come out of the first harvest, no problem, you want them there, they are cool. Yeah. But the discarded shells from the previous harvest are polished, but the final 1% are carved, usually in Edar. These are the colossal size ones of the exceptional mother of pearl and are very expensive. So even if they're not carved, the mother of pearl on the final ones that have been in the sea for like the best part of 10 years, wow. the colors on it, and I can't believe, if you've never seen it, you've never seen it. The colors on it look like abalone. Yes. Right, the, the colors, the myriad of colors that you can get on the 1% are insane. And they do things like this. So masterpieces like this can only be carved. They can only be carved from the top grade legacy oysters. Wow. That's like probably $20,000 uh, and uh, some. But And looks like it's- There might only be a couple in the world. Yeah. Okay, that's the whole oyster what they've carved. It's art. Mostly what they do is they take them to Bangkok or they take them to other places like that and they produce pieces of a Van Cleef and Cartier. But okay. they don't even do the intricate carving, they just do a slice. Because right. as I said, the mother of pearl on the 1% is as good as Abalone. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. And that's why I used to think, oh my God, they're selling mother of pearl. Well, you've sold mother of pearl, right? Yeah, Rolex. Yeah, I do it, yeah, but you I mean, you've sold cheap ones here, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell yeah. them next door, we sell mother of pearl. I want you to understand this is so far removed from that, it's untrue, okay? okay? Not so, the same. They say there, there is no way to get enough of the giant pink tardis through a collection. This is okay. why Fabergé and the other high jewelry houses get access to them. They're only ones that can afford them. And you see them. This is like a carved mother of pearl rose in the center of a Fabergé egg that's 12,000 pounds. And the, the, the picture doesn't do it justice, but the colors on that would be epic. Yeah. This, this is uh, over a million oh. dollars, right? This is wow. an incredible masterpiece from the works of Fabergé recently as well and it went on exhibition in Doha. I was invited to go and see it, but um, I had other commitments. And in the center of it, as it opens up, they've sourced a completely natural Gulf of Persia pearl. And then surrounding it in this incredible contraption is the best mother of pearl in the world from the South Sea uh, oysters, but the 1%, that's, that's it there. That's incredible, right? Dave. 20 highly skilled craftsmen worked on it for years to produce this. But then you also get pieces like the Amulet de Cartier, 3,700 pounds, just a moment of this material, mm -hmm. just highly polished because the colors are so good. And the same with Van Cleef. You can go, that's what Selfridges, I've seen them in Selfridges. Mm. And I used to think, genuinely used to think they were treated because I was like, I see Mother of Pearl and I never see colors like that. It's got to have a coating on it. Yeah. That's not the case. So I reached out to the Paspali Pearl Farm and I said, you know, remember we spend millions with them, mm. right? Think about how many pearls, we buy three years worth of pearls at a time and I said, it's our birthday coming up. I want the 1%. The I want the big... Now, they have, like, contracts in place with the biggest jewellery house in the world where they send these incredible shells. We are so fortunate to have this collection. It's part of a wider collection that I've done on Jim Paul. I won't be doing it again. Um, and I've got two pieces for you today. You might think, well, that's unfair. They've got more there. Yeah, they have. None of them have seen what you're about to say. So they've got, like, the polished version. Same grade, incredible material. This is done in a Hong Kong high jewelry house. Oh my and I am telling you right now, this will not happen again. This is the best mother of pearl money can buy and it's carved to this, look at this. That's 100% natural. It's unbelievable. So again, look at this, and also this isn't the white lipped oyster. This is the rarer version of the pink tartar maxima. You can see the gold. The golden lip. That is the dragon and the pearl because that produces the finest golden pearl in the world. Um, carved, I mean, look at the depth of it, right? And the then layers. Think, of, well, yeah, but think about your depth of that, right? As it's so impressive. Yeah. And then think about if, I hope you've got like a, a standard gold seashell at home, like a mother of pearl. Think about how thin it is. This is the one that's been in the water for nearly 10 years. Yeah. This is like the Cartier grade, the Van Cleef grade. Now, I don't have 100, I don't have 200. I have a very small amount of these. I'm not launching this on Gemporia because I don't have enough. I'm offering it to you guys. There is not a gemstone on earth that can do what this is doing. Like everything, the Orient, the incredible iridescence, the rainbow uh, 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 colors that we're seeing, and then the detail. I've only ever seen this work in EDAR. Even the big jewelry houses like Fabergé, uh, Van Cleef, and Cartier just polish these mm. because the risk is so high. I asked the team that I've been working with for five years to do this for you. It's practically as close to a gift as I can give you. I'm working on something really, really special with these guys that you will be the first to get the chance to own. 
promise you. But I am letting you know right now. This won't happen again. No. I am, I am going to give you a 30-second clock, if that's okay, Ross and Adam. I know I've been late and I've been babbling on, but this is it. Super Oh, Sunday. gosh, it's so worth the wait, Dave. It's so, oh, so, so worth the wait. I genuinely, it's not often I find myself rendered completely speechless. I could sit for hours, admire this work of art. It's absolutely astonishing, don't you think? And just mind-blowing, the skill the sheer skill, but then I guess that skill will only, they're only going to be placed the finest grade. Oh, what an opportunity, Dave. And yeah, I appreciate, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you to, uh, you know, I'm very aware that obviously not all of us will be able to acquire one of these, but what an honour to see it. Yeah, and, and look, if, if, I'm glad you tuned in and seeing it because I was in uh, London yesterday. Mm. I took a trip to London with a, uh, with my daughter, um, and we obviously went, we went and saw The Lion King, we did all of that. But I said this a moment ago as well, um, you guys will be aware of this, well, the high street is kind of dying, isn't it? Mm. Right, it's kind of dying it because, is, yeah. because of the internet, right? And it's like, it's just, it's evolution, isn't it? Things change, yeah. right? And so we now know that everything's convenient. You can get things next day, you can do, there's apps, there's everything. And it's like, yeah. I remember thinking, oh my God, when I go to, went to London with my parents when I was a kid, and it was like a Saturday, and it might be before Christmas, it's rammed, you couldn't move. Yes. Yesterday I took my daughter to London and it wasn't as busy. But what's incredible is, and I don't know if this is the case everywhere else in the world, because just like, you know, the, the rest of the country, the rest of the world, I too use the internet. I, I watched, you know, Jampor and Jawmaker on the app. Um, technology is also amazing if you embrace it. And what I realised, so I booked the Lion King for my daughter, I booked a really nice restaurant as well because we went to London for the day. What she was blown away by was just walking around London, right? Because what they've figured out in London is that it, to, to, to attract people in now, they've got to be different, they've got to be special, yep. right? It's competitive. So they create these experiences, mm. like these amazing, immersive experiences. I'm talking jewelry houses do it. Yeah. So you walk past, a, I, walk, I took her into a jewelry house because obviously she knows what I do. And she's like, oh, dad, can we go and see jewelry? Like, can you tell me about it? And we go in and obviously we were spending the day in London. It's a nice free thing to do. So we go into these jewelry houses, some of the biggest names you know. And now you walk into a jewelry store, famous one, and they'll have like this cabinet in the middle. And they'll have like a necklace or a piece of jewelry. And you'll have like a barcode, right, on the plinth. You'll scan it and it will take you on this incredible experience, right? It will show you uh, maybe the cutting of the piece. It will tell you more about it. It's like really amazing what they're doing. Wow. And everyone's doing it. Like for instance, I walk past the Microsoft store, which used to just be some guys on computers just going, yeah. right? they, had, they have a game on their Xbox console called like um, Halo. And they, it's like some futuristic thing, I don't know. But it's got this, they've literally built the tank or something, or the car. And it's like as big as like a, a detached garage, just in the store. Wow. And everywhere you go, it's amazing because it's all free. And it's an amazing experience that years ago, you've had to pay to go to a theater and yeah. And they know they have to attract people in. If I had a jewelry store in London right now, I'd have this in a plinth in the center. Yeah. I would have that, that. You need to have a point of difference. You need to be different. No one else has got that. Yes, it's true. Van Cleef will have a slice of that next yeah, door. A slice. Door. Yep. Cartier will have a slice. Yep. Imagine if you go the world's finest mother of pearl, the 1%, hand carved, the dragon and the pearl. And I'd have a barcode. He scanned it. It would tell you the story of the dragon and the pearl. Right? It would be unbelievable. But what's amazing That's is. That's lovely, yeah. But what's amazing is this is what Jewelry Maker has been doing for 12, 13 years. We have been giving you an experience. We, we have been showing you the carving, the cutting, taking you on that journey, sharing the stories with you. We are cutting edge. We're ahead of the game. Now, when I was in EDAR and I saw, not this level, because this is next level kind of artistry, but when I saw a carved mother of pole for the first time, and me and Jake were like, could we bring one? We'd make no money. I'll tell you right now, like the, the, most, the, the humblest carving, which is almost like just a cameo, was I remember it to this day, it was a 1,100 pounds cost. Okay. Right? Yeah. We were like, we'd just have to bring that and just offer it at 1,100. You can't put a margin on that. You can't even put a tiny margin on it. It's so expensive. So I'm going to start right now at 1,100 pounds. And let me tell you, the carving was nowhere near the skill that you're seeing on this piece. I don't, I don't think anyone could better what nope. I'm seeing on screens right now. Well, you can't, can you? No. This is sublime. Sublime. 
unbelievable skill. And that's that orient, the light just cascading across the surface of this is sensational. It's truly unbelievable. Like I said, it looks like an abalone with the amount of colours. And you know, the cameras are designed to suppress that. But this is the Van Cleef grade. This is the Cartier grade. They also have to pay a lot of money to get these incredible pieces because they are the 1%. And you, yeah, you can see the Cartier piece, the humble Cartier piece here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I used to yeah. genuinely used to think, I used to be like angry a bit. I used to be like, this is... It's disgusting, you know, it's, what, yeah. 3,700 pounds for a mother of pearl. And we sell mother of pearl all the time for like 20 quid. Yeah, but it, I went and saw these pieces. Okay. And I'm telling you, right, and I spoke to the pearl farms. And they said it's a different grade. They're not interested in the grade that you can get volume of. They're not interested in the pieces that we bring you. They want that. When you see an Omega watch face with mother of pearl or a Cartier tank watch with a mother of pearl face, that's it. Look at that. Right, I said it would look like abalone. I said that you'd be able to see these impressive, incredible colours. And you can see them here. You know, all of these colours, they're kind of being suppressed by the camera, but I'm seeing pinks, oh, I'm seeing absolutely. blues yeah, and yeah, greens. Yeah. I'm seeing unbelievable. Now, I, as I said, I launched this for our birthday, right? And next door, if you just turn it around again out, just the back of it, uh -huh. that's what I launched on Gemporia. Oh, really? Friday, oh, okay. Right? Impressive, incredible, Beautiful. unbelievable. They have no idea, unless they're migrating across right now, that here at Gemporia, you get that. You, and only you guys, get this. This is the kind of piece that money can't buy. If, if I was a buyer for Cartier, or a designer, and I wanted to stand out, I've got another buyer bringing in the amulet de Cartier necklaces, right? Imagine if I arrived and said, okay, yeah, amazing, what's that, 3,700 pounds? I can offer you this, Cartier. All they'd put is an 18 carat bezel yeah, around it, yep. pendant, the dragon and the pearl, they could do an oriental collection. Mm -hmm. And they get to offer their collectors this. If, if the standard, just thin slice polish piece mm -hmm. is three and a half grand, what's that? Yeah, yeah what exactly, is precisely. What is that, 10 grand? There's, but there's no other reference. I've, I, there's, I've never seen anything like and, that. And like I said, this is that same grade, but because I've spoke to the, the pearl farm that produces all of these oysters. There's not a grade beyond this. I know we talk about grading the pearls, right? You get quad A, triple A, yeah. right? And we, talk, we know what to look for in pearls. Of course, they also have to grade the oysters, mm -hmm. right? And I can get you a thousand oysters by the end of the month. Yeah. Right? I can, because they're just the rejected material and we can polish them and they can make nice trinket Thing yeah. that you can put on your side, you put your rings in when you take them off, or whatever it is, put spare change in them, and it's car keys, and it's nice to have them. Yeah. But look, this is the quad A, the 1%. Same material from the same waters. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable, Dave. I've never seen, and the detail that's within this as well. That's shocking. The details. Like, I, I also didn't have the time yesterday, but I walked past um, Chinatown in London. Yeah. And I wish I'd just walked in and, and, and you know, shown them some of the jade that we've been bringing. Yeah. Pieces like this, that one of their fables, the dragon and the pearl, chasing the golden pearl, the yeah. pearl of prosperity, carved into. And, and by the way, there's, you can't do this with machines. Look at the yeah. skin of the dragon. Yeah. Look at the, the, the Chinese gold coins, and it's in gold and natural mother of pearl. Like the, the, the actual, I don't know what to call them here, but just like the detailing at the bottom of his tail. Like little, little spines yeah. that you see. Yeah, absolutely. Dave, um, unbelievable. So there's a lot of you on the phone lines. We get that. This is one of only two masterpieces that we're bringing to you in this series. It's going to get a lot better for you, and I want to thank you. I'm going to tell you who's already trusted us, okay, Al? That okay. knows that we're going to look after you. Yeah. Uh, Maker in Fife, Emma in Lancashire, Jacqueline in Dorset, Pamela in Devon, Dorothy in Durham, Marion, Sheila in Bedfordshire, Valerie in Somerset, Maker in Devon, Maker in Gloucestershire, Hazel, it's great to see you in Hampshire, Rupal, also amazing to see you as well in Middlesex, Gr Caroline in Greater Manchester, I see you on the phone lines, Linda and uh, Captain Sparky and Jocelyn in, in Warwickshire, Wander in West Yorkshire, you know, so many familiar faces. Let's do a 30 second clock. Um, out of curiosity, I'm assuming mm -hmm. there is never going to be a huge quantity of something like this. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I, I'm like you, I wish there was. 
I would. Like, you know, look at the phone lines already. I wish I could look after all of you. Um, I, and I can't even say to you, I can bring you the, the, just the slices because I'm competing with Cartier on that yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, good luck to all of you. And just wow, wow. Ross? I'm going to go straight down to 499, which is where I should stop. But I am in birthday mode, OK? This is like the Super Sunday of our birthday next door. Been on air 9, I'm here now at 11, I'm back on there at midday, I'm back on there at 4 p.m., back on there at 6 p.m., 10 p.m., 7 p.m. Like, this is Super Sunday. It's the most incredible collections of the birthday. It's where it peaks, and you're part of it. And you've arguably got the most exciting secret uh. that they don't know about. And, and we do work so closely together in the buying. And, you know, when I get offered things, if it's not right for Gemporia, I bring it for Jewelry Maker. Mm -hmm. Now, this, of course, is right every day of the week for Gemporia. But the problem is the quantity. You ask me the quantity. It's tiny. I've probably got, right now, I've probably got less than 30 of these available. Yeah, and, and, and Ross did just say in my ear. I heard him. I heard him, and I don't even have an earpiece. Well, he, he said, said there's, there's enough on baskets right now. Yes. For this to just be gone. Gone in a second. And that's just him warning you guys. Yeah. Like, we, we don't have to share that with you. What that tells us is this is going to sell out. Yeah. But Ross is letting you know because he doesn't want you to think you're alone and that you've got time or you can think about this. We can't. Moments like this just happen once. I, I'm genuinely blown away and me. by the significant mm. quality of the finest Mother of Pearl money can buy. That is the Mother of Pearl that they fight over in Switzerland in the mm. watches, in I the Omegas, in the Rolexes, in the Pateks, in the Cartiers. It's the, the, the high jewellery houses dream. Mother of Pearl is a staple to them, but this is the grade they desire. Now, we are going to take hundreds of pounds off the price. Hundreds of pounds. There is more of you within your baskets than we have available. We have one further piece. But this is the ultimate. Yeah. This is as good as it gets. We didn't do this in Kong. We didn't do this in Mello. We're doing it right now in the 10-year-old pedigree. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gold-lit pink Tata Maxima. 30-second clock, please, Adam. Good luck, everybody. I've, I've never seen such a beautiful piece. I totally so agree. Much. Captain Sparky. I totally agree. Sally, wow. How do you do these kind of things? Um, it's out of this world. I simply don't know. Um, I'm going I'm to... Um, oh, <laughs> Caroline, oh, Caroline I'm, I'm with you. How amazing. Just before we crash the price, I know you're holding it at the neckline. Yeah. I'll give you an idea of how long I'm going to take this. Can you hold it at the ear? What? Yeah. You're going to want to buy two of these. Are you, are you actually joking? No. Nope. Only time you're ever going to see this level of work, this level of detail, this level of skill. And more than that, this level of rarity. This kind of skill is special in soapstone. Like, if that's carved in rose quartz, it's special. But the fact that we've had to go literally to the corners of the world, the Kimberley Coast, Western Australia off the coast of Broome, water's so pristine, by the way, that when I was on the boat for that week, it, every time I went out there, it shocked me because it was like you were flying. It wasn't like you were floating because the, the water's that clean mm. that you might be 30 metres ab above the bottom yeah. and you can see it. It's, it's unbelievable. Your deal right now on this epic, incredible masterpiece and the rarest and finest high jewellery mother of pearl. By the way, and I'm, 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 this is how naive I am, I thought this would be easy because I've done Kong and Mello and I'm working with the same team. They're so skilled in Hong Kong. I said, let's do the, 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 the golden shell. Let's do the golden mother of pearl. And they were like, you can't carve that unless you've got the best material. The best material goes to Cartier. And I had to reach out to my contacts to make this happen. Maker and Devon, you have bought two. Your deal right now, 199. Oh. Happy. This is 199. We, I've only got one of the piece after this of that incredible mother of tour, the Pink Tarda, Maxima, uh, Julie, Maker, Maker, Linda. You can tune into the other shows. You may have seen the other show on Friday. It was just slices. They're impressive. They're amazing. They're sensational. But I'm not kidding when I say the reason I'm here isn't just because it's convenient and I just have to hop across. The reason I'm here is because I get to bring you the rarest thing. Yeah, well, Dave, I, I, 
It is like Caroline just said. I don't know how. It just seems to be get, get, keep getting better and better and better. I said this. I said the birthday is about making, and you're part of the birthday, whether you whether you think it or not, you are. Oh my um, goodness! But the birthday, we're always trying to beat the birthday before it, and we succeed every year. I said after this year, I'm next year. I'm taking a holiday. There's no top in it. You know, I'm not coming back <laughs> yeah. for the next birthday. Okay, it'll, it'll be amazing, I'm sure. But how do you top what we've done here? Mm. This is outrageous, guys. Valerie, you've got to. Maker in Norfolk's outrageous. got to. This and you're so right to point out the fact, you know, like the Cartiers, the Rolexes, the Audemars, and you know, the, the, the big, the big brands that have those extra deep pockets. Because, I mean, I'm going back years. Since I want. Like, oh, I'd love. I would love to be a buyer for Cartier. Yeah. Right? Or, or or any of these, because what they're doing here is so conservative. It's like it's not avant-garde. It's not pushing the envelope. It's reserved. It's. It's they're, a they're, slice. Yeah. No, it is. But that's when you know something special. Well, yeah. It's so valuable, it's sold by the slice. Yeah. You know, there's True. not many things on this earth that you can spend four grand on and you get a slice of. No. No carrot weight, nothing. No. In fact, we've got the carrot weight scales here. Uh, yeah. I, let's weigh this. Let's, let's have a go. Let's weigh as long it. As now, they will all vary, of course, because they're hand carved, but let's weigh this. It's impressive, it's sensational. Here we go. Okay, let's get it on. Look at the split payment, jewelry makers. It's sixty-six pounds and thirty-three pence. I, I look, I'm obviously not allowed to uh, join you right now, but believe me, if oh come if come the break, there's any left. That's I've never seen anything like this. Thirty-six day. carats or thirty-five. Sorry, Adam, there it is. Thirty-five point eight five carats of the legacy mother of pearl. That's so incredible. As a, slice, as a slice, what is it? Seven carats. Yeah. Look at the depth of this. It is the layers as well, that's the thing. Jeez, I can't believe we've just done that. I am too low, I get it. Uh, Ross, you know, I said to you I'm in birthday mode. This is what birthday mode is. Do you want to know how many's left? Go on. Okay, this, the final 10. The final 10 opportunities. Please don't miss Ooh. this opportunity. You Sorry. can take it off there, right? It's fine, <laughs> I don't mind. Sorry, Sorry. Adam. Sorry, guys. Um, you see uh, it at the neckline. Many of you are buying it as earrings for the year. I've got 10 chances remaining. Don't miss it, guys. No. This is it. Working on this project for a long, long time. Had to reach out uh, to the Paspali team to make this happen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. They could sell this any day of the week and, to the big jewellery houses. And little details. This is how we know, Dave, that you know, you've had your influence and the jewellery maker is, um, is rubbing off on you is the fact that you actually got, you've mm -hmm. actually said about the drill hole as well. For sure. You know, yeah. I want you to be able to work with it. Yes, it's a specimen. Would you want to put it in a cabinet? I would. Yeah. I'd want to put it in a box frame or a, or a glass case. Yeah, amazing. Seven of them left. Um, we'll Minute clock to close this one out, please, yeah, guys. We'll Sorry. Confirmation. If, if we only. can, um, if if we can, if it lasts that long. But oh, that's it. It's absolutely exquisite. I genuinely have never seen anything more beautiful, and more mesmerising, fascinating. It raises so many questions, Look, doesn't it? Are you going to tune into Jewelry Maker and see more Mother of Coal? Yeah. You're going to see anything like this now? No. And I said the, the same thing yesterday. Oh, sorry, on Friday to the team. Mother of Pearl and this Mother of Pearl is very different. It's the same way that I can bring you diamonds in silver for like 80 quid, 70 yeah. quid, 100 pound, 200 pound, whatever. Yeah. And then we can also bring you Asher Cut, the flawless Oh, diamonds. I saw that, by the you way. You know, and, and at very different price points. Yeah. It, they, they might be the same gemstone in name, but there are different grades. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're stratospheres away from one another. Amazing. I can't believe you can get hold. Please don't let this slip through your fingers. I've only got five. And this is there. sensational because when we talk about the pearls, yes, you can farm the pearls. But you can't farm the oysters. Okay, no. this is the, the significant 1%, the ones that have been in those pristine waters mm. to, to the very final harvest. Wow. And this is what the big high jewelry houses wanted. And, you know... Wow. You haven't seen the other piece yet, have they? I might have teased them. This is madness. Bit. This is madness. This takes it to the next level. Well, if I go back to that one piece that I showed you, which was much larger, it's carved from the entire um, piece. This one. Yeah. You see the gold lip. It's yeah, you know, price on application. But you see it, right? And you think, God, that detail, that skill. Like the, 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 the fact that that open work. Mm. Right? And... You've seen the one thing that we've done. This will be the fastest to sell out. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, but I think we're devaluing this material. I love doing deals, it's amazing. Like, it's, I love my job, it's great. But like, 
I realistically think we need like a high jewellery channel as well. I think like we've got so. Jewelry Maker, we've got Gem Collector, we've got Gemporia, but for these pristine pieces, we should have a high jewellery channel. Obviously, it's not going to be, you know, 24 hours a day because you can't get high jewellery like that. But maybe if you did two hours of programming a week and, you, and that's it. You just bring, you know, the pieces. This should be in platinum, guys. Mm -hmm. This should be in platinum. It's gemmy. Yeah. Like it looks coated. It does. You're right. You know what I mean? It and, does, and, and yeah. I've seen, I agree. I've seen like the Van Cleef Mother right. of Pearl. I've seen the Cartier Mother of Pearl. Oh, get out. <laughs> sorry, Al. I'm sorry. But my, my screens, I just explained to Adam, our director, like the, the screen that I look at is like a mirror or it shows you the shot that you see as well. I see what the TV sees, essentially. I'm seeing myself right now. And at the moment, they've got problems with this screen. So mm -hmm. um, it's, it looks like a polarised. It's really dark, yeah, super really dark. dark. I can't even see yeah. the features, right? Yeah. It's, it's nothing wrong with the camera. It's just there's something wrong with the return of it. And so even with that said, you can <laughs> I can't see my face, like the features. <laughs> I can see where it is. But when you just showed that, I saw what you saw and it blew my mind. Yeah, and that's like, and I'm practically viewing it through sunglasses. I'm just coming to look at your screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you can actually see it in yeah. in person. It's unbelievable, wow. absolutely unbelievable. Let's get the let's get not even a clock. Let's get this open. Let's get this on screen right now. And can you show us the reverse of this? Sure. This is what I love. Oh my gosh. It, it, and, and that, that, by the way, that is why it's three and a half thousand pounds just as a slice. Because look at what it does. Ten have already gone down. Yeah, it's, it's the, it, of the two, it's the, it's the most expensive piece. You, you can see that in the detail. You can see it in the work. Mm. Adam, that recording you've got of it is insane. It really is. Like, so gemmy, so incredible. Uh, Jane is saying, these carvers are artisan craftsmen. Their work is stunning. Totally, yeah. totally agree with you, Jane. It, it, it's that it's those kind of pieces. It's like Twenty carats. I've just weighed it. Um, can I show it over here as well? Because I don't know. The camera it does not do it justice. No. Like I said this the other day when I just had it's the, the floodlights. I don't know if you'll be able to. See. In fact, can I show you? Yeah. Can you just come here, Al. Yeah. I think the lights might be different over here. This yeah. is. I'm just showing Alan. In a minute, I'll try and show you guys. Well. Right. You know what abalone looks like? Yeah. I'm not even showing the cameras right now. You can show us, but you know what abalone looks like the colours you see yeah. in abalone power shell. Right. Can you see what I'm saying? I'm not even joking. Yeah, reds, greens, oh my goodness, but it's right the way across. Yeah. So I am going to try and show it to the camera, but I, I can't see what you guys will be able to see. But if you can just appreciate oh, there. the qualities of this insane, and this is across all of it, like this quality is outrageous. And as I turn it round, you get to see the exceptional details on show, mm, the pinks, goodness, the greens, me. the pistachios. And again, uh, probably the camera doesn't do it justice. Adam, your shot is amazing as well. Um, we can show that. But this is well, you, the, the finer of the work. I would encourage you to multi -bind. Again, this is the other thing as well. There's, we, we need to get those spotlights. We need to get those fancy spotlights, you know, to show... You know, to show... Well, the, but the, rea the reality is, even with those spotlights, our problem is that we're not in a jewellery house. Because in a jewellery house, when you invite people in, yeah. they're using their eyes. There's no yeah. camera that is sophisticated to humans. No. So even with the spotlights and everything, it's not a true reflection of no, what you're seeing. No, absolutely. The detail, the skill here is unbelievable. Now, should we pay a premium for this? Yeah, this should be the most expensive piece. Today, I'm going to do something wild for those of you that want it. I Can wish you the best of luck. Sorry, you've got three. Lorna's got two. Valerie's got two. Maker in Devon's got two. Let's come in. A uh, thousand pounds. Okay, let's just come in at a thousand pounds. I'm literally seeing those colours so perfectly, Dave, over mm -hmm. here. Just caught it. Um, greens, purples, golds, pinks. Yeah. Oh, my word. Right, there is a part of me right now, genuinely, there is a part of me, a massive part of me. If I wasn't governed or bound by the way that we do business here, the, the unique revolutionary business model that is the Gempori Partnership and Jewelry Maker, that would say, guys, Here's your opportunity, a thousand pounds. Whatever doesn't sell, doesn't sell. Mm. Let me take these elsewhere. No, yeah. Because I genuinely feel like we are at risk of devaluing these. I want to give everyone amazing deals, but you, could you have no idea. Down to yeah, absolutely. Again. But you have no idea. I mean, you do. I don't mean you don't. But it's so hard when we're on TV and we do silly, crazy deals to to get across 
the skill, well, that's easy. You can all see that skill. Mm. Right? That's, you don't have to be a gemstone expert, a jewellery no. buyer, a jewellery maker to understand the skill. Mm. But that mother of pearl, if you're tuning in, you go, mother of pearl, I've seen mother of pearl before. Let's just refrain from that and just say, have yes. you seen mother of pearl like this before? Honestly. You know, and, and, and the reason people pay 30, 40,000 pounds on a watch that has like a mother of pearl. And I'm the same, by the way. I used to think they are taking the mitt. Like, they are like you know yeah, i used to I think agree. that i mean who am i to think that but i did i used to think i know what mother of pearl costs yeah i do i know what my mother of pearl costs i know what the mother of pearl that i bring you costs when i go and find it at tucson and they've got like tons of it yeah right they're, i don't see a rolex and omega at tucson but they're flying in to the pearl farms in western australia and they're striking deals at the source and we need the best grade mm -hmm. it's, it's it's extremely limited they have to wait Years. You would wait, though, wouldn't the ocean, you? But that's what you get. Yeah, And worth this it. is a, a phenomenal deal, and you're, you're directly benefiting right now from uh, the group's buying power. Gemporia's buying power. Jewelry makers buying power. The fact that we spend millions on, on, uh, on the pearls from these farms. God, yeah. That's what, Maker in Devon, you've got two of these. You can make these earrings. Twins. Valerie, you've got two. Sorry, you can make a suite. You've got three. Wow. 26 of you have already confirmed. Right, just a moment. You know you're recording, Adam. If we just put that full screen right. You know the, um, the frame yeah. of Mother of Pearl? Yeah. Right? Sh I'm just going to stand behind Al for a second, if that's okay, Al. Yeah. And uh, we can do the, the wide shot on one or whatever. But I just wanted to show you where to look so you can appreciate, okay? So as this, thank you, Adam, as this rotates around, you see this, this moment here? on the far right side, this ring. Yes. Just, this is amazing, just focus on that, okay? Yep. Focus on that and we'll take it full screen, the right hand side of that, and we'll show it you right now as it comes around. Right, look at the rainbow colors. Just do me a favor and count the colors. Oh, green, red, purple. Right, that is throughout the entirety of this. This is high grade, high jewelry, hand carved, legacy. I've only got you a few. Yeah. So a thousand pounds, I'll ask for a 30 second clock. I'm going to one price, one price only. I'm not cutting it in half, I'm not doing anything. I'm not staggering this. You're all there, you want it. We know what we're getting, we know what we're achieving. You've got 22 seconds to own this. And by the way, uh, Dave's so right to point out there is nothing so sophisticated as the human eye. When you get this home, take the time to appreciate the amount of colours that you get. You get the reds, purples, golds, greens. Um, it's all there. And 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 and. Dave was just pointing out the uh, outer side on the dragon's head as well. You see those flashes. It's absolutely unbelievable. We'll never see anything, 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 anything remotely like this and, and won't see it again. No, nope. not unless we want to pay those high, high prices. You know, this is part of a much wider buying strategy. Even myself, if I was to set up a jewellery store and I was to walk up to Nick Baspali, who I know personally, Baspali Puffin, I got a flight to Australia to really impress him. I said, guys, I'm here. You know, we've done lots of work together. We've worked on lots of projects. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up on my own. Can I acquire some of these high jewel? No. They're going to say no. Mm. It's, it's a Jamporium jewel maker that spends millions of them each year. Yeah. And they work with the biggest jewellery houses on earth. And I want to stress that this is a larger piece, yeah. physically yeah, more true. imposing than the previous piece. I have yeah. to stress that. So it's cut from a much larger oyster. Not only that, as beautiful as both these pictures are, this one is the most time consuming, the most labor intensive, the most daring, you know, to have the open work, okay? This is the most expensive of the two. If you're a jewelry house, if you're a jewelry buyer, and you've got that unlimited budget, mm -hmm. and you want the, the showpiece, the set piece in your cabinet, if you're Cartier, if you're Van Cleef, and you want to create an avant-garde oriental collection, you know your clients love Mother of Pearl. Mm. How would you take it to the next level? And you get offered both of these. This is the one they pick every single time. Every single time. We want the larger, more impressive, more intricate piece. Because if next door, if Cartier buy the other one, we know we've got the better one. You're getting both today. Are you paying a premium for this? Should you be at 299 Yeah, 100%. And that, that's way too low. I'm going to do something right now for the collectors that have trusted me. Everyone pays the final load deal. There is an opportunity for you. I'm going to match the price because they're the only two you'll ever get offered. The only two we're ever going to bring to you. Oh, I've just re realised what that match it means. Yeah. 
I've just remembered yes. what you're talking you remember about. how low we went? Yeah. Right. I'm matching it on this piece. With that, look at the, the, the frame, the polished halo with the floating carving. This. And to carve from one single piece of the finest pink tartar maxima, money can buy. It doesn't get better. It, it very rarely gets bigger. And you've, when now, when you wear that, and you maybe take a trip to London, or you go to Selfridges, you go to one of those places that, that hosts those incredible brands, and you look at a slice of Mother of Pearl for five grand from, let's just say the names, Fabergé, Cartier, Yeah, Van exactly. Cleek, and you go, my God, and you're drooling at the glass, and you're looking at it, and you're going, if only, you got a better piece. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we've done for you today and today only. You got a better piece. And you can get hold of the it same for just grade. 66 pounds. That's a joke. That's it is a joke. It is a joke. You know, this... I think many of our viewers, yes, we're jewellery makers, but a lot of us are collectors as well, you know. Yeah, I mean, um, you're jewellery makers, of course, but right now you're jewellers. Oh, my God, You're not just jewellery makers. We're not just creating jewellery like, as a hobby right now. With this, yeah, there this is, is it. There this, is, is a this is the hardest bit of, of what Van Cleef and Cartier could do. It's done for you. You want to put a bale on this. You, mm. you, you want to you know, get yourself an 18-karat gold bale or, mm. or a shepherd's hook, whatever it may be, you're getting the level of skill, the level of detail, that incredible work, that craftsmanship, that quality, that mm, grade absolutely. right now for 199 guys. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's actually un crazy. unbelievable. It should be unachievable to, to normal people like us. This is it. Very limited. The last of these legacy pieces. How many do I have left? I know there's a queue. 15 left. Right. Adam, 15. 30 second clock, I'm going to do something. What? This is the most expensive piece. If you want to know how live and reactive we are. What are we doing? Are we going lower? And, and for those of you right now that want to get two, go for it. For those of you right now that are thinking, do you know what? There's 15 left. If you want, if you've got the other piece, and maybe this is going to be the earrings, or you've got two of the other piece, and this one's going to be pendant, I'm taking it lower. Good luck. Oh my goodness me. Seriously, have you ever seen anything more breathtaking? Because I, I, I generally don't think I have. And I love all your gemstones. I love all the... Um, I've loved the master carvings that we've brought you um, in, in different gems as well. But about that mother of pearl, my goodness me. There is differences. There is differences as with all of your beautiful treasures. But look, I'm not going to hide it. I'm walking back into the studio. Why? Because Ross has just called me in. But, like, you know, this is life. Like, this, we've, I've just made just this been, decision. He told me off, off today as well. Did he? Yeah. Well, he didn't tell me off. He called me in and he put Wayne on the phone to me. Oh. Wayne's watching. Wayne, I'm sorry. Um, we sourced these. We know this was the floor. This was the bottom price, 199 But, Wayne, you can't see what we can see. I can see so many people on the phone lines and so many people that have trusted us and multi bought. It's the only time we're ever going to do it. I'm going to do something crazy right now, and I shouldn't. I've actually categorically been told that I shouldn't do this. But, in all reality... This is what we do. And this is why you tune in, because it's live, because it's not, you know, price and application. It's not, if you've got to ask the price, you can't afford it. We're going to look after you. We can see you, but we know what you want. We want us to do a, squeeze a more out of this. Something that I genuinely thought three years ago would have to be a thousand pounds. Eleven hundred pounds is the price that we've had to bring them in at. And they weren't this skill. They weren't this level of detail. Mm. They were like cameos. Yours today. How many have I got left? Six. Is that six? Yeah, six. One, seven, nine. Now, he's my, my final deal with you. I know L has some incredible jade opportunities coming up. By the way, you've got natural Taipei pink jade. Yeah. Which you cannot get. Oh. You will never get that again. We've talked about red before. We've talked about lavenders. But to have that, that beautiful <gasps> moment of pink. Then you've got the carved dragons in jadeite coming up. But right now, you are offered this. For 179, my final deal. I've got four chances remaining. Do you want to do a minute clock to close this one out, Ross? Oh, my goodness If we've me. got time. Yeah, there yeah, are... A minute clock. Thank you, Adam. Literally just four of them left. Um, Good luck. Um, said pink jade, I've literally just put alongside and, and, this And well. that's impressive. You've got a Taipei grey jade uh, carving, double dragon carving. You've got another... I mean, this is the, the, the carved showcase. This is the showcase of ultimate rarity. I know the wonderful Claire's coming up as, as well with her masterclass. This is a, an exceptional what Sunday. Like I said, it's super Sunday. It really it, is. Everything's going on. The most incredible deals, the most incredible skill. You know, we, we are learning, we are getting involved, we're part of a, an incredible moment, and it doesn't stop here. 
no. 25 seconds, the only thing that stops is the opportunity to acquire this legacy grade mother of pearl. But you know, we have an opportunity for three people right now. And I'm giving well, you 15 seconds, guys. Look at the skill, look at this material. Sensational. Wow, and the fact that Dave, you know, you know, six years ago, this potentially was, you know, a, a whisper, a suggestion. I swear, I swear to you, six years ago, I didn't know this existed. No. I didn't no know you could get mother of pearl like this. I certainly didn't know that this kind of skill could be administered to it. That is the only time it'll ever happen. It may well have sold out. Stay holding, use the app, use the website. Um, like I said, I know L one. has the most, there's one left. Yeah. Now, Elle has the most amazing showcase still to bring you. Brand new Jada opportunities. I know Claire is waiting in the wings to bring you a wonderful masterclass. Um, I just want to give you a heads up right now. Thursday, you know about this, don't you? Yes. Right, Thursday, 10 a.m. Can I you know, invite you all to view a, sh a showcase? You know, invitation only, but you're all invited. 10 a.m. Thursday, brand new, ultra rare. I've only ever seen this in specimens. But we've got a collection to bring to you of snowflake, natural, citrine. Wow. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more about it when you come back. Elle's got some Jada opportunities. Good luck. So excited about that opportunity and incredibly excited to have been part of that. I mean, have you ever seen anything more beautiful? They were gorgeous, there? weren't they? Absolutely. So beautiful. Yeah. And just mind blowing how you carve something as intricate. Now, for us, certainly where your master carving journey began was the absolutely exquisite varieties of type A jadeite that only actually. I think manifested, I think the first carving we had was the circle of heaven with a dragon intertwined, sold out. I remember being part of that amazing journey alongside Dave. Um, and since then, I know that Dave, I know that Wayne work incredibly hard with some of the best cutting houses, artists, which is exactly what they are, um, to be able to bring you such opportunities. And these are artists. It's not something that you go to, I don't know, university for for a few years and at the end of the day, at the end of that experience, like, there you go, this is what you can create. This is something that can actually be, has to be, uh, um, well, part of your life, I guess, for multiple, multiple decades. But I tell you what, these are... Utterly, utterly beautiful. Now, they're also very limited. So I want to show you the two together because they are basically the same carving. There'll be slight differences because obviously they are hand carved. Um, they're very, very limited, as I just said, but we also have them in the two different colors. So if you have a preference. Um, now, again, these are brand new. They've never been on your screens previously before. Um, they are double carved. And I'll show you around this, uh, this amazing piece as well. Every single master carving, this is what I absolutely adore about the master carving, is that every single one has a story. Your mother, pearl, your mother of pearl earlier on had a story, the dragon and the pearl. You have those same stories uh, tied in. You've got the wonderful circle of heaven detail, just because it's the closest one to me. You have your phoenix. The phoenix... And the pearl, a phoenix um, and the dragons are the two of the most auspicious animals, aren't they, um, within Chinese culture. You've got the detailing at the top here. You've got that wonderful circle of heaven, all the meanings there. And then if I turn it round, you can see on the other side that level of detail carved once again. Now, we have it in the two different colours. They but look amazing together, don't they? They do. They really do. I mean, displayed like that. Yeah, they don't yeah. have to be pieces of jewellery, do they? I think they look wonderful together. Claire, have you, I mean, I, I never thought before I really learnt or um, learnt about jade. I don't mind saying that. I knew it was rare. I knew it was incredibly valuable. I've never seen pieces like this before, but I didn't really get it. I'll be honest, I didn't really get it. But as, you know, um, our experiences have uh, progressed, 
Um, and obviously the, the opportunities just seem to be getting better and better and better and better. You, it's just fascinating, this gemstone, isn't it? Mm. And I've loved learning about the meanings behind, yes, uh, yes, behind definitely. Jade and the stories within. Yes, definitely. And I think from my point of view, because I, my, I started you know, in, in ceramics, so working with clay, so understanding what, how difficult it was to produce something when it's a soft material. Yeah, true. But it was, you know, I think that's the thing that wowed me so much. And then learning about how wonderful, you know, jade was is, is just the skill and the artistry involved in in the making of them that you know it it's you know like you say it's a it must be a your life passion because mm -hmm. to be that good at it and that controlled yeah it's it just it's it's awe inspiring well, there's when, I, that, when i look at them there's a gentleman claire that we've shown photographs in the past and i don't know what what powerpoint it's on but um ross might know but there is a, a photograph of a gentleman stood next to a vast boulder that's in the process of being carved or sketched on the surface. That will be his life's legacy. Mm, mm. It, it, it's going to take him literally his entire working uh, um, career to actually carve this one vast work of art. I mean, that's mind blowing, isn't it? When it you is. think about your entire work and it's there in front of you. Oh, my goodness. This is a carver from Shenzhen who acquired a jadeite rough 15 years ago. It was national news. It was a full multicolor jade boulder, imperial greens, lavenders, blues, um, practically every color. He has been carving it um, from since that time and was determined to maximize all of the rough because it is so valuable. Um, he has only worked with this one boulder in that time. And look at the size of it. Of course, yeah. it's yeah. to be fair. That actually wasn't the photograph I was thinking of, but that's mind the little, blowing. The little person as well peeping <laughs> over the top. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Now, jewelry makers, I have the two. They are equally. All master carvings will be incredibly, incredibly limited. Because you've got to remember, these are, in that case, you know, someone's lifelong mm. career. These take hours upon hours upon hours, weeks and weeks, sometimes months and months and months to it, because it's done in the same old techniques. Like mm. you said, it's fascinating. It's difficult to mold something like clay. Something that's physically as hard as steel yeah. blows my mind. Now, we're going to start with the silver. Um... They are double carved as well. You have the beautiful phoenix, well, two phoenix. Um, you have the circle of heaven. You have the dragon within. Beautiful pearl. That's what the phoenixes are holding together. So all those auspicious meanings. And um, there it is. That was the one I was on about. Thank you. Ross knew. That will take his entire lifelong mm. career to carve. But look at the level of the... The drawing's mm. incredible. Yeah, yeah. Let alone the carving. And the planning, the everything is, isn't it? Yeah. And that's how, that's how pieces like this start. They're actually sort of sliced and then it starts taking a sort of three-dimensional um, look. Look, just amazing. Mm. It's fascinating to see photographs like that, how your piece arrives at your doorstep. 40, how many? 40. 40 Gosh, of each. So exclusive, isn't it? This yeah. is the deep cashmere, smoky grey. It's totally natural, type A grey, genuine jadeite um, with your beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You've got the, dra well, the dragon and the phoenix. Haven't you got that mythical creature? You have the circle of heaven uh, um, and, of course, the pearl, which is what the two... Uh, um, Phoenixes are actually holding together. That's double carved. You know, again, to think of that, we must never lose sight of how amazing this is. You've carved one side. Wow, what an achievement. What a work of art. Look at the level of intricacy because it actually involves piercing and uh, um, uh, abrasive polishing and lots of techniques, you know, way too advanced for me to even know. But then you've got to do exactly the same on the, on reverse, the reverse as well. Yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? 65 carats. We can bring you master carvings and we have done. However, this is probably one of, what do you reckon, Ross, two or three grey that we've ever done? We've had, we had grey in strands, but I don't know. Have we had them in the, not many carvings? 99.99, just to get things started. 
as Dave stepped out of the studio, Dave apologised for not being able to stay. He's, as you heard earlier on, he's very much a busy, busy, busy person. It's part of the Gem Poirier's birthday. It's only right that he's, they have him more than we do. Um, because, to be fair, it's their birthday. He did apologise. And Ross says, you know what? I didn't mind because there are only 40. Oh, oh, oh. I, sorry, Ross says, no, no, no. I did mind, L. If there was 100, we could go lower. But 40, we have to hold the price higher. OK, so did you have the discussion? OK, so this is the price that Dave mentioned on Friday. And then we're going to go to an apology price tag as he, yeah, as he stepped outside the studio. Look at that detail. Now, the launch, double-sided in one of very, very, very few cashmere type A Burmese jadeites, master carvings. And Dave said, let's do this. Let's do £199. That's an amazing deal. There's 40 in the world. That's absolutely incredible. 40 in the world. Mm. This is what we need to, you know, when all of those big design houses, whether they're jewellery houses, whether they're watch brands, whether they're artists, you know, when they do their limited edition prints, which aren't even the actual painting, are they? You know, they still do thousands, hundreds of thousands sometimes. We're talking about 40. So when discussed, the launch on Friday for today's show, it was agreed. Dave said £199. That's an unbelievable deal. It's very rare to get hold of Grey. On the way out, Dave said, I'm really sorry I can't stay. As an apology, here's your price. Let's override it. We're not stopping at £199. Plus, you've got your split payments, lovely jewellery makers. Good luck. It's the deepest, most beautiful dark grey. I love it. And I'm going to make, you know, why not? Oh, yes, yeah. Wow. He didn't say that. I, I, I'm not sure I believe you. Did he say that? Sorry, Ross. Ross is saying, yeah, this is what I said. You've only got 40. You don't need to take £100 off. Take £20 as an apology. 20 quid is a fairly de that's a decent mm. apology, isn't it? Thank you very much. I'll have that 20 quid back. Thank you very much. Go and pick myself up a subway, as we were talking about this morning. A hundred pounds. Look at, oh, at that price tag, you could make these earrings, couldn't you? And it's double carved, so you can see that absolutely stunning beauty front and reverse. Oh, there's, I can see earrings coming along. Alison, mm. you've multi-bought. Devon's multi-bought. Rupal, Norfolk, Neil, Valerie, Bristol, Marion, Agnes, Kent, Karen. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just got an idea. You might go with this. You might not. Oh, like your yin and your yang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yin and yang? Yeah. <laughs> they would be like that, wouldn't they? But yin and yang, how lovely would that be? I, I like big statement earrings. And the thing is, they're master carved. You have those uh, piercings within, so they're not going to be too heavy for the ear. Yes, they're big statement pieces, mm. but you could. Why not? Yeah. Well, get hold of the white. Make sure you're ready for it. That deep, beautiful, moody cashmere grey, brand new. You have some of the most auspicious carvings and um, beautifully woven into this amazing gemstone that forms over millions of years. Now, there is a little bit of a queue, is that right? I had 40. Oh, the queue's about 45 seconds. Okay, that's not too bad, but my goodness me, it's worth the time that you are, um, you are investing right now. The quantity, as we speak live, 19. So just over half the stock has gone. Valerie, Maureen, Jill, Marion, Agnes, Kent, Fiona, Maker. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, with the dragon, the, the phoenix, the pearl, the circle of heaven. You like the negative space within this, says Ross. Yeah, I like that too. But it's mind-blowing that that can be done. Mm -hmm. And it's not a case of, okay, stick it in a machine, let the computer map it out, and then it'll come out the other end. No, that's not, that's not how it works. 
This is literally placed into the hands of such skillful artists like that gentleman that we showed you earlier on that know precisely where. We'll work out where the fault lines are. We'll work out where, you know, the light and shade, if you like, of your grey jadeite will really maximise on your beautiful carving. The final 10 opportunities, incredible. 60 second clock and then we're going to move on, jewellery makers, because I have got um, the other carving. Um, Agnes, Marion, Maureen, Jill, I can guarantee you one as we speak. Julia, Margaret, if you press your option one, I can guarantee you one as we speak. Um, if it's in your baskets or if you're on the, uh, on the app or the web, it'll be allocated on a first come first serve basis, so can't say any fairer than that. Get it home. Please remember that every single purchase, despite how rare it is and how valuable it is, still comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. You know, mm. if you get this home, and I don't think for one second this is gonna happen, and if you're not utterly blown away by the skill, the intricacy that has been created before you, then send it back. It's not a problem, it's jadeite. We won't ever, ever, ever regret having jadeite within our vault, that's the thing. These are acquisitions that I said this only yesterday. We will never regret our type A jadeite acquisitions. We might, might regret type B and C, because in terms of investment moving forward in the future, yeah, it's type A all the way. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, it is now time. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Mm. Wait. The music of Jade. It's stunning, isn't it? It does sing. It sings. Mm. Oh, my. Goodness me, that's incredible. Look at this detail. So you have the dragon, the pearls, circle of heaven. I think because of the colour. I just, I love them together. I could, you know, that's, I think that's how I would display them. Would you? Yeah. Not necessarily wear them in jewellery? Um, I, I just loved how they were sitting next to each other. I just think, you know, it's a, it is that like a yin yang look, isn't it? Like a a night and day and a light and dark. I, I, I love that together. They're so statuesque, those dragons, aren't they? Yes, yeah. And I love that you've got that that symmetry and the sort of like you know the the mirror reflection. I love that. Equally on the reverse, that level of detail. Yeah, perfect symmetry. It's like mirror image, isn't it? And I also love how you know looking at the different areas. You know that like like. I was saying about like the negative space, different, you know, different points you could hang or, mm. or drop things from as well. Like I know I've, I, when I've worked with one similar size to that, gallery wire works amazingly oh, well yeah. as well. You know, so they, 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 you know, sculptural pieces, but like you say, yeah, jewellery as well. Beautiful. Yeah, because you've got anchor points all the way around. Yes, really, yeah. And, and if you wanted to, I don't know, maybe you like the look of having a tassel. You know, it's nice to know that you've got that option because mm. there are hanging points at the, at the bottom as well. Let me just explain. I know your graphics is multicolour. This is multicolour. That doesn't necessarily mean all the, the, the darker colours. So you've got your beautiful greens. You've got air, um, elements of, of yellow in this as well. And of course, um, the aqua blues. It's all type A grade. With your jadeite, you're never, or you shouldn't see one solid colour. If you see one solid colour, I would definitely raise the question, is it natural? Um, because type B and type C is polymer impregnated or dyed. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but it hasn't got the um, investment value that a type A grade um, like this master carving does have. Now, Ross, equally, is it the same limited quantity? 40, okay. Already collectors getting involved. Massive congratulations, Valerie. Massive congratulations to you, Hazel, Rupal, Marion, Cumbria. Good luck. We're going to do this in two price crashes. That's where we should have been. We've already said this on the Friday prior to this weekend. Um, this was the price that Dave actually set out. However, he's, he is busy. You know, bless him, throughout the birthday week, uh, month mm. really, and it's going to be three, three weeks this, uh, this time around. Um, he does graft. He's here a lot. So couldn't be with us for this auction. Sends his apologies, but also gives you an apology price tag. That's about to appear on your screens in what, 38 seconds. Whether you put it in a lovely long line necklace, whether you wear it short up close to the decolletage, because it actually has that, uh, that flat profile, it's gonna sit beautifully on the neckline. You could use these in earrings. Mm. 
There's quite, there's a, aren't there people who are getting to? I mean, maybe that's what they're, they're yeah. going to do. Well, I think back, do you remember the, the turquoise earrings I showed you that Sarah Jessica Parker wore on the red carpet? And the turquoise was, is sometimes master carved. And similarly, they're about the same proportions. And she wears them on the red carpet. It's just a simple shepherd hook holding them together, showcasing these works of art. You know, they are exactly that, works of art. And 40, probably less actually, because of the multi-buyers, of you in the world can say that you own it. You can get two for the price that one was meant to be. You can get both the multicolour and the grey. If you thought, okay, I can't decide, I'm going to have to choose which one's my favourite. And, and, and we are, we are absolutely, absolutely making friends now. This is, I can't believe we're doing this to be truthful. Um, yeah, yeah, it's bigger, it's actually bigger. That's unbelievable. Margaret, Rupal, Valerie, Hazel, Linda, Maker, Marion, Cumbria, London. Hello to you. Uh, um, Marion, nice to see you. Edinburgh, congratulations. Make sure you are checking out. I've got anonymous buyers on the phone lines as well. There is a slight delay here in the studio on our call screens. I can tell you, though, the 40 that we were launching for the very first time are absolutely flying out the door. Do you remember when we first... The, I, I don't remember exactly, but you know that... Um, Dragon and the and the Circle of Heaven, the first ever master carving that we had here at Jewelry Maker Roscoe. Do you remember that? Was that with you or was that with with Liam? I'm not sure, but I'm fairly sure it was three times this price tag. What? Yeah, we've done carvings for four hundred and ninety nine pounds, um, three nine nine, two nine nine, ninety nine ninety nine. We must never get complacent and realise that is not normal for something of this level of skill. Just the length of time that goes into creating something like this, the level of artistry. You said earlier on about clay. That's difficult, mm. isn't it? Mm. How about something that's as hard as steel? Well, it's just, it's, do you know what? I can't believe I've not thought of it before. Um, in my degree, I'll have to send you a photo of it, Al. I, I did, um, it was, they were made out of glass and that was a case of, so it was like, it was dragons swirling round and I'd, I'd made the stand. So I was thinking then I could see those and I'd love to do the stand. Not as a piece of jewellery, but as a sculptural piece. Um, and that was sandblasting glass. Wow. And the amount of times, you know, you would, because it's such a hard material, it would just be ruined because you'd go a little bit too far or to, just to create that, that relief and that, that depth. You know, I, I, just thinking about how many just don't make it. Yeah, The exactly. ones that we you know that we don't see because... Exactly. Because you're not, you're not robots, are you? You're not machinery no, no, and, no, and, no. and things like that. When you're making by hand, that happens. And in terms of artistry, and please don't take this in the wrong way if you are a painter, but, you know, if, if you get something wrong in painting, can you correct it? I'm fairly sure you can, can't you? It's a very different way of working, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Whereas yeah. this yeah. can't be corrected. Yeah. I don't think so, anyway. Amazing. Patricia, Marion, Mary, Alison, Margaret, Rupal, hello to you. I can see you there, Paul. I can see you there, Fiona, Maker, 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 Janice Lee, Kent, Linda, uh, Marion, Maker. Lots of new customers getting involved. I'm down to the final four. That's it. Make sure you are ready to uh, check out your baskets. This, if, it sli if it slips through your fingers, you can always add it onto your wish list. Um, I don't know about the grey. There might be some of the grey. A couple of the grey, okay, um, still available. Good luck, everyone. Now, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, okay, your masterclass is imminent. <gasps> I have two, these are incredible. Have you seen these? They're so beautiful. Look at those. Oh, no. Can I just borrow these stands for a second? Now, extremely 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 limited we have five of each and uh, again how often have you heard these words so the bangle is considered to be the pinnacle isn't it it's that it's it's what everybody in the jadeite world wants to own and we know that it's also like you said lots of losses lots of breakages um it's rare to get hold of them we're bringing you the bangle plus the carving in one piece. 
this absolutely blows my mind. Mm. Mm. It's also the best colour that we have ever done. It is, isn't it? That is just, that just whole grabs your attention, doesn't it? And holds it. That is, I could watch that all day. Look at that. <gasps> when we say lavender, Claire. <laughs> yes. That's like the, the best example, isn't it? It's, that is amazing. Now, there are five chances available. Obviously, oh my goodness me. Um, it's one of the larger bangles as well, folks, if you oh, are. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's unbelievable, isn't it? All totally and utterly That's natural. That's exquisite. With lavender jade, it is that whisper of almost um, wisteria purple. Um, it's considered to be one of the rarest gemstones. Roland Schlussel believes it's lavenders and reds that will overtake the imperial greens in terms of their price point. And that's because uh, jadeite will turn um, lavender only when there's vanadium presence, which is an element that doesn't naturally occur, or rarely, I should say, rarely occurs within Burma. The mine is but closed. This is... Oh, my goodness, there's five. Even here, try, go on first dibs. That's number one, S-T-D-I-B-S. Research, jadeite bangles. Firstly, see if you find anything remotely close to a, a, a carved bangle like this, um, plus having a lavender colour. And see if you can find it for less than what's on your, on your screens right now. I strongly doubt it. That's the thing. Claire, I strongly mm. doubt on first dibs you could get a master carved bangle well, you definitely can't at 499. We've gone straight down to that price tag. There are only four available. Um, this is the lavender. We do have it in the green, but there are five of each. We're over allocated. I can't see your names, but we are over allocated. So please make sure you're checking out your baskets if you've got your heart set on owning. Clearly, with something of this level, it deserves to be within a museum. It's that mm. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And there's only three. You've got your split payment as well, which is completely 0% interest. Cumbria, massive congratulations. I've got Lee in West Lothian, uh, Cheryl in Merseyside, and I've got an anonymous maker who's got multiples. So good luck. I only had five. That's 250 carats of beautiful. Who, Bristol, did you say? Paul in Bristol. I think you've, you can do it if you stay on the phone lines. Hazel, you're there as well. Oh, my goodness. It's... Oh. Oh. oh, look. That's another level, isn't it? Hazel, well done. Um, Cheryl, well done. I've got one left, so I'll leave it with you because there's Paul, Lee and an anonymous maker. Oh, my goodness me. Of course you can. There's only five in the world. You have the beauty, the ultimate. That is the jadeite, type A jadeite bangle. But even beyond that, you have the carving. Now, this one's the phoenix. So they are different. They are different. You'll see those wonderful details within. You also have lotus flowers on this too. Isn't it? Look at that intricacy. Try and find a bangle on, on first dibs, even without the master carving, even without the wonderful details, the works of art that are on yours. Try and find them at £2,000. A jadeite. has to be a type A jadeite. Don't just... Uh, not just jade, because that can be other gemstones. £499, Claire. Uh, just like looking at it at all angles like that is stunning, isn't it? I didn't think I would ever be able to hold something like no, this. No, I know. Yes, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Good luck, jewellery makers. We had five opportunities at 400. Are you still... I can't see your names as of yet. Five available opportunities, but they're not going to be hanging around. You can get hold of it today on your split payment. They're going. Congratulations, everyone. Um, oh, really? There's people oh. getting the two. Oh, my goodness. They would look incredible together, yeah, I have to tell do. you. 
it's the soft pastel colors that you get within and of course you have the music yes that Confucius that's wonderful about. it's amazing isn't it they do sing together and also tells you that you have if this was type b or c by the way you wouldn't have that music. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Jewelry makers, um, we're going to dive into a very short break. We have your Wall of Fame coming up and also the amazing Masterclass, Claire. Take a little look. It's all about wire writing, which has been ages since we've done. Um, well, not just wire writing. Wire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, you've got um, beautiful bracelets and these brand new i don't know have them here um leather sliders yes oh there they are thank you um leather sliders should we put these on pre-order so you, do, you, do you get them individually or do they come in threes i think they i think they're in threes yeah come in threes yeah. oh okay so you've got two different kits shop ahead on these during the break a bargain oh. says ross and genuine cultured pearls. So do shop ahead on these and Claire will talk us through how they work as a slider bracelet. Do you know, can I just say something? Great if you can't wear metals. Yes. Because some people yeah, actually yeah. have got um, yeah. allergies. My yeah. mum was one of those. She can't wear uh, metals against the skin. Um, so shop ahead on those. Coming up with our gorgeous Claire after this. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. makers head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever we have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off so head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear We've just had the first group of Britain's Next Gem contestants in. Weren't they fantastic? And this Wednesday, we've got the second group coming up. They will be given five minutes each to show us a short demonstration and to give us their top tip. Now, after that, just two from each group will make it through to the second round. So make sure you join us this Wednesday for the second group of Britain's Next Gem. by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. 
Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. back everybody we said it was going to be a lovely Sunday and it really yeah. has been it's been it has, wonderful yeah. um all of your masterclass goodies are available on pre-order and I'm just going to tell you you know these new slider bracelets with leather and genuine culture pearls two separate kits of which you get three of each under 10 pounds <gasps> shop ahead we have got big quantity of these no um, I know are you shocked no, by that? No, no, Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> That's working at £3.33 per... No. Genuine leather and culture pearl bracelets. For the pearls alone, that's unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Did you not expect that? I think that's absolutely brilliant. I know. That's so good. That's not for one, that's for three. No, I can stack up then. So, wait, that's £3.33 per bracelet. With pearls. <gasps> With pearls. Guarantee your colours, so you've got your more neutrals with your black, your, I'm going to say like a soft gold um, and like a really beautiful green. And then on the other kit, you've got a lovely navy, more of like an appetite blue that Claire's wearing right now and a silver colour. I would stock up on those because they're a genius idea of a slider bracelet. And they are so lovely as well. That's yeah. really, really lovely. That's brilliant. So shop ahead on those lovely jewellery makers. We've got big quantity of them, but I do think they're going to... When you say big quantities, what's the... Over 200 of each, but I do think they'll all sell out, though. Um, they're flying. There you go. Yeah, there we go. It's worth saying, wasn't it? And also we have got, you can see just about here, um, so the sterling silver wire as well on the website that, for Claire's um, masterclass. Now, first off, though, your fabulous creations. Here we go. Oh, we got one each today. Um, starting us off this afternoon is Gail. Good afternoon, Gail. Your number. Wow. 820. Look at how beautiful that is. And Gail says, hello all. Please find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Whilst making presents for my soon-to-be ex-work team, I retire Aww. next week after 25 years' service as a police officer. Oh, Gail, massive congratulations to you. Um, and they are a bit nervous about having to carry on without me. Oh, bless them. Um, <laughs> so I am uh, making them all a piece of tiger's eye jewellery to leave them um, with some courage and confidence. Oh, lovely. I made myself a knotted tiger's eye um, adjusted necklace with this beautiful Buddha carving, all from Jewellery Maker, of course. Uh, so anyway, one more week and I'll be a lady of leisure. More Ooh. time for jewellery making. Good luck to all, as always. Gail, massive congratulations on your... Yeah, enjoy your new chapter. That's yes. exciting, isn't it? It is very exciting. Yeah. And make sure you've got to send your entries in now. If you're a lady of leisure, you can be, you can be a lady of leisure with us, which is fabulous. Yeah. Um, number 821 is from Sandra. Hello, Ooh, Sandra. Lovely. Some very pretty wire work there. And Sandra says, hi to all the fabulous team at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry this week. It's a wire work necklace made with abalone shell, white quartz roses and leaves I purchased a long time ago from yourselves. I found, um, found it um, in my forgotten jewellery box mm. and hoped it was good enough for the Wall of Fame. Good luck to all the fellow Whoppers. It most certainly, yeah, certainly gorgeous, is. Sandra. You can't forget that, though. 
You've got a NASA piece that needs it, to be yeah. worn. Lovely. Um, 822 is from Deb. Hello to you, Deb. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. lovely. Yeah. Very pretty. That's cheerful colours. And Deb says, hello, here with a long uh, line gemstone chip necklace. Bought these chakra chips in a bundle yonks ago. Um, I was going for a hippie chick look. Well, you've succeeded. Yes, course, that's lovely. Deb. Good luck, Deb. Yeah, good luck. I've got uh, 823, and this is uh, Viv Thode. Viv says, uh, hi all, here is one of my summer necklaces made with clear quartz drops, multicolour seed beads and big amethyst chunk, all from JM of course, best wishes to all. Ah, oh, that's, that's lovely. Very Masoma that. Yeah, it is. Very Masoma, loving that Viv. Like the photography as well, good luck Viv. Next I've got uh, 824 and this is Lorna Clark. And Lorna says, hi, this week's entry is bare copper and agate rounds made from the flower dye from Rachel Norris's demonstration. Also, I use the Bear Copper Mega Mega Box Kit, all from JM. Beautiful. They're, they're lovely, aren't they? I love those, Lorna. Good luck. Uh, lastly, I've got uh, 825, oh, wow. and this is Norma Cowie. Norma says, hi all. Can I please enter my newest jadeite necklace this week? I've used the new Aqua Series jadeite 4mm rounds with microfasted sapphire with a nephrite jade. Uh -huh donut and finish with a sterling silver pearl box clasp everything is from jm as always good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at jm and that's from lovely norma that's wow, stunning norma. isn't it amazing absolutely amazing gorgeous just, just, just to be able to say that oh aqua jadeite four know, millimeter what sapphire of, yeah <laughs> it's incredible stunning oh i'm in awe good of luck. all of you truly i am well done good luck as well yes because you've still got time to enter into the wall of fame that happens on a wednesday so the only stipulation as we always say is that they are jewelry maker products drop us a message we can show it on air right then claire are you ready to cause a frenzy i think so because i let, think so let's show these pieces and uh, firstly they are so you they are so me that everybody i think is going to love these i just I, I really really loved i loved um working with these but what i love with components like this is they're really i feel they're very on trend it's really good quality components but the fact that you can put anything anything you want yeah. in, the, in you know in between them personalize them like you know like i have a bit of wire writing if you you know if you like to do beading you can do that um you could do you know your sterling silver elements you could do initials in there motifs it, literally anything because you've got those two connecting points mm -hmm. you can put anything you want in there yeah and it's simple to do that to attach yes them. yeah yeah super yeah. simple which colorway claire would you like me to start with oh i I like this. You like this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like all of them. Yeah. But it's yeah. tough to choose, isn't yeah. it? Mind you, they're at nine ninety nine. I don't think you need to make that decision. Um, so we're going to start with this colorway, which includes like a really deep navy blue. That's lovely, isn't it? And then you have your lovely appetite blue, and you have a really pretty silver in the background. So, um, in terms of a, obviously the slider, I think it's fairly straightforward. We can see from Claire your beautiful piece of jewelry. It's these parts that come round that you attach yes, to. Yes, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then you've got the fact that you've got those amazing pearls at the end that have you know been drilled, so you can get the two lots of the of the the leather through. Yeah, that's a really good point actually. So for us, we might go, oh, I'm going to make something like this, but actually you've got to have the right components to uh, do yes, it. Yes, yeah. And I yeah. wouldn't know how to do that knot either. Yeah. You know, to actually create that knot, which works as the, as the slider mechanism, I suppose. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful slider bracelets. Great for, if anybody you know maybe has uh, um, trouble wearing certain gemstones. These are so easy to, I mean, you can see, I mean, they're just, aren't they? Look, that. And I love these because, you know, unless you've got somebody there to help you put, you know, put them on, some jewellery is just not possible to wear, is it? Yeah. You know, how easy is that? And that's it. Yeah, and they Pop grip. it on, tighten it up. And it's just really comfortable. And I love as well, the more you wear it, you know, it's going to um, sort of relax it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. It softens. As, as, so as nice. quality leather does. Yeah. You get three. You get three of them for this one amazing kit prize. We've got 200 of them. Um, so this one is with the silver, the kind of appetite blue, and then the darker blue with cultured pearls. The, I don't know, have we ever done anything like this before? I don't recall. I know we've done leather bracelets, but um, I might be wrong. But I'm, I'm loving these. We've got 200, but they are going to cause an absolute frenzy. Look at where we're starting from. That's already an incredible price tag. Mm. 
you know, pop on to, and I've not mentioned her for a while, Monica Veneda. She works with yep. corded bracelets. Yeah. Not leather necessarily, I don't know. She might do, but they're not gonna be they're not gonna be twenty nine ninety nine each. Definitely not. Not with cultured pearls. No. So no. right now we're talking what, ten pounds per slider? And they are genuine cultured pearls. And we're not stopping there because I've said it out loud. When we said under ten pounds, we weren't talking about each. We were talking about all three of them. I'd be stocking up my stash on these. Absolutely, pairs. just because you can, you know, it's, it, you can put absolutely anything in between. If it, it's a case of, isn't it? I mean, you could go directly into into here if you want, or yeah. whatever you've created. And you just, you can see. So I've put two jump rings on that one, um, uh, a jump ring on that one. But it could be, it could be anything, couldn't it? Your wire guardians, if you wanted to, yeah, you could have them as, you know, necklaces. Uh, your chamo, you could pop, pop on there. Beading, stamping, anything. I love that. It's just a really, really nice, neat, isn't it? Neat, Gorgeous. comfortable design. And so on trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on trend. Yeah. Now, um, producer Ross is saying, Elle, at the beginning of today's show, I was more than happy for possibly taking this kit to this next price crash. I think I know where you're going. And I think all of our customers watching would have been happy also at five pounds each. It's five pounds for genuine culture pearls. Can we just, for, uh, you've got, you've got what, six high quality pearls here. Yeah. And the leather, of course, but for the pearls, that's amazing. Five pound each, fabulous. But you, know, you can really see as well on that one in the recording, it's, it's about that drill hole, isn't yeah. it? And I think it's, it's the, the quality of these, but also it's the time, the time that you're saving by getting them like mm. this. You can concentrate on the piece that's going in the middle. That could be absolutely anything you want, but you've got here, you know, it's all done for you. I mean, uh, the, the making of the bracelets, I would struggle with that knot as well to get it that neat and that, uh, that tight. The, to do the pearl drilling, that would take because because you wouldn't start off with a drill bit that size. You'd no. obviously have to work your way up to get to get the hole like that. And then I guess you look, that's a risk. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a time and considered, and it's a different way of working, isn't it? it you're you're drilling something pretty small with mm -hmm. quite a relatively a, a large drill bit, mm -hmm. you know, compared to the whole thing that you're working on. Um, Claire, look at the core screens. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not surprised. No, it's a. Uh, I think jewellery makers know they're really useful. Absolutely. It's a great alternative to your more traditional, say, sterling silver slider bracelet. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I be controversial? Yeah, go on. I prefer these. Do you? I prefer these to your normal slider bracelet. Nice, yeah. I do. Yeah. I, 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 personally, these are, I would gravitate towards these. Everyone's different. And I like the sterling silver ones, don't get me wrong, but I it's think... It's a nice I, look, isn't it? I prefer these, mm. yeah. I think it's a lovely, lovely look. It looks like a little bow, doesn't it? Um, but, of course, you can see how it slides beautifully and it will naturally soften, as Claire was just saying there. That's £3.33 each. That's crazy. Look at the call screens, jewellery makers. Um, already lots of multi buys. I would be doing the same. I, I mean, think it's going to be one of those places that you have to, uh, and a point in your stash, right? I need that drawer specifically for my leather slider bracelets. Yeah. Because you could get, couldn't you? You could do, um, I don't know, say you've got a bead scoop or you've got leftovers of a, of a strand. You'd have one gemstone in, mm. in, in there, do a simple um, loop either side or wrap loop either side. You know, you've made a bracelet in, in what? Probably five minutes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can see. I can see why. I can see. I can see why. Um, well, Definitely. I'll keep you updated on the quantity. How many have gone, Roscoe? Because the call screens have gone crazy. Over a hundred, so we're down already to um, double figures on this kit. Shop ahead on the other kit. Um, every so often, as and when um, suitable, I'll update you in terms of the quantity on both those. I would encourage shopping ahead. Both of these are going to nine ninety nine, but you get the three with your culture pills. They are brand new, and I think they're going to sell out today. To be true. Claire, what are yes. you going to demonstrate? Well, I can show you anything really. Um, so what I've done, I've done with uh, with mine. Should we have a look at? Should I show you how to do that little spiral? I mean, you can do all sorts of wire writing with this. And what I've tried to do with mine is, if you're thinking about working maybe with your sterling silver, you absolutely don't have to um, solder it at all. But I've had a little play with mine of, of soldering. 
Um, so you can see, so I've put some initials in hearts. I've done some uh, like a bit of wire writing in, in hearts, a heart in a circle. You're just looking uh, for that balance there. So ma maybe if, you've, if you're just starting out with um, some of the spirals or, or, or maybe some um, precious metal, we could have a go with that and I can show you where to, where to put the solder because it's, it's, it's quite a messy way of working. So it's quite nice maybe if you're, um, you know, if you're, if you're new to new to soldering. So the first thing I want to do is I've, I've got my um, I've got my sterling silver wire. So I, I need to think if you're if you're having in the um, if you're working in the with a, uh, a bracelet like that, you need to have two connectors either side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, and have my one connector there. OK, so we know we've got we've, we know that we've 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 got uh, somewhere to connect here. So then I'm going to go in probably about uh, about a centimetre or so. And you can see, so I've, I've still got the rest of the wire. Now, this is a, a one mil wire, so it's lovely, lovely chunky wire. So I'm probably going to just come in a little bit more here, so something like that. OK, so I've got my first loop. So I'm going to go and I'm come over the top here. OK, so I'm going to start and bring this round. Now, when I've gone like that, so I'm going to do maybe a little bit more so I can get access to that, this section here. OK, so I'm going to bring in now, so we're going to think about a mix of wire work and soldering. So if I can, I'm going to have as much of, as many of these wires touching the sort of, you know, got concentric circles going out, out, out. If they can touch each other, brilliant. If they can't, it's not the end of the world because we're going to sort of flood it with solder anyway. But I am going to try and get good, good tension on here. So I'm just going to start and bring that in. So I'm just holding with my chain nose pliers and I'm going to get wherever I can to get good sort of purchase on there. I'm going to might move that out a little bit so I can just access that part there and bring in. So what you're looking for is a simple shape, but what we do want is we want to have so that you can see, so they are touching each other. So I'm just going to start and keep going. I'm going to go a few times round. I think I might get one more out of this. So let's bring this in. And I'm going to go and just, so bring that in here, coming out a bit. So I'm going to bring out and back and let's bring that here. OK, so I'm going to stop there. So now we're thinking about connectors. So we've got, so what I can do is I can bring this one in a little bit, make this a bit smaller. So I'm going to snip that off. Remember, keep all those little bits. We'll bring that in and just bring that round there. So I want to make sure that I've got a closed loop in there. That's all touching nicely. And I'm going to have my loop on here. So again, I want to think about where it's, where it's all touching. So I'm going to bring that round, sort of quite even, and snip off. Okay. So I'm just going to get that so it's sitting nicely. Now I'm going to give that a bit of a, a bit of a buff. So just take some of this off and then I'm going to show you how we then set it up with the with the solder. Right so I'm just going to get some of this off because I've just given this a bit of an anneal. So just a case of heating it up so it's gone a little bit discoloured. Okay, so you can see how this is starting to go. Right, so I'm going to move this out. Now I'm going to bring in the, um, my soldering station. So I'm just going to pop that there. Oh, yay, it's always exciting. Okay, so I'm going to pop that there. So we've got that. Mm -hmm. So if I just set this up. Okay. So I'm going to bring that in. Okay, so I'm going to have that on there. I'm just going to use some easy solder. Now you don't have to. Um, you could just you could just because you by by doing it in your uh, your pliers, it's actually pretty solid now anyway. So you could leave it like that. You could just polish it up with your nail buffer and your polishing cloth. But if you feel like, and this is this might be a, quite a nice um, 
way to, you know, if you are thinking about doing maybe a bit of soldering, because you, what you can do is you can flood the area and you've got, it's gonna look, it's gonna look good whatever you, you do really. So this might be quite a nice Ooh, way of, yeah. of working. So we're not gonna be too precious about it. So I've got lots of areas there. So I've got the flux. And all I'm gonna do is then, I'm gonna pop some of this on here. And what we're gonna do is gonna let it run in between. And I might have a little bit there and hopefully it'll close that gap. And this is just a nice exercise, probably not the most um, efficient way of using your solder, but this is a nice way of, of working as maybe an introduction. So let's pop that here. And I might have another bit there, so we'll see how all of that goes. I've probably got enough flux on there. Just get some more of that on. Now, all the products that you're working with right now, the flux, the um, solder sheets or the tubes, they're available on our website. Yes. So if you want yeah. to get hold of those, you can. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's have a look now. So we're just going to um, watch here and we'll watch those. They're quite big, chunky bits of solder and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll be able to see. So if I just bring that in. Sorry, Adam. There we go. Right. Let's see how this is. So I'm just going to pop my flame here. Now, if I put my flame straight on it, what can happen is just that the force of the, the flame itself might blow off the, the solder. So I'm just going to let that, can you see it moving and bouncing about a bit? This is why it's quite a nice, this is a nice way of working because the worst that's going to happen is it's going to run in through, through the middle of that. You see it starting to go. Yeah, it's very satisfying. Ooh, there, we go. there we are. To see it running all the way through, it's going to sit really nicely in there. There we go. Let's turn that off. Let's have a look. So I'm going to just pop it into the water now. Okay. So if we have a look at this, you can see. Pop that in the pickle, or we can buff that up. But can you see now how that is? The, the solder has run all the way through in different areas of that spiral. So it's even, it's even stronger now. So what we could do with that, we can we dry that off. Or maybe on my trousers or something like that. Oh, oh hang on. on. Oh. So if you've got pickle, brilliant. But what you can then start to do, because it's the sterling silver, and that's why this is lovely. So that's when you start, if you, you know, I don't know if anyone does their nails. But you start on that buffer and you can see how then this takes it. So if I work my way up, you can start and bring that and you'll especially be able to see on the edges where it's starting to turn it into from that very, very dull to that shiny. You can see how it's starting to, to go there. Works really well because you've got the sterling silver as well. You could use your liver of sulfur. Liver of sulfur is going to really get into uh, the sort of like the recesses, that section. So the lines in between the, the, the spiral there and really highlight that. And that'd be a nice look as well. So we can see how this is starting to, to buff up there. So this is the difference of maybe have a go if you've got the, maybe you've got the plated, the kits, the plated wire from earlier, have a go at a spiral, see how much you'll need, what size you want. And then, you know, you can go in, go in with your sterling silver. So pickle will get rid of all of that. Or if I carried on buffing, eventually that would um, get rid of all of that. And then all you're going to do, if I just take one of these, you can get your, and if, you, if you're going to get the wire that I think is coming up, you could make your own jump rings. But if we have a look, so I think we bring that, close that up or because the, so the solder hasn't run on that section. So you could either resolder and use some new jump rings or you just pop it in like that, close up. And you see, once you clean that up, <sighs> It's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely so piece lovely. of jewelry. So lovely, so lovely. And as if you, it's just three. So there it is, yeah. Thirty-three per bracelet. Well, this kit is almost sold out, Claire. It's lovely. Um, how many? Fifteen. 
Okay, 15 left. Um, so make sure you're checking out if you've got them sat in your baskets. I think it's, um, should we bring the next kit then? Yeah. You know, you said this was your favourite. This one's mine. Is it? Love that, those ones. I do love that. I love that colour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm not sure what. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's a really soft sage green. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I love it. And then this one here is like a really soft, creamy gold. Yeah. Like a champagne. Yes. yes please. Like a champagne colour. I guess that would be nice. And then you have your beautiful black. Amazing. They work so well, don't they? Oh, stock up on these. We've got 200 of them, but as you just saw in the first kit, they flew out and these aren't going to be any different. So we've got less than 15 of the previous kit. <clears throat> it's all down to personal choice, isn't it? If you want the silver, uh, so the one, the other kit's got the silver in. This one's got the gold. But you know, this is also. Got, oh, I don't know. Yeah, they're all lovely, aren't they? I genuinely love them all. And they look nice together, don't they? They do. Stacked up together. Yeah. What great gifts! You know, if you've got to make some jewellery, um, if, uh, if you're gifting jewellery, but you don't want it to take too much time. Yeah. Yeah. These would be amazing, and also you know, it's going to fit everybody. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the ones that the ones that are on screen now, so that you can see, so we've got a C there, you've got a W there. So you can, you, you know, especially if you've got um, maybe you're doing fairs and things like that, oh, you can yeah. personalise, can't you? Yeah, you could do your letters of the alphabet. Yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, obviously you choose. And you can see there. So what you're doing there, either you think about with your wire writing that you've got a uh, point, so you do a loop on the actual letter itself, mm -hmm. or you have an area. Um, you know, where you would either create it how I did with the spiral or you, or you just have a, a larger outer area. So you can see that if you see the one I'm wearing now, that one, so it's ah. a heart. So you've got your wire writing, but then you've got areas that you can you can add into. Yeah, you could put little bubble styles, couldn't you? Yeah, nice, yeah. Maybe some little seed pearls in there or your favourite yeah, birthstones or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Claire, these are absolutely gorgeous. They're cool, aren't they? I love them. I absolutely love I them. I really like and them. And I always like seeing you wire writing as well. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I, I do like them. I can't write as neat as you wire write. My writing isn't as... Is it, um, uh, uh, my wire writing is better than my actual <laughs> writing, definitely. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's three pounds and thirty-three pence per beautiful leather slider bracelet. I don't know if we've done these before. We might have done, but I don't remember. And I certainly do. I, I think I would. Rem I feel like I would remember at three three pound thirty-three each. Yeah. yeah I feel definitely. like I would. Yeah. I might yeah. be wrong. I'm happy to be wrong. Either way, I think this is absolutely epic. You love it because they're absolutely flying out the door. We had 200. Um, yeah, the call screens, the website, the telephones lines are going completely bananas. If you want the wire to create, as Claire has just demonstrated, or maybe you um, know how to do some wire writing, certainly you can watch the back uh, some of your demonstrations. I think there's Claire, a little thing on Instagram as well, which I did... Sh I've sh I've, I've I've shared that on my um, guest designer Facebook page, so I think you should be able to access it there, there as well. Yeah. Perfect. It's lovely to see, and they really are wonderful features. Personalization is huge, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely yeah. huge. Yeah, it is. You know, especially in jewellery, which is probably one of the most meaningful pieces, I think, that we can or, or gift or receive. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Say if it's, you know, like a, it's your initial or it's something personal to you. It's, yeah, it's really special. Jewellery is personal. Yeah. Very, very special, yeah. absolutely. Like, like yeah. so you, gave, you made this amazing bracelet. And Claire, and genuinely, I meant it. I will never take this off. Aww. I'll never take it off. It's absolutely Thanks. gorgeous. Um, but that's the thing, being able to gift pieces like this. Yeah. Um, Claire, message from Janet in West Yorkshire. Hi, lovely ladies and crew. Is it possible, please, for Claire to show us um, the wire rose, please? Oh, yeah. So that would, uh, Janet, that would be really, really lovely, actually, um, in this. That's a really good call. Can I borrow the wire? Yes. Yeah. Is, that, is that all right? Which gauge? Oh, actually, I'll do it in this. I'll do it in this. And then, um, so it's the same, but this is obviously there you plated. Go. Spontaneous demonstration for you there, Janet. And Janet, that's a really, really good call because this would work beautifully. So I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it on my pliers. You could absolutely do this on... Um, on a ring as well. So if you if you imagine if you've got your ring, um, your ring mandrel where my pliers are. Um, but what so what I'm going to do? I've got I've got my length of um, one mil. You could do it with 0 0.8 as well. So I'm going to fold that over. So it's going to go. One's going to go one side, one the other. Okay. 
Then what we're looking to do, so if you think about the, uh, the rows, what you're going to do is you're going to make the bud first. So you're looking to chase these wires round. So I'm going to go round and round. So at the moment, all I'm doing is creating that. It looks like a spiral in there. Then when I've done a little bit, I'm going to take this one. So that's sort of going down and I cross it over. So I've gone down like that. So I've crossed over. Now, every time we cross over, that makes the petal. So I'm going to take this one now. That's going to cross over. This one's going to cross over. So what you're looking to do is cross over and go in a circle at the same time. So have a little practice. You can see, so cross over, cross over, and cross over. And then you'll, have, you'll start to see when you think, okay, it's really enjoyable to do, but you need to look at the balance of when you stop. Okay, so we're going to, I think, stop. I'll do one more, and then I'm going to stop there. So... I'm just going to then, if we look at the back, so you've got, if you wanted to have it as a button, you can do because you've got that little bit there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that one round. You're going to look where your wires are most suited. I'm going to bring that one at the back. And I'll have that one there. And so we've got to think about, because we're going to put it in the, the in between in the bracelet. So I'm going to bring that there, have a loop that side. So let's cut that off. Oh, that was a very good call, Janet, that was. So I've got a loop here. And then this side, we'll do another loop there. And again, we'll cut that off. So you've got a connector either side. So two loops, so you see it from the back, you've got connector there, connector there. And then you've got your really pretty rows in there. Ah, looks good, doesn't it? So beautiful. Oh yeah, that would look lovely, wouldn't it? Alongside the pearls. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. And then just connect your bracelet either side. Good call, Janet. Yeah. Amazing. Loving that. And thank yeah. you, Claire. No, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Should we bring you the wire? Yes. Because, and by the way, this is like proverbial gold dust. We really see silver wire. I mean, you were saying this morning, actually, that you uh, didn't get it. You didn't get it? No. <laughs> Do you no, know it's a, it is it is like gold dust. It is like gold it's, dust. It's what yeah. it's that we we have that little of it. We can't send it to you. Yeah. Oh, get it whilst you can. Yeah, and Give it's it. it's so it's so it's wonderful to use. Well, it's soft, isn't it? Silver. It is. Wire. It is. Yeah, and there's just a lot you know a lot you can do with it. So. Um, obviously all the, the designs that I've done in, in between the bracelets, but you know, think about maybe your stacking rings as well. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I should always show you the ones on my thumb. Th those are a mix of 0.8 and one mil wire. And oh, the bracelets and your finger. So, so those ones, so that one there, if you see that one, which I don't take off, that is, that's one mil. Yeah. You can texture it. Uh, stacking rings work really, really well. And you know, it's precious metal. Yeah, absolutely. Do initials if you want to. Yeah, and or, or you work and wire writing, you wire can do writing that with brilliant. it as well. Yeah. yeah, wow, eight grams of sterling silver. I don't have the right one here, I don't think. Is it that one? Oh, am I holding the wrong one? Sorry, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, it's fairly obvious, Al. Come on, it's fairly <laughs> obvious. Sorry, my bad. Um, here we go. This is the one mil, and you get a meter of it. There you go. <laughs> I mean, sure, try and look at it in an endearing way. But yes, I am that dim sometimes. That's OK. Um, <laughs> I can absolutely relate. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the crew, they're used to it. They're all used to it. Um, 15 99 That's eight grams of silver. And Which is much... brilliant, isn't it? So if you think, if you, I mean, depending on what your ring, you know, your ring size is going to be, I mean, you're going to do loads with that. Well, how much did that rose take? Uh, oh, I'd probably say rose is quite intense. In I mean, that's a big, that's a okay. big rose. Yeah, so you right. could probably get away with maybe two thirds to a half of what I use there, which was what maybe reckon about 20 centimeters oh, okay that's you're going to make a lot but of that's it, that's quite big so you could you could get away with doing um less or your than demonstration that. as well the yeah. sturdy whirly yes yeah. you could do those too eight grams of solid sterling silver do you know it's so easy to look at this and go yeah but let's not forget it's silver it's genuine precious silver yeah yeah 
It's the ingredients that make, create... Well, you bought some gold wire, didn't you? I did, yeah. Treat yourself some gold wire. Yeah. And that's where it all begins. Yeah. Amazing. Um, make sure you check out... How many have we got of those then, Roscoe? Is there many? There is a big quantity. Okay, fantastic. But I'm I'm betting there's people at home who are desperate to stock up on their wine. And I, and I would say as well with that, depending on where, where you're going to sell, um, you probably maybe... Maybe a couple of a, of a one mil stacker ring. So you know, for that for that sort of price that you're paying for the whole the whole meter. Mm. And potentially, if you're going to go to you know uh, uh, maybe a bit a slightly you know a fancier one, you maybe get you know fifteen pounds for for one for one stacker ring hammered. You can you know use your stamps on there as well. Well, that's not going to be. Uh, you, that, you're going to do amazing out of that. Yes, for yeah, it's a long length. Yeah. There's a lot of stacker yeah. rings that you're going to create. Absolutely. Fantastic. Make sure you keep checking out. There are loads of you getting involved on this one. So this is your point. This is your one mil. Yep, yeah, a one meter. One meter. This is your point eight. No, this no, is it's this not. Is your one mil. <laughs> this, uh, this is the same. The same gauge. Right. But 30 centimetres. 30 centimetres. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. If it's about wire, I could talk about it forever. That's a Very good job geeky. you're here, isn't it? Yeah. It's such... <laughs> Under £10. Oh, we're not stopping there, apparently. So okay. This, this might be, I don't know, maybe a bit more of your taste and maybe you've never worked with sterling silver. Well, you do wire. say, you you often say it, um, don't be scared of working with silver oh, because it's no, actually it's, much more forgiving. It is, and it? It's just wonderful to work with, you know, and that it's precious metal and yeah. you can solder it. I mean, you can actually as well, if you have a, if you're happy to have a play with it, you can actually fuse it. So even if you don't have any solder and you've just got heat, if you get mm. that join, that seam really, really close you, and you've got heat and you're really careful with it it will actually fuse together wow oh beautiful well i tell you what yeah a little taster or maybe mm -hmm. budget maybe you're budget conscious mm -hmm. we've got quantity still sterling silver still 925 same gauge oh 6.99 brilliant right when should we have a have a i think it's just a, i think it's a recent thing that having in them in that length but also when six ninety nine for precious Never. metal, yeah. it's you know, it's, yeah. it, it, I, I get it. People can tune in like like my brother did those years ago, and he tuned in and he was like, "You're getting really excited over a pin." I was like, "Yes, but it's what you get, it's what you can achieve out of that head." But yeah. he just didn't get it. Yeah. So I do understand. But this is nine two five sterling silver. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, my goodness me! Nice little taster. Have a little Absolutely. go. At, have a little yeah. go at, at soldering. Yeah. Amazing. I'm going to leave that with you because there's loads of you getting involved as well. Fabulous. Um, should we do some more little extra sterling oh, silver I components? I love these. I've worked with these. Hang on, let me find them. Have you? Yeah, these not... are these are beautiful. Uh, only 40 left of. Which ones do you mind doing? Yeah, I've got three. They're called here. feather. They, these are called feather weight, but Ooh, they're they're not. I, they're not feather weight. They're I would say they're fine. But they're a bit more substantial than, than that. Yeah, because sometimes the featherweights are a little bit crinkly, aren't they? Because they are that yeah. fine. Whereas these, yeah, you can see they're that in between, aren't they? Between like a normal head pin and a featherweight. Yeah. So oh, you can Claire. see the difference. They, they are lovely, really, really lovely. Where do so I see? all different different ones. So those are sort of like the really nice. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, just to give you that little extra detail at the yeah. bottom. We're going to do this in one price crash. These are limited, folks. So you get 10 of each of the designs. Hearts, Alhambra, four-leaf clover inspired. Uh, yeah, And absolutely. then you've got the trillions. Yeah. Have you got the... Those oh, are those the, hearts. the hearts. And those ones are... They are, I mean, they're, they're... I mean, to me, these are almost like a pack of, if you were going to cut them down, studs as well. You know, okay. no, so all I've amazing. done with mine is I've just tilted them forward. Can you see the post at the yeah. at the end? But if you wanted to do, you know, nice bubble style, they'll work they really well with that. Reverse. Oh yeah. Yeah, you've just pivoted. Yeah, it. just yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. And there are the hearts as well. Ah, oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? So nice. Nineteen ninety nine, that gets you what, thirty um of not so not so much featherweight, not so much head pins either. They're in yeah, between so I'd say a mid, they? yeah. Mid. Yeah. Midi. Midis, yeah. Midis. What, what's, what's, in um, terms of boxing, you've got your lightweight, your heavyweight. Boxers. Yeah. 
Oh, what's the one in the middle? <laughs> Come on. Ads, can is you it, help me out? Is it a phantom? No, what's I it? don't know. You've got your phantom. lightweight. Yeah. You've got your heavyweight. And what's it? Mid, mid, middleweight. Is it called? <laughs> it's, it's, it's middleweight. Is it called middleweight? All oh, right. Okay. There you go. Then. I told you that <laughs> it's a good job we're at the end of the show, isn't it? Because clearly <laughs> it, it's reached that time. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Oh, Amazing. Dear. Right, there we go. <laughs> way out. Um, you can see Adam's face then. Uh, should we do a close out? Uh, this, uh, as soon as Kinga put this down before me, I was like, oh my goodness me. So rare. I had to beg and plead. The first time Gemporia ever had purple sapphire, um, because it's a very rare colour. So you've, in my head, and this is only my personal opinion, in terms of the rarest colours of sapphire, obviously Paparaccia. Um, and then it's purple to me. Those are the two rarest colours. And when the first ever parcel of uh, purple sapphire, that Gemporia, it was in finished jewellery, had. Um, we'd heard about it, the possibility of it arriving months previously. And it was my mum's birthday i don't know if it was like a, it might have been a 60th birthday and i was like please 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 let me it was a big birthday anyway whichever um like, please can i buy one please because we're not normally as employees allowed to actually buy one prior to the launch but steve did let me it's so rare so rare there are 40 available there is no enhancement have you ever seen purple sapphire before Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at that, Claire. <gasps> now we have 40 available. Oh, that is so, it's so beautiful. Natural. <gasps> totally natural. And by the way, the reason why I told you that information about the launch of the sapphire, purple sapphire at Gempur is because the one I bought mum was tiny. Pretty, but tiny. It's probably about 35 points. Tiny. You're getting 13 carats. It's what part of our, obviously, the coveted collection, so the creme de la creme. What, why are we doing a close-out deal on natural purple sapphire? It's got to go, says Ross. Gosh, look at that. Slight movement. Look at that sparkle. That is amazing. How stunning. Yeah. One for the big collectors. I would love to join you on this opportunity. If you're a September baby, I mean, we know that sapphire comes in blues. You can get it in yellows, colourless. You can get it in greens. Um, but purple is one of the world's rarest. Oh, my goodness. Oof. You'd pay that for the box, to be truthful. You, you genuinely would, I think. <gasps> Never Gosh, mind. From the side, from every angle. That's stunning, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And yet I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've brought purple sapphire yeah. to wear. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've brought lots of blue, of course I have. I've brought you lots of multicolours, but very rarely does that have actually purple within. And it is totally natural, totally and utterly natural. Look at the quality of that. There was 40 available. You can get hold of it on your 0% interest split payment as well, jewellery makers. Marion, London, West Midlands, Wanda, Gloucestershire. Miss Janet, you've got yours. It is stunning. Oh, you'll love it. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Imagine this dotted in between some pearls. Oh, yeah. Pretty, isn't it? And the just pristine clarity. Not only, you know, normally sapphire, 95% of the world sapphire is treated, whatever the colour saturation. Um, this hasn't undergone any. So you are already talking rare in terms of its actual treatment process. It's pristine in its clarity. Mm. Do you notice how it's not at all opaque? And those purple colours, you know, they haven't been added or altered or enhanced. It's all how Mother Nature intended, and it's amazing quality. Um, I'm blown away by that price tag. Generally, I am. And the fact that you are getting, um, it's a brand That's new gorgeous. low. Okay, yeah. So down to the final, um, or was 40. Well done. West Midlands, I've got Gerda, Elspeth, Judith, Theresa, Wanda, Gloucestershire, London. Um, Judith, if you want those three... They're not hanging around, so absolutely amazing. It's been such a lovely, lovely Sunday. I've loved every single mm. minute of it, it's start to finish. Beautiful lineup, beautiful guest designer. Um, thank you so much for oh, joining I've us had today. A lovely, lovely morning. It's been thank wonderful. You. Your kits have absolutely flown out, both 9 a.m. and also um, 12 a.m. Have a little look, keep an eye on the website, see if any of the kits, um, your deal of the day, that's those exquisite carvings, your jades. Oh, gosh, what else have we brought you today? The turquoise. It's been just jam-packed. Yeah. We did say it was going to be a special Sunday, didn't we? When are you back with us, honey? Uh, I'm back on Friday. So next Friday. Next Friday. Yes, Friday June. coming. Yes. Do you know what you got? 
Um, no. No, not yet, not yet. We'll wait and something see. Something lovely, I'm sure. It will be something lovely, especially yeah. if you're making with oh, it as well. Um, I'm back with you now on Wednesday morning, lovely jewellery makers in our brand new studio. Oh, yes. Brand new studio, so very excited. Yeah, we're being kicked. No, not really. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I am joking, I'll be making a team. No, we'll miss you um, in our brand new studio. Have a lovely Sunday afternoon, won't you all? We'll see you soon. We love you. Love you. And love we you. Love you.